I'm so uh, touched, truly, to, to be here. Uh, uh. Welcome. Are you sitting comfortably? This is the Sleepy Cast Lost Episode Channel. Today's presentation is from <laughs> the year before the apocalypse. Please enjoy, and remember, help is on its way. This is a Sleepy Cast Lost episode. Paul Rudd, featuring Stamper, Psychic Pebbles, and Johnny Utah. My name is Captain Dickhead. Me eat big bowl of caca for lunch. Yum yum. Poopy caca in my tum tum taste good. I like to hang out with my wang out, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying, Jeff? My penis. I, but I do agree. It's secret. My <laughs> What? what? You play your penis in the theater? Once I did. <laughs> you can do that some theater. Well, I guess you can't do it because it's illegal at the sex theaters too, right? Yeah, you can't masturbate. Pee Wee Herman theaters. got in trouble for that because he was jerking off all over the theater. Whatever. I don't. Oh, what Pee Wee Herman? Fucking what's his name? Paul. Something? Paul McCartney. Yeah, yeah, Paul Rudd. Rudd. Paul Rudd. McCartney. Paul Rudd. <laughs> He was beaten off to a porno movie? Oh, fucking call the cops. Who gives a shit? What do you think of Paul Rudd? We're, we're debating this. It's a great he's debate. He's just like it's a like very... A, who the fuck is Paul Rudd? Vanilla guy. I, I, I'd like to be Paul Rudd. He's the definition he of vanilla. Paul I know Rudd. who he is now, yeah. Like, if he's... I, don't, guy, I feel nothing towards him. You just would have... He's wanted, the friend you have that never makes you laugh, never makes you yeah, sad, he never... Just, he goes to sleep on time. Like, yeah, but it's Paul Rudd. You can't hate Paul yeah, Rudd. but... Like, he... Like, if, if Paul Rudd invited me over to a barbecue, I'm like... You sure. go, you go, and I wouldn't even talk to him. I'd be like, "All right, you free food, right free food. Like, I don't mind. I can just mingle and leave, and then I feel nothing. I, feel, right, I mean, immediately Rogan forget the whole day." Barbecue. Why aren't we recording? Is this? Paul Rudd gonna t gonna tell you? I am. Is Paul Rudd gonna Are tell you? you? <laughs> yes. A good story? <laughs> Doubtful. No. What? Well, is Seth Rogen gonna tell you a good story? What is he gonna tell you? He's gonna be like, hey, I got high, you know, with, with Michael Cera, we smoke weed. <laughs> yes. That's what he's gonna tell you. Paul Rudd's gonna be like, man, this one time I was fucking a really hot girl, and she, uh, she puked everywhere. And you can go, man, that's not a really good story, but I like you, Paul Rudd. You're likable. Why would that be it. the first story he tells me? Because <laughs> you shake his hand and he tells you that. It's a good icebreaker. I'm sure Paul Rudd's got all kinds of stories to What's tell you. What's your favorite Paul Rudd movie? Fuck you, Jeff. <laughs> oh, whoops. Yeah. No, Is it a no, honestly, family I don't know. comedy? A dirt I, slightly like, dirty I've family seen, I've comedy? Seen it, I've seen it in oh, Anchorman. What's, what's your favorite movie, Jeff? Uh, what's it called? Uh, Holy shit, here we go. It's gonna happen. Aliens? What? No. <laughs> no, it's, it's sarcasm. Your favorite movie. Oh. Fucking, um... Oh. The Amazing Bulk? Uh, oh, uh... With Paul Rudd beaten off to pictures of his photo, pictures of his wife, Jennifer Aniston, because he made a new friend for oh, the... Oh, that movie thing. sucks. I've never... That movie... Chris, that was Chris. Of course you've movie. seen it. I haven't no, seen I haven't. it like Chris a normal saw it. person. It looked terrible. That's the one Paul Rudd movie. If I saw Paul Rudd, I would... If he said, you like this movie, I'd say... I like, I like the movie It's 40, even though I'm not 40. What's the... But it's... it's what's uh, the name the, of that movie? movie? I don't know. It's bad. Bad movie, the bad movie. I love you, man. That's what it's yeah, called. Yeah, it's a bad movie. I've seen some of that. But look, I saw him in Anchorman. I, that was I liked him. Hated. I saw him in Anchorman. I liked him. I, don't like I saw him in uh, Role Models. And I liked him. And I saw him in uh, everything we've seen. About like yeah, it's... yeah. But I don't think anybody remembers him. They're always like, yeah, it's that guy. Yeah. There's... Do you do you want to talk about the cashier at Seven Eleven too? Because they're equally as worthless and forgettable. <laughs> they, Who gives a shit? It's Paul like, Rudd. Yeah, You're so telling me so. if you saw Paul Rudd, he knocked at your door, he gave you a hug, and said, "Hey, Stamper, what would you say?" I'd be like, "Weren't you that guy from that thing? He'd Why like, are you here could... at my house?" Say, I'll cut it out. He could be working at a gas station. I wouldn't even blink. I'd be like, "Yeah, just just like a guy." If you saw if you saw Paul Rudd at Wawa, yeah, and he was like throwing a. Coke and he was like, yeah, flip it out. He's like, oh, I'm gonna buy this. What would you say to him? You know, about half the audience is gonna listen to this, doesn't even know who Paul Rudd is. They'll have to see a picture of him first, and now we're just pissing him off even more by continuing Zach, this bullshit. Zach and Paul, his Rudd Paul Rudd Paul Rudd was a Titanic, Avatar, Star Wars, Jaws, Jurassic Park, mm -hmm. God with the Wind, every fucking, the top 10 movies. And you're gonna sit here. And you know, you know who Paul Rudd plays? 7 Eleven guy here. Zach. You know who Paul Rudd plays in every movie? This, Paul Rudd. He plays. He plays Plays fucking, the same I'm fucking sorry. guy. Um, who, 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 does, who does who does who uh, does Schiller's List play in every movie? It was who? Schiller's List. You mean the list? It's not a person. That's a list. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? What does that play in every movie? A list. Paul Rudd. Name 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 two movies lists. Go. Schiller's List and Smart Guy. Wise Wise Guy. Wedding Crashers. What? Wedding Crashers. That had a list. 
There's no point where Owen Wilson's like, oh, I got my grocery list, so we're gonna buy some fucking eggs. You're so fucking lame, Zach. Yeah, you fucking Owen Wilson and Paul Rudd. Paul Rudd. I've heard the, I've heard Paul Rudd so many times tonight, it's, the words have lost all meaning. It's like a disease he, that grandpas get. Ah, oh, get the Paul Rudd's back again. I guess you said it really close, like if you make it one word. Paul Rudd. Paul Rudd's gonna Paul be. Rudd. Oh, the Paul Rudd's make, making me pain. It makes me want to kill myself. Ant Man playing Paul Rudd. It sounds like the new Taliban. Paul like, Rudd. Paul Rudd. Yeah, you can. It's, it. it's the new thing that you. I can imagine you like the Paul sword screaming Paul Rudd in the Middle East. Paul Rudd. Paul Rudd. Paul Rudd. Paul Rudd. This is forty Paul Rudd. Hello, Paul Rudd. Hello, Paul Rudd. <laughs> was he in Forty Year Old Virgin? I feel like he is. I feel uh, like Steve Carell. Yeah, he was in that. I feel like nobody Carell. knows. He could have been. Nobody remembers. <laughs> yeah, maybe he was that fucking white guy in the background, man. Who cares? With, with, the, with the sexy smile. Hey, on topic, you remember <laughs> how you own... Uh, uh, it was a three-in-one. It was a three-in-one. You own... Uh, it was a good year, deal. You own a 40-year-old version on DVD, right? Yep. We plugged it into the DVD player. Oh. And Synavia cut it off and said, we're not allowed to own it. We we bought... I bought that. This... And it said it said it was illegal and that I torrented it and pirated it. I don't care. And I would never fucking torrent 40-year-old version. It's a good movie, but... I, you know, okay, let me back up already. It, it's, yeah. it's a fun movie. You know, I'll put, I'll put it on. I'm not going to turn it off. This... It's such a special conversation. I think we just released this by itself and just call it Paul, Paul Rudd. Rudd. Paul Rudd. Paul Rudd. Yeah. Paul Rudd, if you're listening, cast, I like you. Cast, Paul, Paul Rudd. Rudd, when I'm at your house and hanging out these fucking sore losers. I'm sure he'd be a <laughs> great <laughs> friend. You can't, you can't back sure up he, now. I'm sure when you get your car You said you punch Paul Rudd in the nose and break his teeth. That's what you said earlier. Yeah, I'll turn that one back and see. I'm sure he'd leave the tip on a bill. And, uh, I think he'd be. A, I think he'd be a very good tip. On my deathbed, when, with my fond memories of Paul Rudd, here's what I'm going to remember: yeah. the day I called him up and said, "Paul, I really need your help, man. Could you please bring me to the airport?" And he he was like, "He said sure." Uh, now it's like three in the morning. Okay, man. Yeah, sure. And then that it's like, wow, he's yeah, he's an amazing guy. Yeah, but but the car, he didn't say a lot, but he turned on the radio. He was really nice to you. He did everything you wanted. He's so inoffensive and so. If you would you would you cry if Paul Rudd. <laughs> Did what? Died. It, if he was my friend? No, <laughs> just Paul Rudd. If Paul Rudd, I wouldn't care if Paul Rudd if died. If Paul Rudd died right now, half, half the world would say, who's more Paul than, Rudd? Way more every, than I think 95% of people would say Paul Rudd. Every Rod, mediocre who? white male in America could just replace Paul Rudd in any movie he's ever done. If Paul Rudd was your best friend and he died. Yeah. Oh, if you just like start putting out movies and just pull white guys <laughs> off the street and then be like, yeah. starring Paul just Rudd. Just call everybody Paul yeah, Rudd. Nobody would really be that. What? Nobody would really be... You're right, nobody would question you. You feel like they wouldn't have, like, that friendly demeanor or anything? I guess... What, what is his special quality? Hey, I'm Paul Rudd. That's Paul Rudd. That's, that's it. That's his catchphrase. He's just kind of like... He's just Paul Rudd. He's kind yeah. of like a handsome guy, but not too handsome. He's, he's just... You know what? He's, he's the kind of guy, guy who in high school, you saw... He, he's you know, handsome, but not too handsome. He's he in gets, shape, he but he's laid. not too built. He gets laid. Friendly, but not even too... Fr- he's Well, maybe he is too friendly. Right. You see all these things we're describing? Cashier at 7-Eleven. Handsome, not too handsome. In Fuck shape, you. not too bad. Pull, pull me a cashier who doesn't look dirty. He's always at the pull, gym, but pull you me know, a he's, always, he's slightly out of shape, but kind of in shape. He's... When you take... When you see a shirt, you go, okay, for your age. He's got yeah. muscles, but a little gut. Yeah. Yeah, yeah for, for his age, for, for what he's got. Yeah. What movies are you watching with Paul Rudd taking his shirt off? <laughs> Listen, this is in your mental, like, thing, whatever, grab bag whatever, of facts I, whatever, I see, whatever I see Paul Rudd shirtless, I think. Yeah. Yeah, what? Yeah. Yeah, what? <laughs> Come here. Come here, Paul. Yeah, Come here, then Paul. What? Then what? Paul. <laughs> Paul Rudd. Paul Rudd, the most boring man on the face of the planet. Come Paul on, Rudd. Paul. Come on with your shit. Come on, let's see out. Would you ever go sailing with Paul Rudd and then ask him to use the rudder? Oh, geez, man. I've never been on a boat before, but but sounds fun. I'll bring uh, oysters. Boy, that's too exotic. No, ta- cre- no he'd be I'll like... I'll bring hot dogs. Crab. Yeah, hot, yeah, hot dogs. Imagine you... T- sushi, maybe. Sushi. What, what would Paul Rudd's favorite joke be? I don't know, but... You know, something would make him laugh. What's brown and sticky? A stick. That's his favorite joke. <laughs> You know, what could be? He's the most boring man on the face. Even when they're handing out last names, it's like, what, what should your last name be? And they were like, I don't know. Skabaka Lockowitz? Yeah, no, Rudd. Rudd. Take Rudd. Sounds like crud. Like, they didn't even have they didn't even have the decency to give him to try. They were just like, like Rudd. What should they call it? Uh, Rudd. What What's he, that, Rudd? Okay, I'll take that. Do you he think left. he's uh, Jewish? No, nah, he's not a Jew. Why'd you say that with such disdain and hatred? <laughs> no, he's not. <laughs> I'm just, yeah. There's he no seems, way Paul Rudd is a he Jew. He seems like a guy who's like 
Paul Schweinstein, and he, he changed his name to Rudd. Jew. What? You could go to his house and find out he's a secret Jew. Maybe he has little Jewish guys. That's what he was just saying, Jewish secret dolls. Jew. He changed his name. Yeah. Like me. I changed it to Stamp. Like, oh, like fuck. A, I said like too good, much. Sounds like a good movie. What, Secret Jew? Secret Jew. <laughs> It's like a under. It's like Mission Impossible. <laughs> That's the new double yeah, secret. Do you think there was like technology in his, yeah. in his Yamaga? <laughs> twist it up. And, yeah. yeah that'd, be, oh, that'd be a good it. robot. You know, how Terminator. You pull his head up and you yeah. twist the thing off. So you don't even need to bash the hair. You can just. It can just yeah. be a cap. You don't even need anything. Oh, it's like their battery pack. Yeah, you twist, you twist the it up. Yeah, <laughs> like a huge container comes out. Like. <laughs> and they the just power, power down. Yeah. <laughs> The Jew, the Jew is powerful. Jew, 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 Jew. Jew, 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 Jew. Stop talking about Paul Rudd. Is Paul Rudd and Jews. This is like the head, podcast 1.5, and we've already been more racist than every other podcast <laughs> combined. And who sits just, and talks about Paul Rudd? I don't Jeez. know. It's like four in the morning, and we're just talking about Paul Rudd. Jeff, you're a liar. It's 320. What? You're right. One. 321. 320 Rudd. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Would, Rudd. You, would, Rudd. You, would you tell anybody if you saw Paul Rudd eating spaghetti at a restaurant, he would like... No. Why do you think Paul Rudd is going to just wave to you every chance he gets? Because you look, you see, oh, is that Paul yeah. I would tell my big, friends big at the restaurant, be like, hey, I think it's Paul Rudd. He, but walks, then the he second, walks over with spaghetti. Yeah, hey, guys. The second I left the restaurant, hey guys, it's me, Paul I Rudd. totally forget I saw him and wouldn't tell anybody ever again. This is just like your weird sexual fantasy to have Paul Rudd acknowledge you what in what? public and come what up if, and talk listen, to you. You're at, spaghetti, you're at Spaghetti's R Us, your favorite spaghetti restaurant. You're at, sit, sit down. <laughs> Spaghetti's R Us. <laughs> is that real? That could, that, that's got to be a real place. Anyway, continue. You'd be sued really fast. If that, yeah. You're sitting down, eat some spaghetti, yeah. as it were. Yeah. With just marinara or like meat yeah. sauce? No, they only have one kind of spaghetti. Fritz sauce, noodles. What if it's Rudd? Maybe he just says spaghetti. What if it's Rudd sauce? If you don't like it, no. You got Rudd sauce? He could, he could say it is. Rudd people, sauce? He could say, oh, it's Rudd sauce. And they go, no, it's still, pretty, it's still spaghetti sauce. Don't what, make it up. What is, what's in don't fuck with our restaurant. Rudd sauce? What? What's in Rudd sauce? Paul, it's just it's, Paul Rudd. It's probably just water. I bet you it's <laughs> yeah. really bland. I'll tell you that much. It's, I bet water, it's really bland. It's water on noodles. Yeah, you know, Rudd just, yeah, you eat Rudd sauce. You go, yeah. Maybe you get, maybe sometime. Yeah, okay. I, I imagine it's like a milky, it's got a milky... It's edible. ...color to it, but it doesn't have any taste. It's edible. I don't want him waving to me a Wawa and saying, Hey, hey, I'm, I'm Paul Rudd. Hey. So you never let me finish my, my thing that's going to happen Sorry. to me. I'm trying to prepare you for the real world, Jeff. You're Continue. at this place. Continue. Yes. Look Paul, over. Paul Rudd. You see Paul Rudd eating spaghetti, bobbing his head up and down, having a good time. Yeah. He really likes that spaghetti. Yeah, he's having a good time. Is it? Is it Paul Rudd? <laughs> I see a complete average. Rips his shirt man. off. Rips his shirt off. Runs full speed at you. Yeah. Stops at the table. Yeah. Hey, it's me, Paul Rudd. So you look at me eating the spaghetti over there. Yeah. What do you think? That's what you're preparing Jeff for. I might nod slightly. What, what do you think? I think I'd give like a head a nod at him. I'd be like, get the fuck away from me! I'm trying to eat my spaghetti. Oh, good one, buddy. He touches your shoulder. Yeah, good one. What if he came home and tried to steal your I'd, garlic bread? I'd be like, Paul Rudd's a fucking, fucking slap asshole. his hand. Yeah, so, hey, we ran out. After it away. after convincing me he was Paul Rudd, he'd be like, so yeah, you know, uh, good weather. Like, it's like oh, listen, fuck, man. I'll acknowledge him. I'll say you were good in that. That movie. Hey, man, I, I, I know uh, Steve Carell. Yeah. Oh, so you now he's name dropping? Yeah, hey, you know Steve you Carell? Were, I know him. I went to his house a years ago. In a, you appear perfectly unoffensive and... Oh, why you are you know, saying that, man? You did your job. Why, what are you saying that for? Do you know who I am? I always said I love you. Man. Yeah. <laughs> you want, I have a spare DVD. He pulls it out of his pocket. What do you here. think his favorite movie is? Besides it. He, oh, what, what, it's what, I Love You, Man. Are you kidding that, me? That's his, like, crowning achievement. Oh, you I look at his man. DVD shelf. What well, if he's a total asshole in real life? What if he ran over to your table and started eating your spaghetti with his what, bare hands? What are you gonna fucking do? What are you gonna fucking do? Yeah. Do some bag and punch me. Punch for a run. Yeah, no, nobody well, can see you. Away. Nobody Nobody's gonna pull you. you. No. Zach's pretending he's eating. That's how you eat spaghetti. He's, yeah, that'd be worse too. He's getting fucking spaghetti over here. Like, the kitchen, the kitchen ran out of spaghetti. Yeah, fucking, now give me your spaghetti. I see him. He wipes him. Your fucking, he wipes at worst, your shirt. I see him coming over and like arrogantly sticking like just one finger in your food and then like licking it and then walking away. And then yeah. smiling with that smug yeah. face yeah. of his where he's just like, yeah. mm, puts in your water. And Paul Rudd. Dude, eating spaghetti like that is too much personality for Paul Rudd. Yeah, that's true. You ever eaten spaghetti with your bare hands though? It's no. really liberating. You just take a big plate of it no, and I just haven't. grab it and just. I think, I think the closest thing I've done to that is, you know, the... Uh, well, like a you dog. savages can do what you want. I'm not going to eat. I'm All right, eat, Queen like, Victoria. Queen Victoria married bang, to Paul, bang. Paul Rudd. <laughs> this is my husband, Paul oh. Rudd. The most interesting man on the face of the planet. What do you think Paul Rudd's favorite color is? Do you think it's really, like, gray? Blue? <laughs> do you think it's hey, gray? Can we make... 
Paul Gettios with Rud Sauce one night. What's Paul Gettios with red, Rud Sauce, spaghetti right. and Rud Balls, and yeah, just little balls. little head. Yeah. What Sorry. do you think? What do you think the commercial for that would be? What do you think? How do you? How would he advertise it? Hey guys, be Paul Rudd. You probably saw me yeah. over there and over there in that movie one time. I'm Paul I was over Rudd. there too one time. And Guess what? I have spaghetti now. It's come on. Good. You want to see my Thanks. shirt? You have to wait to get get at the bottom of the can. I think he would allow. He would allow one chest hair to escape his collar. I'm saying he, he's, he's enticing. He's saying... He's slightly dangerous, but, but not too dangerous. But listen, I think this is a good idea. You buy you buy this spaghetti because he gives you a taste. He says, hey, you want to see, see the rest of it? It's at the bottom of the can. So when you dump out the can of spaghetti sauce, uh-huh. some shirt looks like that, showing everything. He, he, him, he himself is at the bottom of the can of the spaghetti sauce? Yeah, because you buy it and you, he shows you a little bit. Well, he's just little? Or is it full? Him. Says, what are you talking about? Shut up! I'm Zach. saying in the commercial, he lifts his belly up and says, "Hey, you want to see the rest of this? Buy the spaghetti sauce, and you'll see me at the bottom of the spaghetti sauce." Oh, everybody uses a full jar of spaghetti sauce when they make spaghetti, anyways. You just dump it in. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Compliment a box. We, we have been talking about this mediocre human being for over 20. That's minutes. fucked up. He's gonna listen to this. Don't call him mediocre. He's a great guy. He's a perfectly acceptable. Guy. He makes more money than you do. He's yeah. jealous. Well, I'm on Rudd's side. That, that, those are both true. Those are both true facts. Uh, How big do you think his dick is? Average? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah. Trying to come up with a clever answer. I, wouldn't but, be know, just, I don't think I'd just, be surprised if I saw pro- like, Just, it'd be the perfect <laughs> human male, white male, average. Not bad, anything. not great. You wouldn't talk about it. Yeah, it'd be like half you the know size what? of mine. <laughs> You ever see those pictures when people Mine take the size of mine. like hundreds of portraits of and human measure to one person? Yeah, and <laughs> he's Paul Rudd. You think he's the, he's the scientific yes. measuring of every white guy on earth? Yeah, Paul Rudd. Yeah. Paul Rudd. There he is. And he might not even be real. You don't know for sure. <laughs> you think he was? The, you think he was the scientist trying to actually make that guy? And he, he, <laughs> he got loose and wandered onto a Hollywood set, and nobody stopped him. Yeah, okay, he's like, pretty attractive. He's like. Bicentennial Man. Oh, yeah, but, that fucking movie. Look, looks more like Paul Rudd. You know the guy from Jurassic Park was in that? Which I've guy? I've never seen the it. The guy from Jurassic Park 1? Which guy? The main dude. Oh, Grant? Yeah, not, not uh, Jeff oh, Goldblum. Oh, was he the father or something? Yeah, he's the dad. He's like, oh, we got a robot. And it's Rod Williams. What, what was that what? horror movie that that Jurassic Park dude was in? Like, Something Rising? Oh, like psychological oh, yeah. Thing? Um, with the, uh, oh, yeah. Uh, that movie was pretty sweet. Something Rising, yeah. I know what you're talking about. Hannibal. Hannibal Rising. Yeah. Paul Rudd Rising. What if... Did you watch that if Paul Rudd was in it? If, if he was in a reboot? No. Yes. Sorry, Jeff. I don't want to talk about Paul Jeff, anymore. What were you going to say? Doesn't matter. <laughs> I'm just saying, you know, yeah, what if... <laughs> there, I don't please. even know anymore. How do we get for Jews to Paul Rudd? Final final statement on Paul no, Rudd. No, you said Paul Rudd, but you said you think Paul Rudd's a Jew, and I said no. I, didn't, I said nothing of the kind, my friend. That was Jeff. You said you think Paul Rudd's a Jew? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Zach. Yeah? What's your final word on Paul Rudd? I'll let you have the final, the final word. Paul Rudd. Okay. That's yeah. That's it. Yeah. That's good. That's good enough for me. Yeah. Paul Rudd. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Paul. Yeah. Rudd. What if he came over to your house for dinner and he was like, "Is this kosher?" <laughs> <laughs> Paul Rudd. Paul Rudd. Yeah. Yeah. That was Paul Rudd. Join us next time on Sleepy Cast. Pee in my mouth and I'll blow you while I hold the pee in my mouth. Because I'm a gross weirdo. Goodbye. This is a Sleepy Cast Lost episode. The Sank Squatch, featuring Stamper, Psychic Pebbles, Johnny Utah, and Spaz Kid. My name is Captain Dickhead. Sometimes I piss in the sink because I like pretending the drain is my mom's mouth. Let's let's do a topic because we we've kind of like gone you know doing shooting. Tonight, oh, shooting Corey, this shit. is big news. We I would have talked about this. Swear to God. I'm curious to get your thought about this. Tell me. National, you know, National Geographic, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, are you into animals and stuff? I used to love this, National Geographic. This is a big deal. They discovered a new t- <clears throat> type of Sasquatch. 
Really? They discovered yeah. it. They found the body. Really? Yes. So the whole Sasquatch thing is actually... It's it, it's not, it's a different species. What yeah, they actually found two different uh, species. So there's a Sasquatch and there's a Sag, Sag Squatch. What's classified as a Sasquatch? What exactly is a Sasquatch? It's a different kind, but they, they discovered Sag Squatch. And if you go to a zoo, they are, yeah. they're, I believe it, they said it was somewhere between 8'3 uh, between and 9'5". Something about that. It's fucking huge. But the yeah. Sag, the Sag Squatch is bigger than the Sasquatch. What is it? It's a Sasquatch. It looks exactly like a Sasquatch, but it's... It's bigger. What is it? In- what is three, a fucking... It's about three inches what you, what's taller. It, what you, it's a Sasquatch. It's a big gorilla ape. It's a man... He, it looks like, like a Sasquatch. <laughs> Bigfoot, sorry. You know what Bigfoot they, is? They believe, they believe a Sasquatch was like a common... A common uh, ancestor. Ancestor, like... We split off from like people, monkeys, and Sasquatch. This is true. Yeah. Yes, but they discovered a Sag Squatch is why it's a big deal. It's exactly like a Sasquatch, but it's Bigger. two two Bigger. inches hot, taller. It looks the exact same, but it's just about two inches taller. Where, where is the Sasquatch located? It's Sag Squatch. Nebra- Sag Squatch. They, they found it in Nebraska. Gives a shit. What, what would you do if you saw a Sag Squatch? I wouldn't be able to tell the difference. Does it terrify you that there's a bigger Sasquatch? Is he gonna fuck with me? A Sag Squatch? I wouldn't fuck with a Sag Squatch. But they're now pe- people are getting furious that these Sag Squatches are you know, stealing pies. They said up of windows. The problem is the town people were totally cool with the Sasquatch, but then they this like the bigger this, Sasquatch, this two, two inch taller Sasquatch comes in, and they're like, "This is unacceptable." Wait. Because it's fucking with the townspeople. It's like me- smashing the mailboxes over. So, I, so the Sag Squatch. It's, it's a nuisance. The stealing, Sag, is Sag, stealing pies. Putting I swear to God, it's been stealing pies out of the windowsills. <laughs> This sounds made up, I swear to God, look it up. I'm saying, yeah. The Sag Squatch is a nuisance. They, Pies that are cooling on windowsills. <laughs> so people are taking shotguns and, you know, farmers are shooting these Sag Squatches, <laughs> blowing entire chunks of their heads off with them, <laughs> as they run down a field with a pie, you know, blowing them in the back. It seems like a logical stance on it. They don't get arrested either because they're classified as animals. With these pies, you know, looking backwards, <laughs> these hot steaming pies. So what you're telling me is it's all hot, hot, these hot delicious bl- blueberry these, pies. I, hold on, hold on. These, I don't know how you got so into it. I can't sleep when I think of Sag Squatches. Sag Squatches are Sank. Are s- Sank. Stealing. S-A-N-K. Sank. They're thievery stealing chicken pot pies. No, that chicken shot. blueberry pies. The whole, the whole town had to stop cooking blueberry pot pies because... Blueberry pot pies. What the hell is a blueberry pot pie? Blueberry, blueberry, pie. blueberry pies. The whole town, pies in general. They don't even like, sell blueberries in the town anymore because these the, things These Sag Squatches are going down to the blueberry pubs <laughs> and fucking stepping on the blueberries. <laughs> Every, they all have to switch over to apple pies and everybody's on that's what happens when fucking saint squatches steal your pies. You just swap to another fruit? Corey, let's say... You All right, well, how would you feel if you fucking... You were Grandma Thor and you made a pie? Thor? Like you the s- fucking Marvel character? I don't know. You spent 40 minutes... Grandma Iron Man? <laughs> you you spent... You spent... In your mind you spent 40 minutes Marvel. making your fucking pie. Yeah. You, you put love into it. What? You put it up okay, let's stop. 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 Big, great, burly hands. Grabbing on the old Grandma's pie. A Saint Squatch steals your pie. How do you know... Heads for the heels. How does your brain go first go to Grandma Thor and then know that... It honestly takes 40 minutes to cook a pie. Does it? Was that just a random number you threw out? Yeah. Does it take 40 minutes? Yeah, it's from start <laughs> to finish to make a pie. Sweet. Is, they you they just want the pie to cool Corey, in the nice fresh mountain air. Corey, I swear to God, so this, is a, this is a big issue. Okay. In a Virginia town. All right. Blueberry farms completely stepped on. There's videos of these hundreds of Sag Squatches running and smashing these, these blueberry farms. It's not funny. <laughs> it's not funny at all. It's serious. Re- it's really it's serious. people's lives. Okay, I've seen... Oh, wait, I guess I have seen a Saint Squatch. He was he was heading towards the town. These you people. This is a joke. No, I yeah. fucking swear to God, I was I saw these, these people in Alaska Saint, are having a serious problem. All right, hold on. Problem. Would you let me finish? I saw these yeah. Saint Squatches hunched over, heading into. They don't hunch. They, they, no, they walk dead. no, they don't walk like fucking penguins. Okay, they were hunched over. <laughs> it's not a penguin. That's a serious. That's a scary Saint Squatch. No, it's not. That's, that's they, their, they their, went to the. They went to the. Walk. Shut up. They went to the berry shop downtown. Yeah. They found a handful of fucking blueberries. A canful or a handful? Hand, handful. Then they run out. They run out. They fucking spill them. They trip over like the manholes, yeah. and then they head into the alley. <laughs> You're saying these sex watches are right on the street, they, tripping over manholes and blueberries. What the fuck are you talking? I've seen old, it. Okay, I thought it was a person. Now that I know it's a saint squatch, all, now I know there's of, no eight foot people. And I, all of New Mexico can't have blueberries now. But it's, what do you think? Ain't no problem. This? So they're just buying blueberries now. No, they're not buying them. They're stealing them. You can hear the foreign. Wait, what's California supposed to do without blueberries? But what's terrifying is the slush yeah, squash is stealing all of the strawberries. It's Wait, a horrible what? epidemic. That's what is taller than the sex squash. Wait, hold on. What? The slush squash. The slush squash. Slush squash. 
Does he slouch? No, slouch. That's slot slouch. There is a sunk squatch. Which sunk squatch is, is even more terrifying. On average, an inch and a half smaller than so the. They so they still squatch. So they steal strawberries. They don't. No, they, they just give you compliments. They give you compliments. How's it going? Oh, get the fuck away from me. It mean? doesn't talk to you. It kind of. It kind of like they think it's a compliment. It kind of like gives you a thumbs up and it runs away and they're like, yeah, it's. Yeah, yeah. Right, you know, they kind of. The sad squatch. What's, what's terrifying is these sunk squatches go give you compliments while you're making the pie. So you know these old ladies are horrified and a lot of these farmers are killing sunk. Squatches thinking they're sex squatches trying to steal their pie. It's, it's a horrible right. epidemic. Honestly, right, well, it's terrifying. But they can't, the best thing yeah, they do, can't see. They, they right, don't, they well, don't you know, a sunk squatch runs hey, and say hi, good pie. You know, no, they put, get blasted. Put your fucking pie in the fridge if you want to cool it off, okay? This is in the 80s or 50s. You don't put fucking pies on the window seals, old ladies. Okay? In, you <laughs> don't put pies on the window sill, okay? First of all, you there's no way. It. You know, this is ruining it. You weren't born transgender, so you have no opinion. Here, okay. <laughs> you can't just throw facts out like you fucking white privileged male. You're not sitting there trying to preach at me like you fucking know the world. You're not squatch gender, Corey. You don't know what you're talking about. Listen, if I saw a sandal squatch or a sasquatch or a sack of shorts, sandal squatch doesn't exist. Don't be fucking ridiculous. <laughs> Alright, whatever. Stick but... to the facts here. <laughs> If I saw a sag swatch, is that no, what it's not called? Not real either, sank. A sank swatch. That he complimented me, I would be like, thank no, you that's for a the- No, that's a Shut no, up, I'd be like, thank you for the compliment. A, a, a sag squatch would never compliment you, it would fucking steal your pie. Who the fuck compliments then? What's horrifying is they, they <laughs> run at people with their fingers out like this and poke you in the eyes and run away. A sank squatch? Yeah, the yes. sasquatch just likes to hug people. Where's the satchel squatches? Satchel squatches? Yeah. That's, a, that's, what's, that's what they call it, dead in Russia. Those, Which those ones are talking about the ones that steal the ones that compliment. The ones that compliment. That's a slot squatch. A slot? No, that's not. That's not a slot squatch. Yeah, yeah. That's those are the ones that give you the thumbs up. And no, they that's kinda, a that's a slot squatch. Dude, no. See, with the, with those, it's like they're compliments, but they're backhanded compliments. You, you I feel like it more. I feel like uh, more you know like I mean? the. Yeah, it's. I like, feel like the. They say something the, nice, but then what's bring the other sasquatch? Hey, you finally wore a good shirt. What's Ooh, the, what does that mean? Well, hold on. Yeah, what's the other sasquatch? What's the other sasquatch that you said? There's sunk squatch, sasquatch, sag squatch, and slouch squatch. It was a sag squatch. Right. Okay, hold. Shut up. Okay, there was a. Sank squatch. He goes up. He grabs the berries. He's yeah. fucking wild. The other one's like, "Oh, hey, it's a, it's a nice." Well, the sunk squatch. He's complimenting you. Yeah, yeah. He's like, "Hey, that's a very nice dress." He's 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 he fooling. That, he's shut up. He's fooling the old lady, and the saying squatch is stealing the blueberry pies and leaving. It's it's clearly a fucking conspiracy with the sasquatch. They don't work together. Okay, okay. How the fuck can you not? I guarantee, if you the cut, squatch if you cut a sasquatch, squatch, yeah. if you cut a, a slouch squatch <laughs> and a sasquatch. I guarantee that they were tossing berries they to each other. When they went out together. the door, they were throwing berries to each other. Oh, they were in it together. Yeah, exactly. That's why. That's why they're so rare, Corey. They massacre each other. <laughs> yeah, they just. Yeah, they, they fight guns and just kill each other. <laughs> the, 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 the scientists believe there were there were some they like seventeen subgroups of Sasquatches. Yeah, here's right. the biggest problem with your bullshit theory: blueberries, strawberries. Why would they share berries with each other if they don't like blueberries and strawberries independently? Dumbass. One likes blueberries, one likes strawberries. It's pretty and then fucking you have, simple. You have strawberries on one side. The sunk sunk squatch is just like Wait, no, uh, shut up, Jeff. Sunk squatch is like avocados though. They don't like berries. They have <laughs> Yeah, yeah. They they got a they got a bad rap, bad rap because one of them stole well, strawberries. All right, listen. All right, have you ever heard of the combination of wild berry? It is a mixture of all the berries, and it's Hawaiian punch. It's a whole bunch of different fucking fruit products that use wild berry. You know, what's Hawaiian right? punch what's 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 right? isn't a berry, dumbass. Cool. Hawaiian cool. punch isn't a berry. I didn't say it. I said it was used in Hawaiian punch. You know what's hilarious about your Corey. fucking ignorance is that a sex squatch actually drank Hawaiian punch, and his fucking he melted. Where's the dangle swatches? They died off hundreds of years ago. You fucking know that. You know, have you heard of the, the Megalo Squatch? It's 35 feet tall, Corey. <laughs> really? Yeah. Really? I'm oh, serious. 35. Megalo Squatch, yeah. That's, that's as big as, that's as big as like half of the Empire State Building. Close, about about a third. Yeah, a let's, third. let's talk about that That's later. what I meant. I meant yeah. a third. Yeah, he could dunk back. They, they just snap trees. They didn't even need to cut. They snap trees. Like they would build forts with full-sized... Trees. How the fuck has nobody seen a 35 foot? They're dead. Because they lay down with their bellies. Was it megalosaurus? They creep through the woods like solid yeah. snake. Yeah, they do that. That is the fucking right, terrible. They very, they very, they, even though they could stand on two legs, they very rarely did. Alright, so let me get this straight. Out. We got the Sasquatches. No, in order Sug Squatch, Sasquatch, Sag Squatch, Slouch Squatch, Megalosquatch. What about the Slunk Squatch? I said the first one, Slunk Squatch. 
Wait. What about the mango squash? Squatch. Mango squash. Squatch. 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 All right. Where do they live? In the mountains? In the forest, in the trees. In the trees? In your backyard sometimes. Oh, they claw Me- Megalo Squatch lives on an island that's gone long, like long sunk into the sea, so. Called Hawaii. <laughs> it's an ancient Yeah, it was, one of, one of, it was a Hawaiian island, but it's underwater now. Jeff, would you like to tell Corn what that island was called? Because you know, it was surprise Corn what the island was actually. What the island was called? What the island was called, that, where, where the Megalo Squatch roamed. What's a. It was Squatch Mania, <laughs> was the name. Of Could the you island. believe that? They Squatch, called this place Squatch, Squatch Mania. Ma- Squatch Mania? It wasn't, it, wasn't, it, wasn't, it wasn't spelled like M-A-N-I-A. It was like M-A-N-E-A. Uh, you know what, I think, I think, M-A-N-I-A. I think, it's a Hawaiian... It's M-A-Y-N-E-A. I, I, Mania is like a Hawaiian term I think they were for beautiful. in Malikaliki Squatcha. Malikaliki Squatcha. What, do they Malikaliki steal pineapples? Now you're just making up bullshit. It's bo- no, I'm not saying... The Megalo Squatch did like pineapple and coconut. Well, I mean, that makes sense. He better. was on an island. That That's why he's so pissed. Cause Real Realistically, is so small. Realistically, you know, a, 30, a, a 35 like a foot. Tic-tac to him. His teeth, his his molars were actually six inches across. They could just eat coconuts whole. They didn't have to break the shells or anything. They swallow coconuts like grapes, like those little baby like raisins. Oh, actually. That's yeah. kind of why coconuts evolved the way they did on the island because Megalo Squatch could just eat them as is. There was no need to break them or anything. I can understand that. What yeah. about the bananas? Because that's another thing. That's, that's fucking that's racist. racist. They had a hard time that's feeling them because their fingers were that's so big. Racist. Well, they were wild bananas. They were very small, ugly. Bitter little things. They didn't even like them. So. Have you ever gone to a store and saw? A There's actually a recording. Bananas? There's ancient there recordings of what what a what a megalo squatch sounded like whenever he ate a banana. Jeff, uh, Jeff, you know the. Hold the fuck no. on. Okay. Was. I was going on a tangent about yeah. something important. Have you ever gone to the store and saw a tiny bunch of small bananas? And have you ever thought, wow, I think I'm gonna buy those cute little bananas for what five dollars? The fuck, man? No. Talking about extinct monsters here, Corey. Actually, yeah. I have. You know, it's great though. I have. But yeah. you never there, did because it's like, seasonal. I wouldn't even be I'll, hungry. Because I'm afraid. And I you, don't would know ruin, what... you would ruin the delicacy of small so bananas. Not, not to humor Corey here, but... <laughs> What about the bana- What about the bananas they're selling? They're actually like brown, black, like like. No. Oh, and that's how the hell they are. Yeah, oh, they you want to tell you something? Let them sit out. And my dad. Have you ever seen those I really can, tiny no, grapes? I can, I can tell you like something. Yeah. My dad he used to. I personally like bananas when they're yellow, but a little like. Blue. Like greenish yellow. Yeah. My dad used to get bananas when they were like fucking like gross brown, like leaking, like disgusting banana stuff. He'd pick it up, fruit flies pour out by like the dozens, and he'd just put it in his mouth. <laughs> Rub it around. Well, like, lot, most people eat bananas that way when they're almost rotten. It's gross. I like normal bananas. You I like banana yellow. bread? I like yellow bananas. You like banana bread? Yeah. Well, that's how you make it. We yeah, but you're not e- you're not eating a disgusting fucking banana pile. Corey, you're you eating play. a delicious banana bread. Do you do you know they had bananas in Egypt? You know how they knew that? I this, shook my head. They head found head. Pot, <laughs> get this. They found they found pottery, right? You know how like they'd spin pottery, they would shape pottery on a pottery oh, wheel. That's true. Yeah. They were. Very subtle sound waves in the pottery grooves. The sound wave, the, you know, the need, the, the the needles. Like a record. Yeah, they'd actually scan the pottery, and they could scan the, the minute sound waves, and they played it back. And an Egyptian was actually heard saying, "Mm, I like bananas." <laughs> pass one of those bananas. <laughs> like, pass those those bana- but it was an Egyptian. He's like, "Pass those bananas. They're good." <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. He said Egyptian. He said, mm, "Bananas." <laughs> It's like, <laughs> it's, like, it's like the pharaoh likes bananas. This is actually what they And goes, it, 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 you know, it's recorded saying, who so, cares? <laughs> the end. So, so they, they figured that out, and the best thing they could put on a pot was, I like bananas. Well, they did, they, they, the sound... It was casual conversation. Well, yeah, yeah, it was casual conversation in the room. They didn't know the pot was actually picking up these minute sound waves in the grooves they were, well, as they were making the pot. Oh, the sound got trapped in the it, pot. It's like the pottery. Yeah. yeah. Essentially putting little divots yeah. as they were spinning it, if you trapping were, the sound. Do you remember those back. really, like, really, really old recordings from like 1880 that they recovered and like re- scanned and replayed? Yeah, I heard one from your uh, that your mom recorded. <laughs> Does, does she go bad stamper? Because <laughs> you, you said 1880. <clears throat> Stop. No. That means she's really old. Well, that's not true. <laughs> I can bet you that much. Well, finish your thought though. Have you heard it before? No. It's it's the creepiest thing because it's talking like us, but it, it's really filtered and weird. I just wonder. What are you, the fucking dude for that one movie? Come yes. out to play. What is that movie? The Warriors. Is it? Yeah. He's doing the fucking thing with the bottles on his fingers over there. What are you talking about? The fucking clanking the bottles like that dude for that movie. <clears throat> Corey, come out to play. What about the bears? 
The bears? Bears and the Sango Squatches. The Sango uh, Squatches? Sango Squatches were an offshoot of the Sasquatch in uh And they're Italy. so horrifying. They're very similar though. They look exactly the same and everything, but they if just we told don't. you about the Sango Squatch, you'd cry. Because Not to be confused with the Anglo Squatches <laughs> that were civilized and had villages. They, <laughs> they were Anglo Saxon instead of Sasquatch. It seemed like they had a very primitive uh, religious religion to Realistically, them. if a pretty Sasquatch lady went up to you, asked you out on a date. How would she do that, Corey? Give you Give me your best sad squatch lady. She yanks you by your fucking yard, pulls your arm out of the socket. They do the voice though. She's like, <sighs> yeah. How am I gonna know that she's asking me on a date? That could just be a gorilla that you find in the woods. She kisses she's to, you. I shit my what, pants. What if, <laughs> what if? What if? All right. What if? This is this is actually what they do. This is their real mating thing. They walk up. They're standing in the street, and the one walks up and stares at you, right? And they they bare their teeth, and then they pull their vagina apart, and they're like, ah. <laughs> <laughs> And then they stand there with just their vagina open, and they they just wait there. Do they go? And they do this with their tongue. <laughs> they, they wait. They wait. They for do that, that pussy licking thing that they did. Yeah. Like, if you guys ever yeah, heard, I can't do and it. They, I'd be like, "What do you want from me?" <laughs> they'll actually, if they if they think you're aroused, they'll shit on in as they're standing there too. Sprung shit while their pussy's open. Yeah. Can I leave? You can't, but it'll fucking. It'll chase you down. If you turn your back on it while it's doing this, it will kill you. This is a very sensitive moment in the, when it's in its mating call. So you have to do something, I guess. You have to kind of, if you if you want to deny, if you want to very politely deny it, you have would, to just go right. put your hand on his face and just be like. Ugh. I would get him with the oldest trick in the book. I'd be like, your shoes are untied, and then I'd run. Doesn't understand English, Corey. <laughs> it's like always your solution, Corey. You need to pay your taxes. I'd run. <laughs> I tell, I told the IRS their shoes are untied, and they <laughs> say, okay, you're under arrest. And they'd say, gotcha. Maybe this is why he's got a fucking wheelchair and all every dream he has because like, he knows how guilty he should that be. That doesn't make sense because if they were like, you need to pay your taxes, like, well, okay, I guess I'll pay my taxes now. <laughs> have, you guys, have you guys seen that doctor? Like, like, your shoes are untied. You'll never figure it out. And they look down and they're like, I'm not. How are you going to tell the IRS their shoes are untied? I wouldn't. Your shoes are untied. They'd be like, no, it's not. No, like, pretty no sure sir, that... we checked that. We checked column 2B to make sure that our shoes were tied. So like, you can't check columns. He'd say, yeah, I, yeah, I can. So you're still uh, breaking the law, so please stop. I always get weirded out when I see these documentaries or, like, interviews of people who... Start over? I wasn't listening because I don't like you. Have you ever seen, like, an interview or, like, a like a documentary of, of people who claim to interact with Sasquatches or aliens or reptilians? Yes. yes. No, I don't watch I, bullshit. I just wonder why they... Are, are they really trying to get attention? No, I don't watch bullshit. I saw this one lady, I swear to God, on the subject of Sasquatches... You can find it somewhere. It was this lady who lives in a trailer park. Yeah. And she's, no, it was like in the middle of the woods. And she says, I know Sasquatch. He and I are best friends. He goes by every, all the time. Oh, yeah, I saw that. You saw, and she's like, what? How, how is he talking? You are my friend. Like, basically, like Caesar from Planet of the Apes. Yeah. You've seen this. Yeah. And she describes how the, she, the, the Sasquatch tackles the deer and kills it. Yeah, and she lives alone. And yeah. nobody likes her. And she says she grabs the, the Sasquatch hair off the Sasquatch when he comes ask, when he asks for tea for his coffee. Yeah. Uh, sugar for his coffee. Yeah, he comes in and asks her for human things like <laughs> mustard for his yeah. hot dogs. <laughs> we need mustard for deer. Yeah. <laughs> I, just, I just watch documentaries about murdered kids. I don't know why. I watch... I know why. I have a feeling. <laughs> to see how smart cops are nowadays. Yeah, yeah I try to... Yeah, I try what to, could I do? Yeah, I watch all these CSI shows. Not because I like them. I just want to get away with... See crime. what they're doing. Well, it's like you believe, like, people that are, like... When people are talking about their experiences, they always open up with the yeah, same let me tell cliche you, shit that you If you're before. abducted by aliens, you're not going to be like, well, and then they just took me out of my bedroom, and then I... And then no, they but that's what you always hear. Me. That's what you always fucking. Well, hear. you never hear the guy. that's like, oh, it was, and, then, and then this happened. And I don't know what the hell it was. Maybe it's a government thing. I don't know. What to do. <laughs> it's always some casual person. This like, I and then it's always man. some. It's, it's, if it is, it's some like chick with like she's all these like crazy like alien paraphernalia in her hair. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like fucking planet doilies hanging from her hair, and she's and like, like wh and where do you I live? I saw aliens. It's, it's like uh, I, I live in West Virginia. <laughs> In Arizona, in a one-bedroom house by myself, and you're like, "Oh, okay." <laughs> When's the last time you heard an alien uh, sighting from Japan or they, they have Asia? Witch, they they for have example. witch sightings. What are you talking about witch sightings? They, ha they, they, because it, it's so weird because a lot of these sightings are, are, are depend on the culture. So we have so so sleep paralysis is supposed to be 
like the biggest reason for alien abductions. People in Japan, uh, you know, like I, I think bad, it's, like bad it's Asian guy. countries. Yes, people, people in Japan or other Asian countries. I'm pretty sure it's Japan. Sorry if it's racist. <laughs> Anyways, people in Japan can't move, but they say they see witches. Same alien stories. They say they see witches. Oh, like old hags. Yeah, no, yeah. They say they see old hags walk into the room, and it's the same exact kind of verbatim story as aliens, except for with a witch instead. Are we done? No, never. That was the Sank Squatch. Join us next time on Sleepy Cast. When I poop, I don't have to push. It just falls out of my body because my anus is so huge. Goodbye. I was like one of the. I, I think I was like the first kid in Ireland to have Pokemon the movie on. on like of course VHS. you were. <laughs> no, because right, we were in Florida right as it like came out on video in America, and we were going home the next day. And I was like, I went up to the, the lady, and I was like, Is this out or is this like a preview? And she's like, It's out, stupid. <laughs> and I was just like, Oh my fucking god! And I bought it on VHS, right? And I brought it back to Ireland, right? And um, I, I watched it, and I was like. That was the best thing I've ever seen in my life. And then, um, so I fit, fit, like, you know The Den? Remember that show? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There was an Irish I, channel called The Den. It was like, kids. Or, like, do you remember in between shows Nickelodeon, there'd be two, two adults with a bunch of kids behind them going, What do you think of that, kids? And all the kids would be like, Aah! Yeah, it's, it's like that, that kind of shit, okay. right? Except it was like this guy in a red jumper and, which is a sweater, it was like this guy and two <laughs> puppets and they just like talk about the show that they're yeah, about to So those guys would always be like, Pokemon, the first movie's coming out in four months in Ireland, and everyone's like, Oh my god, Pokemon, the first movie! And I was just like, I have it on VHS. So I went to school the next day, and I was like, I have Pokemon, the first movie. And everyone's like, no, you don't, faggot. I was like, I do. And then uh, a guy came over to my house, and he used me to watch it, right? And he was just like, he went back to school the next day, and he's like, he, he does have it on it. So then everyone started coming over to my house to watch it. Oh, so you were the kid who was used for it. Yeah, 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 exactly, right? I would have done it so too. I would have been like, hey, man. <laughs> you were the Pokemon first movie kid. I swear, no, I swear, right? Everyone systematically came over to my house day after day to watch it, and then the, none of them ever talked to me again. This is the first Pokemon the first movie. It's let bygones be bygones. It didn't come out for like four months. I was like the king of school for like one month. That's really fucked up with like how Ireland is where stuff doesn't come no, out. No, it, it, it used, to, it it used to be like that. Now it's pretty much it comes out like yeah, on the piracy. same day. I, I was always the kind of person who would be like at a young age. I was like, a movie comes out. I'm like, I want to see if this is on LimeWire. It's probably on LimeWire. <laughs> then you just see like see like Sally gets fucked by dog, and I'm like, yeah, hey, it was here. always that fucking video. Not, it's not in here. Yeah. <laughs> I remember downloading a video, and it was like something really like innocent, and it, yeah, I think it was like Pokemon or something, and then like. It was this guy in the middle of a road in like uh, some Middle Eastern country with a rocket launcher and he gets like shot in the head and I was like, that was the first thing I've ever seen like that. I was like, what the fuck? You're like, it's it's not Harry Potter. <laughs> the it was secret. Harry Potter I was trying to get. It was Harry what? Potter I was trying to get. Yeah, Prisoner of Azkaban. <laughs> just like a guy getting his intro. Oh! And he just cut open and you're just like, I saw Harry Potter. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that, little, that Russian guy with his head getting chopped off. Like, you go into school and you're like, yeah. I saw Harry Potter. I'm like, no you didn't. <laughs> By your friend, like, it's check it out. Open it up. It's like a weird <laughs> stuff. Yeah, the whole Pokemon situation where everyone starts coming over to your house. Like, wow, Harry Potter's cool. And he's like recruit into like Al Qaeda. It's like I'm in the Pokemon club. I'm going. Yeah, well, to I'm in the Harry Potter club. <laughs> Teacher comes into school. All the kids have like rocket launchers and missing jaws. <laughs> we saw Harry Potter. <laughs> they did it. Experiment. <laughs> 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 Actually, that was really dangerous. You remember those uh, uh, what, Roman candles? Movies? Yeah. I used oh, to play yeah. Harry's Potter in the woods with my friend with Roman candles. Man, fireworks scared the actual shit out of they, me. I would I, never hold a firework and light it. Ever. I did, and it wasn't the smartest thing I could do. You know, we used to, I think I told you this. Mm. I don't know if you were here, though. We used to hold bottle rockets and throw them at each other just, so before, just before they shut off. So you'd be like, and hit my friend in the side of his foot. Oh my god. It was fun. Like, if you see the aftermath pictures of kids holding fireworks, and like, their, their hands turn into, like, palm trees, kind of. Red palm trees. Yeah! It's fucking gross. Do you ever gross. see the, the tattoo you get when you get struck by lightning? Yeah, that looks you cool. You get, like, a cool spider web all down your arm. Just That happens when you get struck by lightning. Wait, what? You yeah, get, like, a, like it, it leaves a mark of, like, yeah, the like lightning bolt. it's like a tattoo. It looks really lightning. cool. That's fucking awesome. I know, it's like, I have the power. So like, now it's, it's really like, cool. like, you get a permanent, like, fucking, like, black lightning bolt tattoo. It, no, it's, like, red, but still. It looks Cool. It looks cool. Oh, and then people are like, Why, where'd you get that tattoo? Like, Shocked by a lightning bolt. <laughs> Spill hot milk on my arm. <laughs> Pretty cool. <laughs> Got third degree burns. <laughs>
I put that hot chocolate in, in the microwave. <laughs> Jesus. Hey, that's, yeah, that's, that's, if we're talking about tattoos, would you ever get a tattoo? I don't think so. I Me would, either. probably. Like, I'm the kind of guy who regrets anything. Yeah, I see, but I probably would regret I am, too. But I'm, like, I'm also stupid, so I'd do I'm, it like... Power to you if you yeah. like tattoos, but I, I think I would regret it no matter what. It would just drive me crazy. I wouldn't get one it. on my dick or anything like that. No, I, 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 I wanted I to see I that. thought, like, those sleeves thing looked really yeah. cool for a while, but now everyone... Like, now it's, like, a kind of douchey thing, so I... Yeah. If I was to get one, it'd be, like, on the sole of my foot. It would be just a fucking ugly face or some shit. <laughs> you just lift your feet up. That would be funny. It's a good idea. But you can step on it so people can't see it all the time, even if you're naked. That's what people used to do where they would like put their tattoos on their ankles so their parents couldn't see it because they wear socks all the time. Yeah. I do oh, know that smart. there's certain points in your body where if you get a tattoo, it fades really fast. Like, I think if you tattoo anything yeah, on your yeah, finger, on your, your finger. blood will like carry the ink to the tip of your finger. Well, it's and maybe because you bend your yeah. fingers a lot, so like the Probably, skin kind yeah. of... I always wondered why don't like dudes get hair tattoos. Yeah, I saw, you remember that bald guy? Did you see that picture? No. There's a picture of a bald guy and he got like loads of like, it looked like he has a shaved head tattoo. It looked like real. Oh, really? You can yeah. get a shaved head tattoo? Yeah, yeah, like you can make your head look like that you look just like shaved you it. shaved it instead of it being like, uh, like Larry David That's bald. interesting. That's a good idea. It is a good idea. Look, if you're balding, great. and it's like, why not? You can look like a cool <laughs> Jason Statham man. Yeah, exactly. yeah. What about piercings? Because tattoos and piercings. I had, I had piercings. Really? I want to get a piercing on my banjo string. Oh really? god, that so, would hurt so, so bad. So that when, when I have sexual intercourse, girls think I'm good at Wait, it. Wait, you want a Prince Albert? In a can. <laughs> Now I had a nice conversation talking about sewing places. Sewing. No, place. we were talking about how depressing it is walking into like you know Michael's arts and craft stores or just arts yeah. and craft stores. Well, in I told you it's because like just these old people are going there. Wait, why? Is that, I'm thinking is, it's the lighting. Why is, is it depressing? <clears throat> I think I think it's the lighting. I'd no. like to also talk about the atmosphere of these arts and crafts places. Yeah. You walk in, mm -hmm. harsh lighting, old ladies, yeah. potpourri. That's what I'm saying. It just, it just screams death. It, it looks death. like it looks Wait, like yeah, a place. Death. It looks like a place where like old people go to die. Like they curl yeah. up in the felt, <laughs> and then they're made into they, like. Fucking knitting. They the dry dreams. up in the back. They mummify themselves prior, <laughs> like it's, old monks did. It's hard to go in there because they have like, if I want to go for art supplies or get something framed or buy like a brush, yeah. I have to walk through a literal forest of fake awful potpourri. Yeah, yeah the it's back. true. Yeah, you Plants. can't. Everything there is just. It's like impossible to find just like a small. Glue it is stick. a combination of everything. Find but I think it's the lighting that depresses me the most. Just that harsh lighting? fucking solid tone lighting. That's like I never realized that until you mentioned it. Yeah, well, it's I disgusting. Said, it, well, I said like the lighting is like. In the back, it like starts getting darker and more scarier, and then in the front, it's like lit up. And that's what I said. Like people go back everywhere. there and they don't come back because like there's no one's going back in the area with the fake brushes. Like po is that potpourri where it's like this like weird shit? Potpourri is the little leaves you break up and it smells good. Oh. Why'd you laugh at that, you freak? Because <laughs> my mom used to put potpourri around the bathroom. Oh, okay, mine does. It's too. like an old quaint. I don't know. Potpourri smell is. like. But me and I were just saying the other day we went to uh, Kmart and we walked in. And we we're like, this is really depressing. But then the more we walked through it, the less depressing it got. That's because you saw toys you liked. <laughs> That's true. Kmart. It was like a Halo, a life-size Halo toy. No, but whenever I walk into Aldi, like, I don't like going shopping. Aldi was one that I could never walk into. I don't into. like going shopping because it makes me depressed because you walk uh, into Aldi and it's really depressing. It looks sad. Aldi's the looks lighting like is a yellow. shower room. It's like orange and fucking, yeah, yeah. there's like drains everywhere with yet black to go fluid. Aldi. You know what's fucked up about Aldi? Um, when you walk in the door, they um, force you to go through the first aisle to get into the rest of the store. Yeah. And the first aisle is really depressing because it's just mm. all this cheap-ass shit. Well, Aldi, yeah. it's and awesome it, in some ways because they have all their own brands that are a lot cheaper. The rotting same. fruit that they leave out for days at a time. <laughs> I don't time. buy fruit there. But. I remember I used to go to Rest Aldi's Christy. with my dad, and he would give me a quarter, Aldi's? and that quarter would be mine. I would get to put the quarter inside to pull, because you put a quarter inside to pull out the, <clears> the, 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 trolley. Cart, the trolley, yeah, the cart, and <clears> then I got to keep the quarter. <clears throat> so I would look forward to that because I'd be able to buy shit out of the little yeah, stupid it, bubble machines. And Aldi, you could, you could a hole, you're open to everything with a quarter. No, so, wait, we were talking about AC Moore art stores, right? Yeah, AC Moore, Michaels, those, and Michaels is worse than AC Moore, I think. Is it? A little bit. What about dollar stores? Do you guys like yeah, same, it's the same thing. It's oh, just depressing to walk in. I hate my, walking my in. My dad there. owns pounds like dollar shops. Yeah, in Ireland it's different though. They're kind no, of more. It's not. It's well. You mean like dollar stores bit. or like dollar they're, general? They're called, like discount shops, I guess you call them. They have like this reflective tiles. Like they all have these like reflective tiles where the light just shines off it, and it's just. Should, should we talk about the stores that are down the street in the in our town? Oh yeah, that are just like <clears> like <throat> awfully placed. Let's look bring this up. All right, so basically we live in. I think we we, we work in a nice area, but but it's the problem nice. is there's this main intersection. The people people elected it to take care of the town or whatever the they they're always trying to improve everything they're like Oh, let's let's remodel the street, the, oh, yeah. the street lights, and the crosswalks, and everything's nice. But they took. Let's talk, all right, let's just let's just break this down for a few items. First, on the main corner of the street, 
There's a, a bug extermination. Yeah, that's, that's not only that. It takes up like 40 acres. The front the front window display in this bug extermination building is a like a bug museum. Yeah. But it's bugs that are in little glass cases that have been there from since like 1975. So they're <laughs> yeah. all faded and old. Yeah, they're all bleached they have, and it's like, sun. Here's our termite display. What happens yeah. to shoes when they get <laughs> yeah. termites? It's like 1950 <laughs> shoes and typewriters. This like is like in the middle of the intersection. <laughs> this is like the cornerstone of the whole intersection. This shitty fucking bug store. Don't they refuse yeah. to, like, give it up? Or, like, they, they've been offered to get out of they there? They were... Yeah, there was a really nice restaurant chain called, like, Iron Hill Brewery or something. They're like, yeah, we want to buy it. And they have a nice place. They have other nice locations around here, and, but they wouldn't sell. Mm-hmm. And let me, let me talk about this other place. The, across the street. This is the <laughs> one that's the most infuriating. There's other places that are shitty down the street, but yeah, there's a lot of little closed consignment shops around, right? Like, women open up these little shops, and they put up, like, nice wallpaper. And what? Or men. No, it's women. It's for women. <laughs> I'm just kidding. And not. <laughs> Equality, Jeff. But they have, like, little flower displays, and the name of the store is, like, some little girly name, whatever. So, it went out of business in this, no this uh, undesirable <laughs> <laughs> moved into the shop and in all my years living I've never in the even in the poorest neighborhoods I've never seen a store get taken over it's almost like a, a squatter moved in where he didn't even <laughs> change the name of the it's store true. it's still like it's called like colors of flowers yeah, it's called like something. colored colorful flowers or something that's just the name of the store he moves in <laughs> this is crazy. it's still called colorful flowers but now it's like the the windows are filled with like neon lights and, and cigarette lot- ads and cigarette and ads lottery <laughs> signs <laughs> and now there's like this bright neon there's a bright fluorescent lights inside where you see all the flower he didn't even paint over the flowery wallpaper <laughs> And he's like, welcome to Colorful Flower. <laughs> oh my god. You just want to throw rocks to the fucking windows. You're just like, this is you do. this is a shameful display. There's a, there's another mm. thing that always irks me. It's yeah. always been an issue I've seen with like these fucking places that don't seem to understand that the sun is actually harmful to your products. These fucking idiots who have DVDs that have been there since the 80s. Yeah. yeah. Just fucking sun dried at this point. <laughs> yeah. And they have just this ugly sepitone white and blue. Just gross colors. Like, oh, no man. one's gonna buy. To what, what's that movie? Um, it, it's like, no one's gonna buy fucking Sandlot for the, for fucking VHS. <laughs> Nobody's gonna buy, They're gonna uh, buy Sun Faded National Sandlot. Lampoon's Christmas 2. These aren't but fucking movies anybody ever wants some, to own have, in their life. So, you have to say, though, there's a little bit of charm in those old, like, video stores. Yeah, when they're not dried coffee? by their son. But the funny mm-hmm. thing the is, candy. he, he has these, like, disgusting old DVDs that have never been touched in years. And then he comes out with, like, new shitty DVDs that, that no one's ever gonna is buy. another place that should be bombed. <laughs> It's, it's true. And, and that's next no, to the one true. that has all the old man toilets in the front store. <laughs> yeah. so all these collateral bi- damage. Of we have of so old many businesses in a row that should just be toilets and worthless bikes. The entire needs. block should be set on fire. <laughs> Can I just say one thing that really, yeah. really gets me down? Yeah. When I walk into a store and there's no music playing at all, and it's the most awkward fucking that's, shit. That's depressing. No, it's not depressing. It just puts you on the spot because then they notice you walk in because it's so quiet. Then yeah. all attention is on you, and they're like. Hello, and you're just like well, that, that's waving the, at them like a fucking idiot. That's the stressful part about going into small stores. Yeah, that's the, you walk in, you're the only one there. The owner is has his eyes locked on you. There's no music. Oh god! And now you're forced like, oh it's god, I have to like fucking, buy something. Or that's like a reason why I don't like going into stores that I'm not yeah, used to because yeah. I'm really terrified of the first experience, like if they're gonna be so on me. Because remember when we ate at that Thai place and like mm. the first time we ate there, these just these people were just like. My mom made that. She's back there. She wants to know how it is. They keep coming back yeah. to see how the food is. It's yeah, just like, yeah. fuck off. It's like, fuck. you're going to guilt trip me so I never want to come back here? I don't, I don't want to go to your fucking clothes store with three racks ever again <laughs> because Bradley you were like, trying to guilt trip me because your grandma died in these clothes. I didn't want them to begin with. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I we, My grandma we should, died we should say, um, yeah, there's probably like some kids in like Africa yeah. getting hacked up with machetes right now. I, we're complaining about walking into a quiet store. It's like, yeah, I, but I just, we weren't I born feel, there. We have our own problems. That doesn't eliminate our problems. I also feel bad too because it's, it's like when, when we're writing with like Tom and stuff and we're just looking at these businesses mm-hmm. like these like home doctor office where it says doctor it's just like a home like maybe people like yeah, that yeah, but yeah. it's just so weird because you see like banks that are just look like they're just condos it's like I'm not going to go into a condo that's a bank we, it makes me feel uncomfortable we were making the we were, we were talking with Tom in the car the other day about driving down the street and we see businesses that have been there for years but we just can't imagine anybody going into them yes. they don't look like a business somebody would actually walk into yeah. that's a good one like, they've um, always been there it's weird dude near us there's a place that like it looks like a house and it says um we burn dvds <laughs> really the sign outside it yeah i swear to god it's illegal it says we we burn dvds oh wow i'm gonna go to this <laughs> fucking creepy looking house to burn a DVD. i got uh can i get sandlot <laughs> <laughs> we walk in and then they fucking that's a good move they fucking
fucking to have a machete already ready where your tendons are. <laughs> right on your fucking arm tendons. Because you're a freak who goes to a place that says we burn DVDs. Or they hold a machete up to a DVD. They're just waiting customer. for you on the side. Like, <clears throat> like where are you reach? They have a Pee Wee Herman ranch act fucking They're expecting thing to like steal tendons. their fucking one dollar DVD so they'll hold a machete up to you? Yeah, they have these DVD. They have just like a nice like old lady maroon like dark wooded room. Corey. And they just have DVDs sitting on a desk and you go up to it and there's Wait, just there's like a, a pile of DVDs. There's like a Pee Wee Herman machete thing that goes like this so if you walk it cuts your fucking tendons. I don't think anyone's gonna go through that much effort for no a one's getting repeat DVD business cover. that way. <laughs> but, uh, Terrible yeah. business. That's what it feels like when you see places like that. My dad owns like cheap <clears throat> stores. Yeah, see, I, I'm not trying really to... it's really awkward to walk into stores like that for yeah. me, especially. But I'm not trying to like insult small businesses because no, I know either. it's hard to start a business but the worst thing you can do is bogart people with attention and bother them when they're just looking around. Like if they need your attention they'll be like Excuse me, miss, or something? Corey, did you ever walk into an Apple store? Yes. They have like 500 staff and like seven people in there. And they're yeah. like, can I help you? Can yeah, I help they all you? They flock like, to you like fucking I, demons. I Let like me. how the Apple store is, though. It I has a very it. calm nature to it. It is not calm. Everything's shoved in a corner mm. and there's just DVDs, and, or not DVDs, but just like. Everyone laptops. has like fucking like staples and smiles just me. and they're, they're like, can I, I help you? I hate that fake fucking like, yeah. oh yeah, dude, what's up? Oh, come come over here. I'll help you. Hey, bro. I don't know. I've never gotten It's like getting swindled every time. Yeah. I'm curious what would happen if you actually tried to buy something with cash in an Apple store if they just kick you like, out? You just are like, living you, in the like 50s, fucking, my friend. Like, <laughs> I'll take like, your money. It seems like there's nothing you don't know. They wouldn't even yeah, know You have to pay on your iPad? Yeah. <laughs> you, pull out, you, dro- you pull out change and drop it and everybody just looks uh, at you like, you're a freak. They're just always trying to swindle you. I was like, do you guys got those LED bulbs that you can control at your iPhone? They're like, yeah, then we got this big like, pack here. Oh, this, this pack is perfect. It's, no, like, I mean, it's got like 20 light bulbs in it and a fucking home hub. So it's like $500. It's like, no, I just want a one. Thank you. And they just try it for Everything I mean, down your throat. Yeah, yeah, no, I mean the store looks nice. I'm just saying, like, it's shitty because the price. You're like three hundred dollars for headphones. Oh, like, me, fuck me and that. I went in there recently because I wanted uh, an extra battery for the phone. It was like yeah. t- probably double the price you get for on, on Amazon. Really? It's like fuck this. This is stupid. Didn't you get it though? No, I oh, got it got- on Amazon. Oh, you did. <laughs> just, I saved like a hundred dollars. Yeah, that's shit. Oh man, yeah. And they have all these like cool hip gadgets section where it's like a drone with five GoPros on it. You're like, <laughs> oh, why do I need that? Welcome oh. to Sleepy Cast. I'm Jeff. I'm here with Niall, Chris, and Corey, or as mm. I call them, my friends. Whoa. <laughs> oh, I wasn't expecting that. How or is it or the cringe autism lord there we go. of the universe. <laughs> the super what's new, autism what's, what's new in cringe news this week, faggots? Cringe, cringe news. Yes. Cringe, news. cringe news. What is new in cringe news? <laughs> Coming at you live with <laughs> This week on Cringe. <laughs> what new shit is out there that I don't want to watch? Tell I actually I haven't looked at a Cringe video in a while. I, I usually, oh, uh, probably Go Animate videos. Those are pretty cringe. They're, they're, they're very okay. new. That's like Corey, two years. That's like five years ago. Yeah, me and Corey had a, had a weird little marathon there last week. We were over yeah. at Nick's house. We did a discovery, a little discovery. In case you know, there is a subculture. Wait, of- wait, wait, wait. First, you got to start off with this. It was me, you, and Shad. Yeah. We were all looking at Go Animate because we're all huge faggots. You don't include me on this. I was Corey, you were the one who fucking started it. I, it's, it was your idea to the ring go anime. Corey always searches. No, words. my Corey. idea was Roblox Law XD. <laughs> Corey, no, like, that's what I'm saying. You always start with the gayest <laughs> phrases. Roblox Law XD, funny ha XD, try not to laugh. It's always you starting this shit. It's you, gold. So then Chad is like, we're all watching these gay ass videos that are horribly unfunny and terrible. And then Chad's like, I wonder is there go animate fetish videos? It's so, true, yeah. So then we started Googling. Or, of you course know. you did. Yeah, so. So guess what we found? What, oh, tell me, what? Instead of fucking fetish videos, we found a whole subculture of people against go animate fetish just, videos. Like, just like 400 really? rant videos about why fetish videos are weird. Were they <laughs> animated in go animate? No, no, they were just people either, I mean some of them were, but they were like, they show the videos in question that yeah. are the ones that are bad, and yeah. it's just like these like girls walking to room and like yes 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 repeating <laughs> yes over and over and like Microsoft Sam no, that was their it. fucking titties and ass circles oh that was like there's circles nobody on their listening to this I mean understands what you're talking okay, about okay go animate is an animation program for dipshits it's for little that. babies it's, it's worse than the Simpsons cartoon studio right you, you drag little characters across the screen and make them always do the same expressions where they wave their hands in the air and pretend to dance and shit right but what we're saying is we found a subculture of people extremely aggravated animate they're filming. Vlogs about hating Go Animate. <laughs> no, not just Go Animate. Go Animate fetish videos. So they're. they're what are the feti- How do you animate fetish videos? Yeah. <laughs> you 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 make these like big fucking default circles grow around their ass area, so it looks like their ass is expanded. It's very it's very juvenile and poorly done. And or you make like- them fart. <laughs> 
You guys are retard. No, but listen, yeah, listen. Not, I had no involvement in there's, this. There's two, Nile, there's two subcultures. The there's like, I'm, I'm there's like the, the there's like the children right. like meme meme machines where they like do like jokes meme about machines. There's, oh yeah, there's like running the, gag. Yeah, there's like a running gag about being grounded. It's like a common joke. There's like a million Go Anime videos about getting grounded, and there's I, like six <laughs> movies of it, six feature length films that are ninety minutes I long about getting that, anime. Listen to me. I hate sitting here sounding like I'm like, what are you guys talking? Like I'm a fucking hundred year old. <laughs> Old man, but it's like I'm just a normal guy, and you guys don't are making any sense. Yeah, I like, look up, really making sense. Look to me. up Roblox, Roblox. Uh, <laughs> what is Ro Roblox? <laughs> it's like Minecraft, but for smaller children. Look Holy up Roblox. Shit. Look up Johnny Utah War. plays Roblox. Okay, I'm not doing that. We're ever. making that. <laughs> so, anyways, yeah, that was cringy. That was I believe you. This, yeah. this week in cringe. Yeah, yeah but like go animated. <laughs> the more main screw stream cringe is like kind of like someone fucks up at also, like. I think the guy's name that did it was like Gohan Satan. South Park Satan fan. It was SP fan ten or something. I yeah, forget. it was like something South Park Satan fan 2015 uh -huh. VCP. Everyone was uh -huh. really against him making go anime. They made go videos. anime videos where they put him out on the street and be like, "Haha, look at him, he sucks." And then he's, his ass expands. He's like, "Wow." You met showed him. Yeah. You remember, remember twenty minutes ago when I said, "What's new and cringe this week?" I shouldn't have said that. Yeah, you shouldn't. Have. It was That's your it. Let's Ever. talk about books that you remember as a kid. That's three like books. That's what I'm saying. Stanford. Three books that you remember as a kid. No, I'll go. I'll go because there's like three books I remember as a kid. Right. There's the Stinky Cheese Man. I fucking love that <laughs> book. You remember that book? He has like bacon. No. He has bacon for a mouth and olive eyes. He was based off of the, the oh, gingerbread man. Corey. And he's the Stinky Cheese Man. I fucking love that I have a book. Weird All right, before this game continues, I actually want to. Are you draw inventing it. these? Do these books the actually this exist? exist? That sounds so fucking made up. Stinky <laughs> Cheese Man is real. No. Well, Google it. I fuck. Look at. I That's guarantee Corey, this. I'm sorry, but it just sounds like the most made up shit. By and Corey I'm the fucking ever. psycho in this group, right? <laughs> this Stinky is right there. Stop. The Stinky. Stinky Cheese Man okay. is based. It's it's a parody like gross book of right. the Gingerbread Man. A is guy it, makes a Stinky a Cheese up? Man. It's a book. It's just like a book. But have he, illustrations or yeah, yeah, illustrations. Up? But he's like a, a mozzarella cheese head thing, like with like the cut in the middle. He has an, two olives for his eyes and a bacon mouth. And he's a mischief little guy, and he like runs through the woods Dude, and stuff. Dude, I think you ate at the International House of Pancakes and invented no! a book. No! <laughs> no! It's real! I'll draw him right now! A Give really me a year, fucking piece a of really... paper! Give me a- Corey, no one can see, so just count Give me down. Make sure you piece... show everybody on the podcast. Uh, Corey, come I, back. I remember there was this book, right, where there were these alien blobs who took over people's bodies. And uh, it was a kid's book. And one of the alien blobs took over this girl's body, and it made me horny. And I have no idea why that made me horny to this day. This like, is what he looks like. Because your alien blob takes over a girl's bodies now. You know what I'm talking about? This is about, what he man? looks like. The stinky cheese man. He looked like this. That's a gingerbread man. Yeah, it's a parody of it. It was he like looks a like gross fuck book. Siri. Yes. Stinky cheese man. Dude, I have been fucking drunk since nine. I don't nine. know what you mean by yeah? stinky yeah. cheese man. <laughs> book. Stinky <laughs> cheese man book. Hey Siri. PM last night. Stinky cheese man book. <laughs> Understand. Stinky cheese. Fucking Google it. Somebody go uh, fuck she, Siri. She, she, could, she, she usually couldn't Google find shit. a fucking spoon in a cereal bowl. She's a fucking idiot. <laughs> Siri is no Alexa from Amazon. You Holy like, shit! Now I remember I'm why right. I love this fucking podcast. I'm right, podcast. aren't I? Yeah, he's look, right. Look, That's... show him the picture of him. Show him the stinky cheese man. Holy, I think this, look, the stinky cheese look. man might be his. Oh, um, oh my god, that it's is fucking real, dude! I fucking told you. The way you drew his mouth, I thought your your hand was. He has a bacon <laughs> mouth and fucking olive eyes. Are you sure it's not International House of Pancakes? Because you can do yeah, that. It's right. It's right there. At International House of Pancakes. You guys remember Skip the Dog? Uh, Skip the Dog. No, I skipped that one. <laughs> What's that? What's Skip the Dog? It was a cute little orange dog. Oh, dude, there was a fucking there was a Nick Jr. program of My that fucking dog. Clifford, the big red about. dog. No, sk skips the dog. He's like, he had oh like yeah, there a, was a fucking. He had like his like fucking like Schnauzer friend. Yeah, yeah. It <laughs> the art looked like the commercials for Red Bull. Like it's yeah, like that yeah, really it does crazy look like that. style. Yeah. Did you guys have? I love horses. Best of all the animals. I love horses. What the hell is that? They're my friends. Dude. In Ireland, there was this show called Bernard's Watch, right? <laughs> and it was the, do you remember that, Chris? I don't remember it. There was this weird fucking show called Bernard's Watch where it was this kid, and he had this watch that stopped time, but like, there was like really weird, creepy fucking pedo undertones to it where like, he'd like, press the button, and like, you know, the first few episodes, they'd just be like, Bernard, press the button. 
And he went and like like he'd go into a store and like he'd skip the the line would, the line would be huge so he'd skip you say Ireland but UK UK and he'd skip the whole queue and but he'd still pay for the fucking shit in the shop because it's for kids but then there was these weird creepy he'd, undertones he'd skip like, the whole line yeah and like episode like twelve like he, he'd see like this weird black van when time was stopped he'd be like huh I think he got kidnapped or something I, I don't know I can't remember what happened after that but it was what are you weird, talking about creepy. was that like a summary of your life or a real show I think it was I think it was a show <laughs> okay <laughs> Stamper it is so comfortable in the new grounds office. This is a sleepy in cabin. We're in a cabin. Yeah, we're in a cabin. Oh, yeah, no, 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 no. Shut up, Wolverines. Oh, really? Oh, Sniper, you know when you escaped the cabin the first time? Uh -huh. how, did you, how did you end up finding yeah, your way you back? Escape? Did you just like do a circle around and come back? In? A GPS. What did you see well, in those wrong, woods, Stamper? Nile. Yeah, I was there, but I was watching. <laughs> I was only an observer. <laughs> he was there. And Chris. Yeah, well, Chris, we, Chris me and Chris I was were peeking under there. the bushes. We didn't think you could see me us. Me and I got stuck in quicksand. We got stuck. We got stuck. Stamper helped us out. and we. Stamper, who would win? Uh, Harry Potter with his invisible cloak or Frodo with his invisible ring? Easily. Harry dude, Potter. fucking Frodo will just get eaten by fucking ring rates, dude. No, they're in a white room with no doors or windows. They're just stuck in there with each other. Harry I think Potter. the ring rates will be able to. Will, that will no stop one the can ring get rates. in or out. It's just Frodo and Harry. Harry Even Potter fucking ghosts. Magic. Harry Potter is magic. He doesn't. He he, he lost his wand. He could be like Chocus Van Trocus. I'm talking like year two Harry, so he's like. Year two Chocus here. Van Trocus. <laughs> it's a choke book. <laughs> it causes Frodo to choke himself. No! <laughs> he like, doesn't have his wand that someone's throwing. You're like. Chokus Van Trokus, and then fruit goes in and they choke on it. Some Norwegian guy listening called Chokus Van Trokus. And then like, you can't do that. You guys should are fucking do that. it up. They're in it's, a white room with no doors or windows. It's pronounced Chokus Van Trokus, not Chokus Van Trokus. Um, it's the, second year Harry Potter. Napoleon Dynamite and uh, Visibility Cloak Harry are in a room. Oh, so Darth Vader <laughs> 2.0 versus What are you Harry talking Potter. about? Dude, fucking Kylo Ren, dude. Kylo Ren. And Napoleon's <laughs> like, this is sweet cloak. Can I use it for a second? Yeah, Kylo Ren. Have it. Dude, can I have that? Do I look like, invisible? This is really sweet. Do the, do the you can't see Harry. He's wearing the cloak. I really want to see a compilation of someone taking fucking Napoleon Dynamite and putting it over Darth Vader's face. <laughs> Darth Vader 2.0, Kylo Ren, Darth Vader. He's like, where she's like, I'm not going to submit to. He's like, God, whatever. You like Darth Vader too? Yeah, he's like, oh. <laughs> we are never allowed to talk shit on any parody ever again. <laughs> that would be After funny. That. Do you guys like Napoleon Dynamite? Yeah. Yes. I, I, like, loads of people hate that. Yeah, movie. they don't get it. I they, love Napoleon Dynamite. Lyle fucking hates it. No, that's, it. A, that's a, one of those 50 50. It's like either you love yeah, it or you yeah, hate Marmite. it. Does Lyle hate it? Or rather, yeah, you, you it. understand it or you don't yeah, care for I it. I love it. I love it. Yeah, I love it too. It's like the only quirky comedy I can do. I thought it was charming and well paced. Yeah. I like the pacing more than anything else. All right, Stamper, you said something that was really interesting. Movies that movies that stuck with you that you always remember. Did I say that tonight? Yeah, you said, said that like an hour ago. You said that like an hour. You said like <laughs> movies that you saw that you remember as a kid that never left. I said a lot of. I, you know, I say a lot of things. I, There's something I remember seeing as a kid, and I swear to God, it's real. So I, I don't know how to explain it. I just remember I was sitting behind the couch, and I peeked my head up to watch what my parents were watching. It yeah, was I a did pink the same couch, thing. Yeah. And I don't know, it was a white couch in a pink room, and they were watching something on the show where they were, these kids were in a graveyard. Your parents and have a, a white couch, had a white couch in a, in a pink, pink room. room? It was Florida. That doesn't Vermont. mean anything. Well, it was like, for, it's like common in Florida. It, it, that's not fucking important. What's important was... It's important there. to me, but continue. <laughs> so there was teenagers that were in a graveyard, and they were fucking with this one graveyard. Like, they were smashing stuff on it, and I was watching it. And I remember they were smashing like tombstones. They were smashing bottles on it and shit. Oh, okay. But what I remember vividly was there was this. It sounds fucking crazy, but there was this demon baby, like red-eyed demon baby, that flew up and fucking bit the guy's neck and like ripped him apart. And there was just blood and all the shit coming out. And I remember hiding from the couch and not knowing what I just saw. That was one that always stuck with me. When I was like eight. I was at my friend's house, no. and then he said, my brother's watching a scary movie. So we stuck our heads around the door, and it was that scene from Evil Dead 2 where he's flying through the woods and he smacks into the tree, <laughs> and his face falls down into the mud for so like... scary? No, no, dude, right? His face is down in the mud for like 20 seconds, and his face comes up, and it's really scary. That fucking ruined my fucking... I was like ruined for like three years. I was like way too young for that. I can understand that being scary with this, the noise that was, of like... There was no movie. context. I didn't know it was a funny movie. That's I just the thing. Saw that I, I think a lot of people... People have those. Yeah. Like I had one too. Like I came downstairs and my parents were watching this movie where two people were fucking, and I was like peeking around the corner. <laughs> but it was like some Cinemax thing. Like yeah. it didn't. But to me, it was like so important. I was like, oh, yeah. Oh, I'm I'm looking at something right now that I should be looking at. <laughs> that was the same way with um, Six Feet Under. That's when I first I, t I told you this story. I don't think we ever released it publicly, so I could probably say it. First time I ever saw like actual like gay porn. I was with the dudes in Six Feet Under. Were, yeah, like, when he was other? like hard fucking him <laughs> in a fucking like 
parking lot under like a, a like underground parking lot thing hard fucking him you don't understand it was intense and i was just like a kid i was just like <laughs> i didn't know what i was fucking looking bare, at bareback like no loop it, just no inside. no it was like the car was fucking shaking on the front of it, it fucking... and he was cursing and it was kind of crazy just, like, slapping his and ass then i remember and the cops come and they run away but i remember my they parents had, they, saw they me. had very serious um intentions with that show i think you know six feet under Maybe it's not Dexter. Called, uh, six inches in, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I just That's remember one scene. He was just talking to this guy at a party, Thanks, and then he's like, "He's Thanks, like, you want to do this?" Like... And the guy's like, "Yeah." And then immediately there's fucking, and I'm just like, "I was not expecting." Was that, that the dude from Dexter? Wasn't he the gay guy in that movie, in that show? Uh, probably. He might have been. Do you, um, think, do you think there's a word for what you just said, Stanford? What? Where it's not nostalgia because you don't get that nice warm feeling, but when you're a kid and you see something that may not mean something to anyone else except you, but it's so important to you. That it like it just always sticks with you forever. Scare stalger. I don't even mean anything specifically scary. I just mean like something that affected you so much, but it may not have affected anyone else. Let's, let's At the same time, it's something that you can't really explain to somebody. Yeah, nostalgia because is personal. It, it, though. It'll never. It's not nostalgia though. Nostalgia's affect going, them. Uh, I remember it's that. Like, it's yeah. like oh yeah, I remember that too. But it's like yeah. a moment you remember, but you you remember vaguely what it is, and you can never recall what it is until that's you get older. like a really weird, vague, powerful emotion. Nick Shellman asks, Yes! An alien invasion is happening tomorrow and you have no time to prepare for the onslaught. What's your game plan? Well, I know the aliens Wait, are Wait, I have no tomorrow. time to plan? No, you've got no time to plan, but what are you going to do right now? Well, the aliens... I know the aliens are coming tomorrow. Yeah, but what are you going to do? The same thing I'm doing now. You've I mean, only got like a few hours. What the fuck are the aliens going to do? <laughs> they're going to come down and fucking shove their huge 10-foot fingers up your ass. Does he say that or did you just no, say No, that's coming? what I say. They're going to come down and like, you know, enslave you or kill you. So this is the arc we have to get through. Yeah. They're gonna come in and finger fuck everybody with their 12 foot fingers. <laughs> yeah. You don't know that. Yeah. They do know that. This is the arc. Chris pictures from NASA out. clearly show aliens sitting in two floating chairs with big long 12 foot fingers. <laughs> yeah, there's like pictures, like snapshots of the great things doing this and doing this. <laughs> like, they got shots into the space spaceship window of them like sticking their big fingers through like a, like, oh, we're they're gonna like do pointing, it. They're, pointing, yeah, at they're pointing at your face and they're going, yeah, oh, we're gonna get They're not you. saying, yeah. Yeah, they're going. <laughs> <laughs> well, what are you gonna do? They're coming down. They're coming down. You've got 12 hours. Let's say you got 12 hours, Corey. Okay. What do you do? I'm gonna be animating. Suddenly, <laughs> I fall out of my seat. No, the aliens come you've down. You've got 12 <laughs> hours before they come down. <laughs> he just waited 12 hours. He was just he animating waited for 12, for 12 hours. <laughs> I, was just, I finished up what I was doing. I sat down and fell asleep. Okay, well you're dead. Then I got up. That's the work. end of your story. They're good. They're gonna. They're, they're not gonna kill me. Yes, they are. Now, how, here's, here's the, the thing. thing. They come in. They're like. They have like two fingers. I put my hand on them because they're small and I hold them back. They're not small. I'm they're pretty... actually like 12 feet tall. Okay. They're twice the size of a human. Oh, they have 12 feet fingers. Yeah, they're, they're 12 gonna... feet tall and they're 12 feet stick fingers. My finger. Corey, this is what they do. They shove one finger up your uh, asshole. And if you're a girl, they shove another finger up your pussy. And then they like, they bend their fingers inwards and crush you from the inside. Got it. So, uh, there's two th Okay, so first of all, the main plan A is, first of all, do we all know that it's happening? Does the world the know? The entire world knows. Shit. So if I go to like a gun store... All gone. Okay. All, all the guns um, are gone. Yeah. Okay, let's improvise. Okay. I'll be the story master, and you gotta tell me what you're doing, and I'll change the So situation. we're basically playing Dungeons and Dragons yeah. with no dice. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. okay, so... The okay. aliens are coming down at 12 hours. Uh, citizens of the Earth, you must prepare. Bye. All right, so the very first thing I would do is um, I would go to... God damn, like if I went to a police station... Roads are blocked off, all the cars are traffic I would use jam. the only weapon I know how to use. I'd play a trombone really loud in their ear. Dead. Um, Shot by the army. And if I go... <laughs> If I go to the store, if I go to the store, is all the food gone too? Most of it. There's only like expired milk left. Only here. expired milk? Rats. And, Fuck. And an expired sausage. I go to a local expired church. Sausage. Okay. Because everyone's abandoned God by now because they all realize there's aliens, so therefore there's clearly no God. Right. So I would go into the church, I'd go into the basement, and they always have food for like donations and stuff. Maybe. The bums have beat you. Shit. They already I got, got beat there. by bums. <laughs> um, and while you leave, you get molested by a bum on the way out. Shit! But now you're back on the street and you're you're fine. Do not pass go. The Do not collect $200. Are, collect the hours a, are collect a dirty down. bum dick in your butt. <laughs> the hours are counting down. You Shit! How many hours I got left? You Ten. Few. Ten, yeah. Okay, so I've gone to the gun store, I've gone to the grocery store, I've gone to the police station, I've gone to the church. Why would you go to the police station? It's like, police help, the aliens is coming. No! I was hoping that <laughs> the, the aliens is coming, police! No! Well, my hope was is that they would 
would have abandoned the police station. No, they're like, they're actually shooting people trying to get in to get the guns. Shit. <laughs> okay, uh, I go to a hardware store. Fuck, you're gonna tell me, but is there any place I can go that's I'm not- I'm the story master, you gotta play your game and see what right, I say. Chris, I spend 14- Cool, you're already dead, shot by the army Hold for playing on. your trombone too loud. What army? The American army. No, I'm doing the they're alien- They're like, he's causing disturbance, kill him. They would never do that. Okay, fine. I was fighting, okay. Okay, well, you, you escape the bullets, you're fine, okay? No, I- hold on. So the, I have like 14 hours and the aliens are gonna come. You got 10 hours. Okay, well I spend a good chunk of my hours writing a sign with rocks up in the <laughs> top of the Newgrounds building <laughs> saying no one lives here to throw them off. Because uh, the can't. aliens can't read it because they don't speak English. Exactly, so I throw them off. So that they come in and kill you. <laughs> no, no one's here. <laughs> He's the story master, you're dead. Okay, so what you're saying is you say no one's here and you leave because there's no one there. Yeah. Okay, well that was pointless, Corey. You wasted another two hours of your time. <laughs> okay, well, <laughs> then I get hungry, yeah. so I go to Wawa's. Wawa's is like... Completely empty. <laughs> Completely fucking obliterated. It all, like all you find is Linda dead on her back because people stormed her. Okay, well, I go to the other wall. It's not the one with Linda. Okay. The one over here. Also empty. I all grab a backpack. Yeah. I grab all the food that I can that is in this office right now. Okay. So I grab all of that shit. But yeah. I'm not going to stick around here. I'm not going to stick around in these buildings. You know what they're going to do? They're going to search all the buildings. Right. So I get in my car and I park about a mile or two out from... Uh, there's a quarry up on 309. And right? I, at this point, the alien set off the EMP that wipes electricity from the world. Fine, great. So now you're stuck in a quarry. Great, that's exactly the point, though. Okay. So I before, but before I left, though, I grabbed some blankets and stuff that were down here too. Yeah. So now I'm deep in a quarry hole. What alien's gonna be digging around in a quarry? It's just fucking rocks, right? Okay. So I'm down there. Where was I? Like you're, yeah. you're, at, you're outside the Newgrounds office, looking up into the sky like an you're idiot. Like, you're like, Mick, why, why did you, where did you, why did you leave me out? <laughs> Outside. Let me in. I'll be like, no. There only have a few hours left. You've got, you know, eight hours left. I probably just go back inside and draw till my demise. Okay, fine. But here, let off the EMP. All the <laughs> electricity's out. You're just oh, drawing, yeah. on a, you're drawing on a blank. I just lay down and accept my fate. Because I don't know if I'd be able to do much. Okay. I'm you you, you want to spend your last minutes looking at your phone and then you realize your phone's dead too. <laughs> no, I'm just going to lay down. <laughs> just face down just on the out. ground. Just you can't out. watch long plays on YouTube anymore. What? Yeah, you're fucked. I can't watch walkthroughs and long plays. It's done. So I'm in the quarry with yeah. whatever food I've I got. I blow my fucking brains out. I've got, I've got the, funny. I've got some blankets and some pillows. Yeah. And I basically wait it out yeah. while I'm down there and just hope that they don't fucking come down. I cover myself in rocks. Little did you know that there's a quarry monster that lives in the quarry. <laughs> no! <laughs> it's winter, dude. It's been waiting for you the whole time. He's That's already... why rocks are hot. <laughs> rocks so I are not hot! I cover myself with lots of rocks What about then. the quarry monster? There's no quarry monster. <laughs> I kill the quarry monster, I slit open its belly with my teeth, and I sleep in it, and I eat it, and survive. Okay. No, so I basically, <laughs> okay. I, I don't know how many days of food, maybe like four days of food, possibly, if I wrap Fashioned it okay. mm -hmm. water wise. I, I man, I All mean, right, I well, can try to drink the snow or three something. People, three people show up. There's only room for one of them. Jim Carrey. Wait, wait you're telling me three people showed up? I'm sorry. I'm three sorry. People, three people, Four months of food now. Three people I'm gonna show eat up. All those motherfuckers. Listen, three people show up. Jim Carrey, Tom Hanks, and Jack Black. All right. I marry Jack Black, I eat Jim Carrey, and I kill the other- Fuck Tom Hanks. Fuck, fuck Tom Hanks. <laughs> Mick, your quarry, your little quarry charade is not gonna cut it because the aliens have sent out drones with thermal vision and they see you and okay. they, they use their fucking- no, uh, it's cool, man. They use their claw, comes yeah. down and picks you up. Perfect. Got me? Great. <laughs> Plan B. Okay. I had this in my back pocket the whole time. Oh. See, while I was running around looking for stuff, mm. I grabbed the super glue from the basement Whoa. and I super glued my butt shut. Why? It doesn't matter because they, they, they can't penetrate me and crush me from the inside if they can't get their fingers in my butt your mouth. Your mouth is still open. Yeah, just... I fucking, <laughs> fucking fill my mouth with really? super glue. Okay, <laughs> Mick, this is your last chance, okay? You're aboard the alien ship. You're looking down on Earth burning. It's a big ball of fire. Oh my god. Everyone's dead? Everyone's brown bread, okay? So <laughs> you're on their autopsy table, right? What? I'm dead already? No, you're oh, not. Okay. You're, I'm about okay. to be, though. You're, you're about to be fingered. Okay. In the mouth. Yes. And crushed from the inside. <laughs> yes. For science. Yes. But the alien drops his ball bearing and it rolls out of the room and he, he fumbles out to yes. get it. Now is your chance. What do you do? <laughs> I look around for something to grab. Yeah. There is a huge you know, giant scissors. The huge giant, like the ones they open, like the, they cut the ribbon for the, the fucking museum. Chris, oh, bigger think, than that and sharper than that. Chris, too. Oh my god, I, I grab it. I yeah. don't think you know what Dungeons and Dragons is. Can I, is it too, can I pick it up? Uh, with your toes. Alright, well, whatever I can grab it with. So I, he's fumbling around. 
Yeah, the alien's outside the room looking for his ball bearings. Like, now, why do I have bearings. to use my toes? Is it what, what this? Because you, you, you're, you're like your hands are like you know tied down with like easily cuttable. Rope. All right, all right. Easily so I take I take my foot and I and I funnel it right through. Like I fuck the hole with my foot and I try to flip the with both of my feet. And I try to flip it. Okay, but you cut your dick off. But now what? Ah! Yeah. Ah! Okay. All right. Well, I, I'm still alive. Okay. All right. So I guess it's on my chest. Okay. And the, I, the alien's running back into the room. <laughs> oh shit! I fucking. Heave my pelvis back and forth and fling my blood all over the fucking room. Yeah? I don't know, there's a slip on it? I don't fucking know. <laughs> okay, you slipped on it, you're good. Okay, <laughs> now, use the scissors and get out of there. I, scissors. Oh, I, 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 they're back, they're <laughs> fucking sitting on my chest with my feet stuck in them, and I've got my dick cut off, and I'm hopefully not bleeding to death. I guess I can try to widget it okay, over to okay, my hands. Okay, okay, an alien with big pigtails comes in. It's the little girl alien, and oh, yeah. it's like, I want to free you. I, y yes. I, I love humans. <laughs> Yes! So, okay, so she lets you out and she staples up your, your dick hole. <laughs> the dick couldn't be safe, but now you're not, you're not bleeding to death. And she's like, I'm going to send you back to Earth. Okay, and then- Hold on, before we go though, I do grab my dick. I, I grab the severed penis. Well, I know by now it's like the shriveled little like dead slug, but yeah, it's, 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 it's like black and shriveled up now, but yeah. okay, if you, if you want. Okay, but now- I might need a snack on the way back the, to Earth. This is the final objective. Okay. Um, you gotta sneak past the two mom and dad aliens. <laughs> They're watching the game. All right, now wait. All I have to do is sneak past them. The, the, the little girl alien's like, go, 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 go. so there's like a ship, like right in front of, in between them. There's like a daddy alien reading a newspaper in yes. the alien kitchen, and the mom's washing dishes. Okay, they're watching. And there's a little dog H. alien. They're watching. Go uh, and there's a dog. Yeah, there's a little dog alien running. <laughs> Fuck. They're watching HGTV. All right, I lean over it and I say, they're watching HGTV, right? <laughs> Home and Garden. Network I say, little little alien girl, <laughs> little alien girl, thank you for saving me. You saved like, my ah! life. I lean over, I give her a small kiss on the forehead. She fingers your ass. <laughs> and kills me? No, she doesn't kill you. She, okay, I'm like, friendly. Oh! It's like an alien bite, you know, a little nibble. I, I have finger, asshole, prostate cum. Yeah. Then I pick her up by her head and I fucking fling her across the room into the wall. And she's like, <laughs> the trial. No, 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 but she's clearly gets the attention of everybody in the yeah. room. Daddy yeah. alien throws his I, beard out. And yeah, <laughs> and they, they're looking at her right now. So while they're all distracted by their daughter getting thrown in the fucking wall, yeah. I run the opposite direction. I run towards the ship. Okay. Oh, I mean the, the escape pod. Yes, the escape pod. Okay. I'm in the escape pod. You're in the escape pod. The aliens are smacking on the door going, <laughs> Okay. I'm looking around. There's all this alien fucking technology. I don't know what to fucking do. Okay, actually... this is this is the last thing you okay. gotta do. I'm you... in the pod. I'm so close. No, you're in the. Wait, engine. but where am I even gonna go? I can't go back to Earth. Earth's on fucking fire. <laughs> There's a huge fire extinguisher on the bottom of the pod. <laughs> So you're good. Okay. You gotta use that first. All right. So you I I, pu I push the button. I don't fucking know how to drive this thing. Okay. It okay. You push the wrong button. You get sucked into outer space. No. But you're falling towards Earth. Oh, okay. Luckily, there's a huge eagle flying right underneath you. <laughs> <laughs> you land on it and catch it on fire. <laughs> and, and then you look up behind you, and the, the the spaceship explodes. Yes. So you you beat it. Yes. You defeated the aliens. I defeated the aliens, but I still didn't extinguish Earth's flames. I'm just flying over a burning <laughs> Earth in a giant eagle, Looks bleeding like... to death out of my dick hole, waiting for death. Just because the Earth's on fire doesn't mean it still can't rain. So it rains. The fire's gone. Yeah. You you land on. I land Earth. on Earth. How many people are alive? Like you and the eagle. All right. <laughs> well, Corey's right. alive too. He survived. Somehow. No, he didn't. Oh no, I'm Cor still working. All right, fine. You, you find Corey like a, a, a wall fell on him and kept him safe. All right. Yeah, I lift the table up and I'm like, all right. I come up hey, to Corey. Man. I find Corey. I'm like, oh my god, I give him a big hug. I'm like, I'm so glad you're alive. But it turns out that he was the little girl alien in the sky. Yeah, I, oh! I pull off my Corey mask. Thank you. Thanks for saving my life. <laughs> He's like, I've, I've been here all I really along. Appreciate it. I'd be like, yo, dude, I got this eagle here. We can kill it and we can eat it. And I wait for Corey, Corey's he's like, yeah, that's a great idea. And then what I'll do is we'll, we'll both approach the eagle, and as we do that, um, as I go in to stab the eagle, I actually turn around and stab Corey, and I kill Corey because I'm gonna eat Corey because an eagle is so much more helpful because I can fly that around. But the little girl, Corey's, kind of Corey's the little girl. I know, little girl, you already served She purpose. saved you. You served your purpose. You okay. saved my life, I don't need you anymore. Okay, the end, Mick is a murdering asshole. <laughs> Mick, Wait, it, no dick. I'm Mick, a dickless murdering Mick killed, asshole. Mick killed the alien. <laughs> that rides an eagle. Mick, Mick killed that the alien. An eagle. Yes. And, and, uh, <laughs> what's that one poison? Ricin? It's a type of poison. Arsenic? No, it's a type of poison. Anthrax? Anthrax. No, it's a poison that when you inhale it, it, like, causes you to foam at the mouth. 
Uh, Most poison. Cyanide. Cyanide. You stab her and cyanide starts leaking from her body and the toxins kill you. So then there's just a lone and eagle this, on a, on Earth. The, the curtains close and Big Dick Rick directed by Chris. Everybody claps. Angelina Jolie walks up, gives you a peck on both your cheeks, wow. hands you the award. Leonardo's wiping tears from his eyes. <laughs> Big Dick Rick! Big Dick Rick! I'm the king of the world! <laughs> Wow, I can't believe my porn won an Emmy. <laughs> this is the first in history. Thanks to the American Movie Association for helping me get past those mean critics. And the, 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 that, you know, you're not allowed to win porn awards at the Emmys. Corey. Yes. You watched the entire Star Wars yes. double trilogy. I did. Recently. I watched Star Wars. How much did you not know? How much did you know before going into it? Nothing. You I did knew, know, did you I knew, know Darth Vader was... I knew Darth Vader was the bad guy. Spoilers. I knew Luke was the yeah. good guy. You know, spoilers. Spoilers. He's just... spoilers. Spoilers. I knew, spoiler alert. I knew the, the bad guy, the Emperor guy with the cape, yeah. dies. Okay. And I knew that he was his father. Okay. That's everything. Or no, right. no, Darth Vader was... Was Luke's father? Yeah, yeah. So don't get confused. The Emperor. Yeah, let's just run. That's all I knew when I went into Star Wars, <laughs> and then I saw Star Wars, and I'm like, "What's all this other shit? That's stupid." <laughs> <laughs> oh, ooh, that's controversial. No, ooh, it's absolutely, ooh. it's absolutely. How necessary. did you watch them though? Did you watch from like the Phantom Menace onwards, or did you watch from? I the started from the prequels all the way to the end, and it's funny too because like I'm gonna break this down exactly how I see it. I'll give you the run in. On, yeah. I'll give you my analysis on Star Wars from start to finish. Yeah. I'll be quick. I'm not gonna stick long because okay. like, first of all, I can sum up the first two. The first First one's terrible. Everyone knows it's terrible. Phantom Menace. There was some good stuff in it. I'm not going to say that, but the good stuff out wasn't in it enough. There's too much fucking like yeah, council meetings. Yeah, there's too much meetings. There's too much like the fucking like the Jedi Academy. You didn't find shit. trade embargoes interesting? <laughs> no, I didn't. It's a, I didn't care, man. The I taxation of trade routes. And I thought. <laughs> I, wow! Yeah, it's like you're watching Star Wars and you see like, you know, obviously Jar Jar Binks is stupid, but his character is pointless. And it's like his role in it was completely pointless. It's like for the kids, but the kids, you know, the kids were laughing, I guess. <laughs> they were laughing. I was, do just want to say that vi there's a video out there that, that it states basically oh, that yeah. Jar Jar Binks is a Sith Lord. Yeah, Darth yeah. Yeah. And it's convincing that. as fuck. It is, yeah, it's really good. And I which believe sound, it. Which I would have too. been better. And I have heard this and I think it would have been brilliant George if Lucas, that would have like, happened. George lost his spine at some point. He just saw the hatred. Everybody was saying Jar Jar was this racist character. Yeah. <laughs> like, Misa, oh, oh, Misa, Misa, Misa step in poo poo shit, poo poo pee pee. Ha ha. I've never Lord. ever Misa put, put that together. Weed. I can't really? believe I've never even thought Everybody of that. Everybody was saying that. Everybody That's was saying that. So when true. I used to love Jar Jar when yeah. I was a really young kid. <laughs> he had those like. Just, he was my favorite character when I was really young. He fit the role of a slave. He had like those bug eyes and that like snail like texture on his face. Well, that's a Phantom Menace. What about what about the next one? The clo Attack of the Clones. Are you slaves have scale-like textures? Okay, all right. Attack Here we go. All right, I'm going to break it down for you, first of all. Yeah. I think Attack of the Clones is absolutely one of the most insulting fucking movies. Because I saw the Clone War, the animated Clone Wars. Yeah. yeah. I saw the first very good. half. I saw 45 minutes of nothing but action scenes and like brilliantly crafted fucking like Samurai Jack style like fighting and it was fucking genius. This and is it, and it was canon. Cartoon, by it way. was canon. So it's canon. So if right. you haven't seen it, I would recommend it. Right. And then you watch the Clone Wars, which is clones of this stupid asshole, which makes no sense. <laughs> fucking Jenga Fett. And it's worthless idiot kid that you don't care about at all. Bubba. Which I'll get into that in the future Bubba about Fett fucking is cool. Boba Fett's an idiot. And Bubba I'll get into Fett that. Cool. All right, okay, so the third movie I like. I, I like the third movie because the third movie to me was kind of like the last piece of the puzzle. I got everything, I, it like fucking opened my eyes. All these like <laughs> dumb mouth breathing retards that made one and two, I finally got it in three. I was like, oh, thanks for opening the window. The light shined in. It had its moments. Yeah, I think I partly yeah, had its moments. I, I really liked three. There was some stuff I didn't like, but overall I liked three. I liked three too. And then I thought four, it was all right, but it kind of stretched on a little long. It was cheesy even charming, but I was just like. It was an adventure movie. It was though. a little don't, boring. Don't, don't think of it like the old, just think of it as a standalone adventure It movie. was That's good, right. but this is going to sound fucked up, but I kind of scaled Star Wars based based on if I fall asleep enough in the fucking movie. <laughs> I fell asleep well, a lot in one movie. and rewatched it. I fell asleep a few times in two, and for the third one, I was awake the whole time. I was like, I was on the edge of my seat. 
The fourth one, I kind of fell asleep a little bit. Um, but the fifth one, I was on my seat the whole time. I love the fifth one. The sixth one, I think, is a piece of shit. I, I think only, like, yes. the last fight with the, the Emperor was good. And I think the Ewok shit. The ending is solid. Man, how many times can a fucking... And, and let, me, let me say something, because this is something that fucking pisses me off. Everyone blows their load over Boba Fett. But fucking... <laughs> Lexi said, you're going to love Boba Fett in six. And fucking... He gets his ass handed to him <laughs> by a fucking blind Han Solo. <laughs> but in a fucking Three Stooges skit, where <laughs> they use a fucking wood to knock his ass into the side of the ship and it falls into the monster's maw. And I was like, that's fucking Boba Fett? The Sarlacc? That's the cool yeah, dude who sits in the background and that's the fucking good, good guy? Everyone likes this retard who can't even fucking, he has terrible perception? So in my opinion, he just looks cool. That's what fuck like. Boba Fett. <laughs> He has a cool design. My beef with that movie is how, how many... Me and Chris watched the, the original unedited trilogy. You know, you know what I think of Boba Fett? What? All I could think about is fucking the little kid from Shazam. <laughs> I think that's the motherfucker. What are you talking about? <laughs> you, you, you know, know the little kid? Earlier. The little kid? It's it's either him from... What's the movie with the kid who goes back? He's like a fucking like baseball player and he goes to the medieval times. Oh, uh, Black... Is it... No, oh. I'm trying to remember the The Black movie. Knight or something? Black yeah. Knight, yeah. yeah. No, that's... It's either him or the fucking kid from Shazam with the curly hair. That's all I thought when I saw Boba Fett Jr. Do you like young Anakin? He's like, woohoo! No. Yippee! Yippee! No, I, I fucking, I hated him. Are you an angel? I, I hated him in uh, Jingle All the Way. This so, is pod racing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So his, his prized role in the first one was terrible. Man, I feel funny. so bad for him. I do like, too. Like, it's not his fault at all. George Lucas is a fucking idiot. No, he I ruined agree. that kid's life. You know what? No, everyone gives Look, the kid no, shit. No, George Lucas didn't ruin his life. He, he did fucking ruin like, his life. He didn't know what was going to happen, there's right? Some, there's some picture of him, like, recently. He's got, like, a, a scruffy beard, and he just looks yeah. drunk. And he looks like one of us. Do you know what he did? Did yeah. he? He fucking like he threw his mom on the ground and kicked her in the ribs. He and looks it, like a sleepy cat. Uh, this is not a joke. Yeah. He, he threw his mom on the ground, kicked her in the ribs one day. He's like, "You ruined my life!" And then he got in her car and he he got on a high speed like chase across like three counties. And the a police, speeder bike? Uh, no, it was <laughs> He's real. He's letting car. it get to his head too much. He <laughs> could walk away anonymously Whee! as fuck. No one will recognize him. What anymore. are you talking about? <laughs> People, of course, are gonna recognize him. He's, He's the most like... fucking hated thing in the world, probably. Uh, no. Yes. Absolutely yes. not. He's not even. Star Wars is the biggest thing. Uh, uh, ever. It's bigger you, than Hitler and Bugs seen, Bunny. Well, have, not, okay, have you seen Justin all, Bieber? He gets a lot of hate. Justin Bieber. His new album is actually pretty dope, actually. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'm just Look, saying. Yeah. George Lucas, he showed up and had his thinking cap on. He ruined the kid's life. I, he did. I disagree completely. Um, I, the, the, the reason why they chose him, actually, is because Leonardo DiCaprio was supposed to play uh, Anakin. He, he looks just like a young Leonardo DiCaprio. Mm. But Leo saw the script and said, nah. <laughs> so, uh, so they just got that other one. He's good at picking the script. Yeah, he's really um, good at picking the script. Did you like the new one, Corey? I yeah. did. But then it, I, I liked it, and it was like, I was talking to Chris about this. What I didn't like what was everybody talked about was all these. I watched Star Wars. I, every day for like a week, I watched Star Wars once a day. And then I watched a bunch of Seinfeld, but after that I watched Star Wars. <laughs> and for me, I was watching it, and then I was just like, I get it. Okay, you don't need fucking music cues every time you bring up something Star Wars related. I'm not, a, I'm not a retard. Like I can understand when I see an object from an old thing I saw. What do you think of the? What do you think of like you know the, the episode one, and then all the like the writing comes up at the start, you know, with the theme song, and it tells you what's happening. Do you like that? Do you find that charming, or do you find that just pointless and stupid? Um, and I gimmick? think it. I, I think it's stupid because I'm dyslexic and I can't read anyways. <laughs> so when the scrolling text is going. Going out, I'm just like I can never concentrate on that. I always forget what happens, it. and then I'm like, "What?" <laughs> you know, I'm not gonna read exposition. Controversial opinion: I respect the prequels more than I respect the new movie. I love the, the new movie. Movies. I love the new movie because prequels? they're so like because at least George Lucas was trying something different. Yeah, the new one just felt so calculated. I, oh, I thought you meant the uh, like you respect no. the prequels more than the original. No, like no, the, I, I completely yeah, agree. No, I disagree. The Force I Awakens agree. felt like a bunch of dudes sat in a room around a table and. Uh, and know, they were like, no. They're like, and they jot down a bunch of ideas from the original trilogy, and they're yeah. like, this will work, this will work, and it's just this committee written script. Are you talking about the no. fourth one? No, no the, the seventh new one. one. The, the brand seventh, new one. The um, one. No, but see, I think it felt like seventh. a Star Wars movie. From oh, are you finish. talking about the prequels of the new one? It felt like a big, boring The one that's out in no, theaters. wasn't for me. Yeah. I was excited at the edge of my seat for that fucking see, movie. I love that movie. This is what I always saw it as, and I talked to Shad about it. You see it as like, so Star Wars has a huge shadow they have to fill. It has like yeah. huge shoes and everything, and you see, you know, like, like, why the fuck did Darth Vader wear his mask? Cover up his ugly he, head. Like, uh, that, and he would fucking die if he was exposed yeah, to the yeah. outside air. So he has his fucking breathing apparatus or yeah. else he's going to croak. 
What fuck does Kylo have a mask? I you like Kylo. I do, but the thing is, what's funny is you see Kylo as like that fucking. He's just like I love my grandpa, but he's a little spoiled shit. And it's it's, <laughs> it's funny. Not actually, it's not his grandpa. Spoilers, by the way. I'm sorry. Um, it, it, but it's it, no, it is. It, it is it his is. grandpa. Wait, it's yeah, not. it is. It Darth is. Vader is not Kylo's grandpa. It is. He it is. is because he's Leia's. Uh, he's Leia's kid. Yeah, Leia, Leia and Han's fucked me. The daughter Kylo. of Anakin. Wait, Leia and Han. But there's there's something that bothered me about that movie that I thought, oh shit but I th- that I thought was like really really stupid <laughs> and it, it pissed me off when they did it yeah and I hope I'm not being too loud on the I don't want to scream and like hurt everyone's ears but there's like the part where Faye is sitting in the seat and Kylo's reading her mind or whatever but what pisses me oh, off Ray Ray yeah what pisses me off is I like there's him. no build up to the discovery of his face. He just takes off his fucking... This is a spoiler. I, Corey, we, we've established okay, this. All but spoilers. he takes off his fucking mask, and you see this, like, fucking Napoleon Dynamite-looking motherfucker, <laughs> and he's like, I'm dark and evil. But it's <laughs> what's stupid is that part whenever Hans is on the walk thing with, the, with Kylo, yeah. and he takes off his mask... It would have been brilliant to see Kylo reveal his face to Hans because that would have been like Hans. true. <laughs> Is his name? Hans. But they, they did sort of Hans. already blow yeah. that, that story element earlier in the movie. They mentioned he was his son like and, five times. And you see, it could be interpreted in two ways, where it's like, oh, I no, forgot Leia's father. It's, he doesn't he doesn't have anything to worry about. He's like, oh, I don't get. I'll take off my mask, and you know, like it's whatever. You want to see his struggle whenever she's like, oh, I'm a fucking Jedi too. <laughs> my Jedi my beef. stopping his feet. Like, yeah, it's like. Yeah. Fucking destroying stuff. My then... beef with Rey was like fucking how fast she learned how to be a master Jedi. It's like, yeah, look, it took like Luke ages. It took fucking, he was like in that fucking Yoda forest for years, like mm. learning how to do that shit. She just did it in a second. That's she's... another thing I liked about uh, um, Star Wars. Actually, uh, it's gonna explain that in the next movie. <laughs> Is it though? I don't no. fucking know. Who that's, cares? That's they should the explain last thing. in this movie. Yeah, they should explain That's that the thing movie. I also liked about Star Wars was it's gonna sound kind of gay, but it gave me a Dragon Ball vibe, mm-hmm. Dragon yeah. Ball Z vibe, like the coming of age like learning how to train to become like yeah. super strong yeah. and with each generation they get stronger it's really weird but I, I have kind of like a soft spot for any like animes or stuff that does that because I've always really loved like in Dragon Ball with like Master Roshi when Krillin and Gohan are learning how to become fighters and they're like you know they're carrying their turtle shells yeah. and their milk and they're carrying all this weight to get stronger and I've always loved like that kind of a training style cool, yeah. same with like, like the Karate strong. Kid the Karate Kid I, I, I like the original Karate Kid because of that and I've always like had a, earned it. They, yeah, and this one, it was like a sum up of everything in like two seconds. You're yeah, just like, hey, Corey, oh. did you see uh, when you were watching all the original ones? Did, were you watching the edited versions or the original? Yeah, I was watching the edited ones. Do you remember at the end when, uh, at the end of Return of the Jedi, when they're all in the forest and like it's like doing that kind of nice music? Have you ever seen the original version of that? Oh, the music? Yeah, it's like jungle, like weird. Funny. <laughs> it's like it's like you have to see the original. You, you won't it's believe like, it. The music? No, is it's terrible. it's literally like yum dum dum I'm not kidding. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, it's fucking garbage. That's one good edit. Another, it's kind of catchy, though. Another it's really good... catchy, but it's the worst <laughs> song ever. It does not suit at all. That's one good edit, George Lucas. Another good edit he did was in The Phantom Menace. He changed it from the puppet Yoda to its CGI yeah. Yoda, which was way better than the puppet Yoda. This is yeah. going to sound messed up, too, but I think Chewbacca's an obnoxious fuck. I hated hearing that <laughs> asshole. When I was, and, and when fucking Lexi told me that the little Ewok guys were, were going to be Wookiees, yeah. my fucking Wait, ears what? started bleeding thinking yeah, about that. That. What? She told me that the Wookiees were originally going to be fucking Chewbacca's. And oh, if you've seen it, meant they grew up everybody's to be seen the, the fucking Christmas. The Ewoks are supposed to be Wait, Wookiee, Chewbacca-ians. Ewoks. Ewoks. The, the original Ewoks. part, originally, like apparently, so it said, that planet of Ewoks was supposed to be a planet of Wookiees. Oh. And the idea of that like Ewok makes Ewok. me want to kill myself. Because the Ewoks alone made me want to like carve fucking lines into my leg. But I, then the idea of fucking listening to Chewbacca go, Bleh! I like Chewie. You know what? Chewie is a charming character. He's funny, and it's like whenever you see him like do his like stuff, you can kind of because Han's like, "Hey, I'm copping attitude with me." He's like, "Mm." he's like, "I heard that." (laughs) It's funny, but it's fucking grating, man. You hear it for like if if you were like me who watched fucking Star Wars every other day, and like, oh god, here's this fucking furry asshole coming on to fucking go. Yeah, but like every now and then, they watch it every day. It was like uh, one, and then one came out three years later. You know, it's fine, but it's like funny because everybody loves to do the the Chewbacca thing. But it is the most grating fucking noise it's not a after TV a while. Show. It's a Who wants movie. a sentient grizzly grizzly bear as a co-pilot? <laughs> you can rip your arms off. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, it's always like, have you ever seen it? Have you ever seen a like a three hundred pound fur ball rip someone's arm off? Be careful. And it's like you're you're wrestling him, dude. Did you see that the latest scene where Chewie's sitting next to Han and Han's looking over and he's like pulling open his hair around his penis yeah. and he takes his penis out? Oh well, yeah, the little course. He's like Han yeah. or Chewbacca. Yeah. <laughs> It just came right out of his, like, fucking... Yeah, and he's like... And it's the first time Chewie taps English, he's like, Hello? Yeah, and then his penis starts talking and starts going like, Yeah. I did laugh, though, whenever he fucking... He was like... And he shot Kylo with the fucking, like, blow-up arrow and fucking... There's some really funny parts, like, um... When Kylo Ren starts, like, smashing up the wall and those two stormtroopers just turn around and fuck off. My favorite part is when Kylo Ren starts, like, shitting cum. Yeah, I I can honestly say that I am a fan of Star Wars and I do enjoy the lore. After everything you said, you were Yeah, I was ignorant. And I watched it and I actually really do enjoy Star Wars. Yeah, you were you were you were singing its high praises except for the first three, which Also, when we were at Aaron's, we watched the sixth one, the one I don't like. Yeah. So I don't like that one either. You and I were watching the 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 the, the edited versions and like the first one came out, I was like, that was a really good movie. Wow. And then like because I haven't seen them since I was like sixteen. We were laughing with They're really funny movies too. And then the the, the, like you know, episode five is like that that is a really good movie. And then Six is just fucking garbage. It's boring. Yeah. Six, six just became. When, whenever I like Jabba's palace, I hate anything in yeah, the woods. The Jabba the whole movie great. is in the woods. There's like a, there's like a silly speeder part where they're like flying off. Speeder yeah, how many fucking guys into? can you crash into a goddamn tree? Yeah, and it's like always the fucking, same fucking it's, angle. And the same explosion. Well. Yeah. That's why it was funny. It's fucking it's the same. Crash into the fucking tree that is like ah! a kind of green screen and does the same thing. Overall, the whole like cliche. Oh, the gold guy is our he, is our god. C three PO is his name. It's too yeah. fucking baby. I, li- I like the Jabba bits were really good, except for the part where Jabba just like reveals from behind a wall. You know, it's like <laughs> oh, it's just out of nowhere. He's like, hello, I'm right here. I like it. I I'll, s- I'll say one more thing about uh, Star Wars. It- it's funny because my first real experience with actually watching Star Wars was I had a fucking like animated Ewoks adventure thing movie <laughs> that I fucking loved. Because it was a cartoon, so the Ewoks talked. I guess they it was like, a little charming. They were like, oh, like, you'll talk like this. So they like had voices. Yeah, TiVo. It was great, though. It was like, more it, it was like if the Ewoks talked and stuff, and they were like the cartoon, I would have loved it. That's know? that's the Star Wars segment. Here today, we have a very special guest with us. He's renowned for many of his accomplishments on the internet. Um, and oh. in the bedroom. Yes, it is Zach Brav. Zach Brav, everybody. <laughs> Woo! Good to see you, Bravster. We call Bravster yeah. right here, boys. We call Bravster, dude. He's the Bravster around this place, dude. Wait, who's Zach Brav, actually? Right exactly. There, really? Instead, so we've got with us Tom. Uh, Tom what Flippin Fold. Tom Fold. <laughs> well, welcome, to, welcome to the podcast, Tom. Welcome. Go Cut. Go Cut. Thank you. Thanks. For those of you oh, who, no, don't, no. who don't know, Tom Fulp is the is president and CEO of Newgrounds.com. Well, if you aren't familiar with Newgrounds.com, you, you you're not missing much. Hey, oh, damn, dude, damn, that's too real, dude. Damn. <laughs> so what's going on, Tom? Not much. <laughs> All right, Tom. Let's let's get into I like, it. I like how you're looking right. around. You're like looking around for an exit strategy. <laughs> yeah. You got your, yourself, your wife, and me. You have to fuck one, marry one, kill one. Go. <laughs> Tom, how big's your dick? What's your poop smell like? Tom. <laughs> Tom, how big is your poop? What's your dick smell like? <laughs> Come on, Tom. <laughs> Come on, Tom. Answer, Tom. It's it's kind of loose. Uh, yeah, no, let's see which the one. Dick the poop? Yeah, hold on. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Tom, are you available for other parties? Or- <laughs> Tom, your 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 handsome good looks aren't going to translate on the podcast. I know. I, we need okay. to hear your handsome. Well, good here looks. I'll I'll ask you guys some questions. How about that? Well, he's, he's flipping, he's flipping he's that shit. He's flipping, us. Yeah. he's flipping that shit. So so, how's everything going with the sleepy cast? Uh, it's How- ending. We're all in a horrible terminal. Terrible. Hate each other. Holy shit! I hate everyone's guts. Everyone hates me. <laughs> There you go. Next there you question. Go. Oh yeah, How, how's Newgrounds going, Tom? Oh, how's that going? Newgrounds is going fine. <laughs> he said that. He's shifting up, he's twiddling his thumbs and looking around the room. <laughs> it's, it's, it's like it's, we kidnapped him. <laughs> oh yeah, you were also uh, you also you were responsible for Castle Crashers as well. Yes. Whoa. Yes, I was the lead programmer of Castle Crashers. Very Whoa. proud. Very proud moment of my life. I'm proud of that. 
<laughs> well, no. don't bust your arm. What about yourself Alien Hominid? What do you have to do with Alien Hominid? Uh, it's also lead program of Alien Hominid. I have a question. Um, with the whole process of Alien Hominid, like. Hominid? <laughs> you said Hominid twice and you said Hominid. You know what? You just heard what it sounded like. Hominid? Hominid? What is a hominid? 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 Like alien hominid? It's a, is it like a humanoid? Is it alien no, hominid? It like us, yeah, I was never on board with that name. I always thought it was stupid. I always thought, I always thought <laughs> hominid. Like alien hominid, really, man? No, What's a better name? Thought... What's a better name? Alien. What would you name it? Yellow, Yellow alien. alien. Everyone Yellow calls alien. it alien humanoid. Yellow alien, alien dude. I would, I would have <laughs> called it. It's still a shitty name, but it's a damn sight better. What the hell is a hominid? I thought it was Someone hominid. was flipping through the Like the, homicide. The you know hominid. Homicide. I think it's That's like a bipedal humanoid too. creature. Yeah, it's I think Jeff's got it. Look, yeah. this is what it is. It's the, alien. Look it the alien heard the word humanoid. He went, I'm a, a, a hominid. And that's all it is. <laughs> it's a <mess. laughs> Where did the name the come from, Tom? Do you know? <laughs> there is a story. Uh, Dan woke up one morning with a really bad headache. And he told his then girlfriend, I feel like an alien hominid bit my head off. Who the hell says that? I thought you were going to say know. something pretty <laughs> dark, like he woke up and told his girlfriend, I want to break up with no, you. No, no, and then okay. she said, what does an alien hominid look like? And he, that's, then he drew it. He so drew he it? made up the word? No, yeah. hominid's a word. The, the, the word exists. Mm. Oh. He combined it, I guess, with alien. <laughs> would, would you like to cover any other... Like game development uh, stories. Yeah, I'm curious because you, you have all the spicy deeds, my friend. Yeah, you know what, Tom? We all, all we see is the results of all your guys' hard work here. We see the success of the games you guys have made. What are the horror stories? What's the what's the shit that like almost killed you all while you were you making know, these games? I remember watching him program the end at the very end of Castle Crashers. I think Tom. I think Tom's gratefully didn't have a gun on his desk. <laughs> <laughs> No. Well, yeah, that is like uh, well, yeah, he was very <laughs> upset. He looked very tired because he was running like two full-time jobs, basically. Well, yeah, the final year of Castle Crashers was a year of non-stop work around the clock. Jesus, it, like, and it's interesting because it's like you kind of feel like uh, as you're getting older, it's like, can I still do that? And then every once in a while, you have like a period where you remind yourself that you can. Were you married married but during that time? I got married towards the end, or yeah. I, yeah. That's pretty shitty planning on your... Yeah, that's not yeah. done. But then didn't have kids until afterwards, so that worked out. That yeah. was well planned. What was but, this? Um, Alien Hominid or Castle Crashers? Castle Crashers. Oh, okay. Yeah, Alien Hominid was like a cakewalk compared to Castle Crashers, because Alien Hominid seemed stressful at the time, because, like, at that time, I was also, like, always canceling plans with anyone that wanted to do stuff and whatever, but I was still... You know, it wasn't as all-encompassing, and it I, took 15 months. So, sorry. You also um, have to juggle QC and, and what's QC? handle, handle all the control? other shit at the end Give that you didn't even control. foresee. I always saw uh, an alien... Dealing with publishers. I'm afraid that. to say the name now. I'm alien Hominid. 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 Alien um, Hominid. Alien Hominid. Alien Hominid. Alien Hominid. I always thought Alien Hominid... Um, you fucked it up. You said it. Did I? Did I fuck it up? Alien Hominid. It was kind of a game, like, when I first played it, it was kind of a game that was kind of made as you went like because you start like seeing like the first level how it's coded and then you start like seeing because it gets fucking crazy with bosses and like levels and shit you're just like um because you don't really know what's going on like because you're, you're an alien that's attacking but like there were so many different bosses and stuff is that what happened was that the kind of process like as yeah, you when you learn newer things and implemented that's them? been the way all of them have been basically is just build as you go that's, um, i mean that's good because you learn new things and then you can go back and change yeah them. You know, you know, like there's always that there, well actually there used to be that guilt of not having like a design doc because everyone says you're supposed to have a design doc where you plan it all out ahead of time well even but shitty so much, games have a design yeah doc, so much changes as you go though and you serve sort of, you realize that you're gonna keep having ideas and keep wanting to change things so it do seems you, like it's working. Do you think in hindsight you'd make Alien Hominid easier? Yes. Because yeah, it's known as a very hard game. game. Yeah. yeah. That game no, the biggest, frustrating. The biggest regret, besides it being hard in general, the biggest regret is that the second level is so hard. Oh, yeah. Like the, the freeway compared level. Compared to the other ones. And it's funny because there's some levels that have really cheap deaths, but the freeway level I can play <laughs> without dying. <laughs> because, so it actually isn't like a cheap death level compared to some of the others, but most people use up all their lives on the freeway level. You just level. have to get good at it, like uh, the, that Battletoads thing. Okay, you know what? No, no, fuck that level. You're talking about the speed racing with the fuck... No, dude, that... Those things came so quick. Trying to time that at times was virtually fucking impossible. Well, I mean, I'm, in theory, like... The was that randomized? That, that I don't think it was randomized. I don't think it was. I think it just didn't matter because of the, the spacing of them. It wasn't like you could just... Yeah, like, oh, I, I know this. It's like it well, was they, still a ninja like samurai they, they level. They threw curveballs because at that part, you're going like... 
back and forth, back, and then yeah. it's kind of like a rhythm, but then, like, suddenly there's two there, two there, and then, yeah. like, does it again, then there's two there, like, it kind of tries to fuck you And then up, there was somewhere, I, I think, going. I don't remember 100%, but I'm pretty sure there was somewhere, like, you had to jump over a pit, but you had to time the jump right, because right when you got to the other side, there would have been, like, another thing waiting for you, or something. Like, I don't another know. ramp to jump? Yeah, I just remember that it was, was a, fucking tough. That was dude. a third level. Fuck that, Battle Toads anyways, here's, moving on. Here's a question. Tom... What are your what are your inspira- what were you, what games were your inspirations growing up to like in, influence your uh, your game your game development career? The the biggest ongoing influence is Treasure. So they made Gunstar Heroes, Guardian Heroes, Radiant Silver Gun mm. were like the big ones that really Gunstar inspire sweet. like game feel for me and they had good music and good stuff. Yeah, everything was cool in those Gunstar games. Gunstar was What's, like oh, and I was able to beat you. them all too. Like I it's funny, like, considering Alien Hominid's so hard, because I hated hard games growing up, so I liked that I could beat all of the Was that your vengeance? Too. Was that, like, your... No, I think it just, it just didn't know any better. Like, I thought it had to be. I thought, like, it was supposed to be hard. Like, it's hadn't stepped out of that yeah. mindset. The treasure doesn't exist anymore, right? No, they're still around. You trying to draw a parallel there? <laughs> <laughs> Following Tom, their what's, footsteps. What's, what's a good game to you? What makes a good game? What do you seek out to do? Bes- I mean, besides like fun, obviously, you want to create fun. But what, what do you what do you think a ge- good game needs to have? Oh, yeah. Well, that's uh. Well, okay, I'll, I'll just look at what I enjoyed like recently, like Super yeah. Mario 3D World on uh the Wii U. There's a there's a video on YouTube that kind of gets into how they do it, where pretty much every level has a unique toy or theme, <clears throat> and at the start of the level, you get introduced to the theme in a safe way where you can't get hurt while you learn it. Mm. And then next, they have you do the theme with a challenge involved. Yeah. And then for the third phase, they put a twist on it yeah. and change it up. And the whole game is like that. Interesting. And it feels... It's so well polished where like sometimes it, I think of it more like a physical toy than a game because it never reminds me that it's a game because it's so perfectly done. The yeah. video is Mathematosis. Hmm. He made that video uh, with Osis. Yeah, I saw that yeah. one as well. He's good. And then that Captain Toad Treasure Tracker was the same way, where like each level is just this fun little puzzle <clears> box <throat> where you almost feel like you're playing with a like a toy in your hands for some reason. The um the view thing in that though was obnoxious. It can be a little weird. It would obscure the view. Yeah. And gyro controls. What's a game you hated, Tom? Game What's a game everyone liked and you hated it? <laughs> Well, the original Mario, but more and more people do come out of the woodwork admitting they hated the original Mario. But I Dude, didn't. That, I, you know what? I, didn't I tried like the playing Mario. that fucking game again on like the Mario re- me- like the Nintendo. Are we really thing? gonna shit on Mario Brothers? <laughs> hold on, wait, hold on. I'm gonna stay and say I like no, no, it. No, no, I'm I'm no, shitting. I'm, this is why we dislike. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm not shitting on Mario Brothers. It it fucking came and it landed. It fucking revolutionized video games all over again after the crash of the video game market or whatever the fuck. But. In our day and age, that game is a clunky mess. Like, playing the NES, like, remix and stuff, you realize how fucking floaty your jumps are. Like, when you jump, you're fucking, what? your momentum is still What's going. What's the NES remix? I haven't heard of this. It's, a, it's actually a really cool concept where it re- lets you play old NES games, and they kind of put a challenge on it. In a very it, autistic way. And it's really fucking difficult. Whoa. Like, sometimes it's really easy, like, oh, collect three coins, and then it's like, oh, um, fucking, um, what, what do you call it? Where you, like... Um, Basically, it's like if you, if, if you were eating cereal, anything. like with marshmallows, and like all of a sudden one of the games was only eat blue marshmallows, <laughs> yeah. and you sat there like an idiot staring into your bowl of cereal looking for blue marshmallows. Oh. Congratulations, you won. Yeah, okay. and if you get it, you have a time thing and then the stars, so you want to get the best stars to get the best time. But sometimes <laughs> they're like, hey, exploit a glitch in our game we didn't fucking fix because we didn't know about it at the time, but everyone else knows about it, and now we know about it because of the internet. And you're like, excuse me? I don't know how to do this. And then it's like, uh, too bad, you don't get any stars. Hold on, so why do you hate Mario Bros? Yeah. Wait, yes, I want to know what are the reasons you would hate Same Mario Bros. Same Mario, I just... <laughs> they said the original, like, it was 3 hard. still holds It was up. hard, and yeah, three, I, like no, three, three, I like 2 a lot. Three I like 2 a lot, and I like two 3. 2 and World are the best, in my opinion. Uh, two, I, two, I think yeah. 2 is garbage. There's something about yeah. the first good. one just never... It wasn't originally a Mario game. It doesn't matter, I definitely grew up on it. It's not a horrible game, but it's not... way better than the first one. Did you guys ever play Bayou Billy? Oh yeah. I that yeah. So Bio Billy was the like the, Bio Billy. the first level was a brawler, but it also had like driving levels and stuff. And the 
the graphics were pretty good and I was really excited about it, but the first level was like this really long, slow level where the enemies, like there was this like, I think it was like a guy in like a wetsuit that came out of the water that took forever to kill and the whole level just was just like this slow slog and most of the time you never beat the first level. Been, and I remember this yeah. one afternoon, Wade beat the first level and then played through like all these, there's like this whole game after the first level that he was able to play through after that. But there was like I think it was just like that one afternoon, and I've never seen anything but the was, first level. Was was that one of the accomplishments that he holds dear to his heart? Wait, Wade always was better. He he was more uh, he persevered with the games more. I liked I liked and now look the, at him seeing the details of the game and everything. So you still haven't explained why you didn't like Mario. Yeah, I just don't, I think in general like I don't like when you die and have to repeat a bunch of crap. That's like the best that's part of a game. Okay, yeah, also you can just hold select and then start again, or was it select an A or just whatever it was and you could literally restart at the world. Do you mean yes. like start from the beginning, from the whole right. game, or you still like dying and... You'd run out of lives and have to... You'd run you'd out of all your lives. I think a lot of us will get... Everyone's like, talking everyone's like talk, that Hasn't every podcast talked about Mario, though? I don't know. Let's talk about it. Right, we're I talking about game design, but yeah. I said how I like Mario. I wouldn't say that I love it. I mean, I got good memories. I love part three. I think kids usually have a really good grasp of what's morally right by the time they're like 12. Yeah. So by the time you're 12, you'll know if a teacher's bullshitting you and like, if a teacher is bullshitting you and getting away with it, it makes you really fucking hate them. You can I... tell when a teacher doesn't like you because they're they're quick to judge you at any chance they get. Like, yeah, there's little shitheads, right, and all that stuff, but when you're just like, flat out just being a cunt like kids can tell that like you, you don't have fear the getting in them. trouble though like if i got wet got, like i fear getting sent now i'd be like the thing is though give a fuck. you fear the first time you get in trouble until you get in trouble for the first time the first time i got a detention i'm like this is it and so if i ever got detention again i'd be like oh no i had detention every every time it was on like, <laughs> I, I got detention, detention once oh of, really yeah and that's what made it burn even more it's like i could have gotten the entire way through school without detention but this stupid utter fucking bitch gave me a detention because some asshole talked to me. Oh, yeah. Fucking hey, teacher. I got, I got a detention because I went into class while everybody was quiet. I just got in from school. Like, I just came in. It was early. Yeah. And I'm like, sorry, I was late. I said that to her. And then she's like, detention. I'm like, why? And she's like, because you're talking. <laughs> and I'm like, uh, okay, what, how's that a problem? And she's like, you're still talking. And then she pointed to the board. It's like, don't talk. And I'm like, I, was... I just got in. And so she gave me detention. And she was adamant about keeping me after school. My mom even came. And she's like, that's really snaky thing for you to do. And she was like, love still mom adamant to, to give me a fucking oh, detention. Man. That one time. My I, mom came to the rescue. For one time yeah. my art teacher threatened me with detention. It was just, I think I told this story before. But that was the day my mom, like, oh, it was so good. <laughs> Basically, I was, like, in art class. And, like, everyone's ready to go home. My, my bag is on my back. Then the art teacher is, is a psycho fat bitch she turns around points at me like you threw a nail in my eye and i was like excuse me <laughs> a nail? Like, yeah and i was like no i didn't and she's like detention i was like fucking whatever and i a like nail in her yeah eye? and i left i went out to the car and i was like i just got detention because my art teacher said i threw a nail in her eye and my mom was like Chris, you're such a fucking idiot. You're like, what did you do? And I was like, I didn't do anything. <laughs> and my mom's like, you're your little ass. And I was like, mom, go in there right now and just talk to her. My mom's like, for fuck's sake, right? She got out of the car and she came back. She's like, she's a fucking psycho. And I was like, I know. <laughs> and then she didn't give me the attention after. What happened? I don't fucking know. Did your she's... mom didn't say. No, no, I got suspended a few times as well. Like I was like a. Class you were a mom. fucking I asshole. Got, I got suspended. I because... was a good kid. I was just dumb. I was good. Yeah. I got suspended because I got this new phone, and it was the first smartphone ever. And I was mm. so happy. It cost me 500 euros. I saved up for it. Yeah, I was like, away. I was like using it, and uh, uh, I was on a school bus, and it fell behind a seat, and I was like, shit. Mm. And then people were like reaching their hands down to help me get it. And one of the guys stole it, and uh, fuck, some guy stole it, and I found out like a month later he stole it so I stole his phone um actually the school knacker stole his phone and gave it to me and goes here here's your wow. here's your come up and I was like here, and I was like oh yeah I was like cool and then like he told the principal that I stole his phone and um I got suspended he, he was fine he was completely like let go I, I do not understand how suspension is a punishment oh suspension yeah suspension is great well it's because of your parents the wrath you have to face the wrath Fucking of your parents who cares like you're still out of school anything's better than that we had mm. our suspension entailed us going to the sponge factory with retarded people we had to put sponges <laughs> in plastic bags this is real <laughs> what yeah did I say this on a podcast no, no. our out school suspension involved us going to a sponge factory with <laughs> retarded people and we stuck sponges <laughs> in plastic bags and then push them through a Corey, conveyor belt. It's actually, it's it's a miracle that you're as normal as you are. Like, I, seriously, like your life is Imagine weird. You're, you're just standing be between all these like pinhead dipshits. <laughs> <laughs> the, they're, they're really trying to put the sponges in the bags. So they're like, 
They're like, okay, done. It's the most retarded sentence on the planet. I, it's like trying to put a sponge in a bag. Corey, like sometimes like you're like <laughs> so a randomizer dumb. machine where you just generate a sentence in English. This is say. it's fact. Okay, it was it was our it was out school. It was like I don't know what you call it. It's like after service or something for people, and they needed people because you know if. It sounds rude, but when you retarded people put sponges, like retarded works on the factory line. Mm. They do their job, but they so they're usually like baggers or sponge workers. Yeah, and I was the person who gave the person the bag, the retarded the bag for <laughs> oh, the so sponges. They're both. <laughs> they're, they're retarded. Yeah, and he would take the he would take the sponge with this, this vacant look on his face. We just damn you. <laughs> you just keep doing that, and I just put the bag there. Just fucking drag it across Wait, the Wait, say that again, dude. Damn you. <laughs> Corey, what if that was like your calling? What if the out of school suspension like opened up your eyes to a new world? The factory fucking burned down. <laughs> I was a retard's in it. <laughs> that retard was still trying to grab the bag. You can still there. hear that. <laughs> to this day. <laughs> It's haunted. You walk through it and you just hear it. Oh, thank you. It was weird too because like when the lunchtime, when like it was lunchtime, it was lunch break, there was, a, there was a giant whistle that goes off and then they go, oh, they would all do like the wave. <laughs> if you're those who didn't see Corey, just put his hands in the air and good. they all go, oh. <laughs> they wouldn't make noises. They just like all do this. They all do the wave at the same time. Right. And then they would go eat f their fucking sandwiches. Did they, did they all drop their sponge? Go, go eat their sponge. <laughs> then they grab a sponge and start eating it. They'd be like, Get your own! <laughs> Corey, is this real? No, that part isn't real. The wave and shit. Was the wave real? Let me tell you. Please tell me the wave is real. What? No, the wave is real, yeah. They went to the eat food, but me and my friends, we were crying, laughing. We had to like, we were like hyperventilating by the end of it. And the people come in and they're like, because they thought that uh, the chemicals or whatever was like fucking with us. They were like, are you okay? Do you need to take a break? And I'm like, no, I'm fine. Why you sound what? like a punishment at all. It sounds like, like actual the funniest shit ever. Oh my god. You just sit in a chair with your friends That's laughing and heading a bag. <laughs> So it was a job. <laughs> He's just like, did you learn your lesson? <laughs> yeah, it was for fun. <laughs> it was a fun fight. What we're doing? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> He's like, he looked like the kid, the the one famous retarded kid from The Ringer, but he was like more balding in the middle of his head. Like it kind of like that weird. Oh, like, it was Asian. an actual Down syndrome. He was person. like twenty something. But yeah, there was like three. There was like a girl who had like a squished face, and then him who had like a big head. <laughs> this is too much, Corey. <laughs> it was funny. It was, I'm gonna die. They eventually changed it up because like the teachers started realizing what kids were doing. Well, they were really? getting in trouble so they could go to the retard factory. <laughs> <laughs> Their words that <laughs> They heard it. They heard it. <laughs> they heard They heard it in school. Like these kids were laughing. We were like, dude, let's, let's just beat the shit out of somebody so we go to the retard factory. <laughs> <laughs> Beat the shit out of the <laughs> So they changed the game plan to picking up garbage on the side of a highway. It's so uh, like, it's so like, dude, fuck school, let's go to the retard sponge factory, it's so funny. <laughs> Everyone's just getting in trouble on purpose. <laughs> what was your guys' out school suspension? We had to go home. You yeah, go home. You, you, that's the thing, that's what I'm saying. One so day, oh man. It's like, you get off school, it's like, what? The, how's that a fucking And then they thing? give I you was, assignments when you come back, so you can- Your like, parents have to go to work so, anyways, you know, like- I was like, oh god, and all the teachers hated me, especially the principal who was this- He, I think he got like in trouble for like something to do with stealing money or something, but like mm -hmm. he was a fucking beady-eyed prick, right? And he hated me. <laughs> you guys me. have a lot of like beady-eyed, yeah. big face pricks. Oh, I hated this guy, and he hated me. Yeah. I had a note for why I didn't have my school uniform on. School um, uniforms, you have uniforms? Yeah, because I left it in my friend's house and I had a note written by my parents, and he, he said, go! Get leave the school now. I was like, I have a note. And he's like, nope, get the fuck out. <laughs> and I went out and I was actually thinking, of, I was like, I'm going to jump in front of a car and break my leg just so, so he will get it in deep shit. I was so close to like, the, not, not to die, but like something like that break my leg or something just to get him kicked out. Yeah. I went into a, a internet cafe and just played Counter-Strike for like <laughs> five hours. And That's like, awesome. I kind of ditched school like quite a bit. Not to be like, oh, I ditched school. But, like, I ditched college. Well, loads of people used to do I, that. I ditched school so I ditched much college. just to go to internet cafe. I never did. I was too scared because my dad works in town. So yeah. he, he definitely yeah. Oh, so yeah. I, I still have it. dreams sometimes. I just wake up and I'm like in class and I'm failing. And they're like, yeah, no, you everyone have has zeros those. in all your in classes. Your, in That's your, like mental scouring forever. In your dreams, though, is it still the present day? And it's like, I, I you walk yeah, in, you're like, still, I haven't been my to school. Age. I'm like, yeah, I'm like, I haven't been to school in six years. I am <laughs> fucked. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Everyone else, everyone else is like, exactly. Blah, 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 and you're like, oh my. I fucking go into God. school and I'm like, they're like, here's all the assignments you have till the end of the month to get them done. I'm like. 
oh my god, I've been nine years late to school. Yeah, I was like, I'm <laughs> seven years behind in my uh, assignments. Uh, fuck. <laughs> I don't think school's for everybody by, by a long shot. No, no, it's no. not. That's I, why you're allowed to drop out when you're 15. I think that's fair. You're allowed to? Well, in Ireland, yeah. You can do uh, FOSS courses, which is like uh, courses where like carpentry. And... Well, I didn't know that, but I wouldn't have liked any of the stuff that you'd be allowed to do anyway. Yeah, it's usually kind of trade Bullshit. work. School's like, it, it's like, it's supposed to teach you like basic social skills and stuff, but that's stuff you kind of At this point, learn. there should be like courses in schools that you can choose while you're a kid and if you don't like him you can fuck off the you can in course. England England is good because like you, you do three subjects and three that you like and that's it yeah. and you'd look into them extensively I would have just done art, music and you, you can do that and then whatever England that's what I would have loved I always had to have like an elective like I always had to have an extra class even, even if I didn't fucking want it or need it so I'd have to be like Oh, you need communications, because everybody needs to do communications. Oh, you need a health class or something, <laughs> like, where you have to learn about health. It's like I was like really good cares? at home ec. Home ec? Yeah, I don't know. I was just good at. That. I was terrible so, at home ec. That was like my thing. I couldn't sew. I couldn't cook. I couldn't do anything. I remember when I had to do woodwork for transition year? You know why transition year is just the fuck off, let me do what I want kind of year? Mm -hmm. Our woodwork teacher was a fucking idiot. He was just like, you're supposed to be taking this seriously. It's like, <laughs> fuck off, dude. No one, no one Yeah, no one cares. Yeah, I, I was, I took that my eighth grade year when I was going to high school in like fucking, a f like next year. Mm -hmm. And I'm taking wood class and yeah. it's like by the end of the year and I'm coming in and I'm like, He's just talking about woodwork, and I didn't care. I drew the whole time. I liked woodwork. I took it when I was leaving. Like, I was in eighth grade. I'm like, this doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't benefit me at all. I'm leaving next year yeah. in like three months. Well, that, that's the thing, right? So in Ireland, transition year is a year that is literally just so you can mature. You don't have to do anything. There's no exams. That's what it should be. It's literally just a year where, you, okay, so you do three years, right? Then it's like, do you want to do transition year where you're like, yeah, I need a fucking break after that. I'm, I was going to kill myself. So you take that year out just to do what Oh, you in want, Ireland, right? yeah, there's a, there's a fuck off year. Uh, but it's optional, so you can do when it you're you want. 16. Right and 16. basically, what it's supposed to be is that it's like, yeah, just uh, experience life. We'll, we'll give you some things to do and blah blah blah, but don't take it too seriously. That's what mm. it's supposed to and be. And they want you to like set up a business and just but get this, a feel for things. This fucking cunt was like, no, you need to make a birdhouse. And we're just like, fuck off, right? <laughs> so every day I came in, I, I I got my same plank of wood and I just hammered nails into it for a whole year. So by the end of the year, it was like two thousand nails and one plank of wood. He was just like, <laughs> by the end of it, he was like, you know what, you're a lost cause. And I was like, yeah, thanks, straight on the lost cause. I heard there were New York stories that involved. You guys. After the context all. of this is we all decided it was a good idea to go to Bunkhead. It was myself. Yeah, we went to John, St. Mark's. John, Chris, Niall, and Corey. Mm -hmm. Yes. And uh, there was a Bunkhead, and right, below, right above that is a karaoke place. Yeah. Which is a perfect mix. It, it, they know what they're doing. So we had a few beers. Corey had more than a few. Uh, I, had, I think I had one or two. Corey had more than a few. We all, we all, we all pretty, I had a shit ton as well. We all pretty good well. at buzzed or drunk. I kept I was, bringing in bottles of wine and soju. No, no, that was at the karaoke place. <laughs> After yeah. we, went, we went to the karaoke, and while this was going on, John's ordering Long Islands for the whole class. Yeah. Oh my god, Bring it up for the whole I, class. I, hey, let me tell you something, John. I was already like... Corey was dead I, I, I can't tell when you guys are down, drunk. And you got Long Island? My eyes lit up because I love Long Yeah, it was a part where we were all just sitting there going, ha ha, fun, well, let's go home. And then you were like, I oh, go to Long Island. And you gave them to everybody. I was yeah. like, oh. And that, I'm that happened, sorry. That when happened, I, that happened, what, two when I get, and then When I get to partying, I just become a raging alcoholic. We'll get to that. Yeah. But the, the interesting thing, so after like three long rounds of Long Island, the probably Santa two or three, and, and also, also on, top of, on top of the beers we already had, I looked over at Corey, and you know, Corey was a big smiley boy the whole time, but, <laughs> but his face changed, and everybody else was staring at the screen. I didn't I notice anything at, was wrong. I was looking at Corey, he was looking at the ground, it's and that his mouth was open. It's that sensation you have where you know something bad's about to happen, and I, suddenly, all the fun... I, like, it's apparently, like, Zach saw it's that like, sensation. It's like if you were hearing... Me, me and Zach did. We, we yeah, no, if you were hearing at Corey, a song, Corey said, everything I just gets quiet, and you just hear your heartbeat, and you're just like, yeah. oh no, and then it hits you. And I saw Corey, and he was looking at the ground, and he didn't puke. Puke oh, leaked yeah. out of your mouth. It just, yeah. it just, it just yeah. came out. It just oh, yeah. <laughs> no, 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 it was like. Bah. What's weird is too. What's weird is too. It's like when someone turns off the music and then everything comes yeah. back at you. And you're just like, dude, that happened to me once. That, that happened to me once when I ate a weed edible. A weed. When you ate a weed, you a ate weed edible. You ate a weed. You it was ate in like Venice too? Beach or something, and we were like playing some Smash Bros, and all of a sudden everything went. Yeah, it's dude. A shitty feeling. It's terrifying, and I hated it because yeah. afterwards, you, and right when I got up. You, uh, I, I left because this was this was way before, and I went out there and I, I sat there. And the Asian the guy was kind of looking at me the while he was cleaning. Yeah, right. and I was just sitting there looking at the ground. And then I got up and went back in and sat down. And then I'm like, okay, I want to leave. And then right when I got up, you came back in with a big thing of wine. And you're like, let's party! <laughs> and 
John, John, John literally walks with a full bottle of wine. Full bottle, dude, At that is... point, I was so fucking gone. So we, so we, we all say, okay, we need to leave right now. Chris, yeah, yeah, actually, Chris actually, I knew, I noticed something was wrong. Yeah, I was trying to be the responsible one. I was like, I was trying not to get drunk, but I was still getting very Chris, drunk indeed. Chris saved my life. No, I, I, I was about so ready we'll just get to get to that. So, wait, so, wait, wait, so, so this has all... to be time, time to order, okay? Yeah. So we're, we're signing out of the, no, you came with the wine, right? We all get yeah. even more drunk. I noticed that you guys were like getting done with it because you're like, yeah, we just can't drink that. No, I was saying over and over, I was like, John, we need to know when to stop. No, here. you kept saying we gotta go. We yeah, gotta go, saying, dude. Yeah. I was saying that because everyone like was falling apart. You sound like a kid like, whose parents were to get home with a I was trying to be the good one. You had head wrecked your fucking house. Yeah. Look, Doug, I don't know, you want to fucking say that from the end of the story, which I'm not going to give away. It sounds like Chris actually was a little in tune to what the fuck was I was trying to be, but this is the point. Sounds like he was too late. It would have been fine. No, wait, wait, wait. So let me tell this one part, right? So we're still like, okay, we got to get out of here. Then John comes in with more drink. We're like, fuck's sake. So we all start drinking. Corey goes, bat all over the floor. And we're just like, I didn't notice. Yeah, no, me and Zach were like, what the, what? what? And, and then, uh, no one like, noticed. I thought except I nobody it. noticed except for me and Zach. And then uh, that's when I was like, we have to go. And then that's when I pushed you guys out. We were all in the, the main area, right? And then we, <laughs> okay, we were trying to sign out. We were there, trying to go okay. for that nice Asian boy. I gotta tell this part. Because <laughs> oh, you, got, you and Zach okay. did something in the boys' bathroom. Whoa. Oh, okay, so, so, yeah, we'll talk. We'll I don't know this part. What do we do in the boys' bathroom? So, while Corey and Chris went to go to the checkout, out, I was like, I have to take a piss. So I was like, so do I. Now this is one bathroom, with, like a locked door bathroom. <laughs> one bathroom. Fine, because nice. I had a urinal and a yeah. toilet, and they're facing away. But now I was like, I have to go pee too. We're like, no, there's only. We're telling this. Yeah. Okay. And so we're like, no, no, we can't. We, there's only two <laughs> places we can pee. <laughs> and so we go in there, and he pisses in the sink. <laughs> in the sink. Oh yeah. Well, you and I piss in the fucking responsible I adults. I completely forgot he pissed in the sink. Wait, you yes. guys like responsible adults were crossing streams no, into the toilet. Separate well, the room. Oh, separate okay, the room. Okay. Still eat okay. the, right. the floor. Yeah. They wouldn't piss each other. in the sink. That's he pissed right. in the sink. He's like, don't worry, I'll just piss in the sink. God, now everyone's going to know exactly where this now piss sink is. He's a, he's a piss sinker. A sink pisser. <laughs> sink pisser. <laughs> I had nothing to do with that. He's, he's a pig sister. I had nothing so, to do with that sink piss. We were, we were innocent. We were bystanders. Although we I did piss. find Watch it very hilarious after the fact. Right, okay. So we go to the lobby. Yeah. We see Corey. He's, his eyes are widening. His eyes are dilating. I gotta tell the Corey part because it's not one Please part I remember. Please take it away. My favorite part of the night. We're fucking signing out this poor fucking Korean boy. Bill. The fucking super oh, was, it, yeah. was it like eight hundred dollars? It was like four hundred. It was, like it was, it was a large was bill. This poor Korean boy is checking us out. We're all just fucking drunk up our ass, and and I'm just <laughs> like, he's like, is this everybody? And I'm like, no, no, no. Our friend back here. I motioned to. Corey, he's standing. <laughs> he's standing in the back corner, fucking dead in the eyes. And as soon as we all look back, he just goes, Boom! <laughs> and fucking barfs straight onto the ground. It was like a movie. I look, no, I look back to the fucking Korean kid to see what he to see what his reaction was. He's just deadpan, <laughs> looking was, directly at there me. There was no effort. Yeah. I literally, I literally just got up and went. Yeah. 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 Was, I didn't even tap into move. that Korean's that Korean kid's head. Yeah. It would just sound like an ear piercing. Mm -hmm. Tone. Chris was like, fucking. Yeah. Like, he's just totally out. Yeah. <laughs> fucking Nile. Nile came in and he was like, <laughs> he's like, all right, I cleaned it up. I cleaned up this mess. And I'm yeah, like, and you went, and then, yeah. and then I, was, I was like, no, there's still puke in the other room. And then we just fucking left. Well, are you no. saying what? When we, when we left oh the my place. God. Um, we got two separate cabs. So right? what, what cab was uh, was <laughs> me was, and Corey? Was John was John Nicole and I. Yeah. I got we got one cab, and then Corey, Nile, Not, and yeah. Chris got the other cab. Okay. Now John, John this is address. We got home peacefully. We forgot to give you his address. Yeah. I yeah. think right. Yeah. So what happened was me and okay Corey was glossed. He was in another dimension. His brain was out. Mm -hmm. It was done. So I was dragging Corey around uh, like a little child <laughs> through the streets of New York. I was apologizing. And I was trying. Felt so bad. You weren't. You're going. Oh. And then you were like. <laughs> And I you, was, were, you, were like, you were like, this is the best night. I'm like, I'm sorry. I was having like, a good time because amazing. I was taking care of you, right? And when you have something to do while you're drunk like that, you're like, I feel like a king. But when I brought you over to a taxi cab, I was like, Corey, I finally got a taxi cab. Please come over. And you're like, oh. And he got into the taxi cab, and I was like, we don't have an address. Shit. And I, and I tried calling John. I tried texting him. And for some reason, he didn't respond for a while. But while we were sitting there in the cab, you were they like... They were back at the apartment laughing. They, they were back at the apartment. Wait, you didn't just go straight back to my apartment? No. Why? We, 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 look, this is, I'm going to try to get there. Right? Me and Corey were sitting there. With, and I was sitting on the other side. And I was like, okay, uh, I'm calling John. And Corey's like... <laughs> all over the back of the taxi. Oh, oh God, you barfed in a taxi? Oh, yes. No. Right? Dude, I was like, they oh, hate that. For fuck's sake. They hate that. So, right, and no. then the guy's like, my, my taxi, my taxi, get get the fuck out. And I was like, I'm sorry, sir. And we, we both got out of the taxi. Did you pay? 
uh, that's the thing. I was like, he's just like, I got 20 he's bucks. Like, I, 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 you must pay me. And I was like, how much do you want? He's like, uh, $30. I was like, no, you're getting $20. <laughs> I, like, I could have this clean for five, but I'm in a hurry. So here, I gave him $20. And then we went over to a store and Nile ate a sandwich. And we got another taxi. That's and, right, you went to get sandwiches. Yeah, we got sandwiches, right? And I was Chris, like, yeah. If somebody came up in your bedroom, and just puked all over your bed. I didn't do it. Hold a on. fucking idiot here. So <laughs> taxi cab is not a bad. If somebody puked all over your desk and your floor and your bed, yeah. How much would you expect someone I'd to be pay you twenty dollars? Walk away from it. Look, okay. What are you gonna pay a hobo? Thing, well, we'll get to that, Chris. We'll get to that. Hobo, Later. use your spit. We'll get to fucking that. The thing about the back we'll get to fucking day two with you, Chris. <laughs> Listen, the back of a taxi cab. Is oh yeah, pen day two. Or paper or little work things. Okay. They're leather and they're plastic, so it's easy enough to clean or spray up or whatever. Did, I will uh, say I would not like if someone did it, but I didn't do it, and I paid for your mess. I do. I, I'm a good I, boy. I appreciate it. But that. anyways, when when we finally got another taxi, Corey was like. <laughs> the entire way, and I was like, Corey, if you puke, I will fucking kill you. And he was That's just like, Windows are full. I'm about to puke. And I was like, Corey, if you fucking puke, I will kill you. So we, we arrived, and the second the door opened, boom! Oh, on the side man. of the. You know, he got it's out. It was still like, there, dude. Thank God, yeah. right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, no. Oh, hold, hold on. Before we say that, because yeah. it's You've really weird. In, in the second taxi. Car. I remember getting into the taxi <laughs> and immediately the door opening and I'm like, wait, yeah. we, am I leaving? But I was there. I blinked, I blacked out in the taxi and then yes. when they stopped the car, I woke Corey up. Corey was in another dimension trying yes. not to so, puke. No. So the and puke was formulating in my body waiting for me to become conscious yeah. again and when I was, <laughs> immediately when I opened the door, the second I, was, the door opened. I was walking and vomiting all the way up to your house. I puked four times up to your house. Oh, you were my like ice man. I was fucking puking on doors. I was puking on animals walking by. I was fucking <laughs> vomiting everywhere, dude. Yeah. You, you like like can't I can't believe vomit. how much you can puke. Now, from our perspective, we were eating sandwiches in John's ice cozy apartment. The yes. Completely beautiful cab ride watching <laughs> TV. Watching I know. I, I, wasn't, I wasn't that drunk. Drinking no. champagne, looking so, at so the stars. Now, now you know their side. Let me tell our side. We got in the cab. Yeah. We we get there pretty pretty all right. Yeah. We go we order sandwiches, but do you remember what you said to me when we got home? No, I don't remember. Let's do shots. <laughs> you pull out a fucking, pulls out a fucking bottle of gin. I I took one. I, I was at the point that he was just sleeping. Guess I'm an alcoholic. Bag. <laughs> These guys still go with the fucking sandwiches. Like, what would you guys get sandwiches? Like, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> we all lay down. I didn't puke. Chris didn't puke. Oh, didn't wait, puke. wait, wait, now, before you say um, that. I will make no accusations, wait. but I will say this. I passed out. Immediately when I came in, I saw a, By the way, a oh, bunch yeah, this of clothes. Is, hold on, guys. This is the whodunit part of the Immediately, podcast. yeah, this is the guess who clue yeah. edition, okay? Yeah. I fucking came in and immediately passed out on a pair of clothes and fucking water. If I would have puked. Like a dog, dude. Yeah, just I just immediately. So, so, so Corey, it, Corey. It was Mr. Corey in the living room. Wait, no, Corey's the Corey's the Corey's the Corey's the Corey's the Corey's the We were all in the living room. That's the thing, right? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We hold on. Corey, I don't think Corey was the culprit. Corey passed out. That's the, he wrapped like a I'm drug, the dog girl, like a drug college girl. He wrapped his body around the wall. He didn't go to sleep right away. Yeah. Immediately passed out. Okay. Chris Lowell is up to the couch. I did not puke. I had zero urge to puke says at all. You. Yeah. I did not puke. Yeah. Says you. And I'll explain, and I'll explain a little why. Too. Look, Doth, you protest too much. You're jumping to accusations, wait, 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 and you're the one who's talking. Let me talk. Whoever so, smelt it, so felt I, it. Yes. I, I removed my Sorry. clothes, put them on a nice pile on the ground, it's went to puked. bed. Oh, shit. Went to bed. Puked Woke and up, then put it back down. Went to get my clothes, lifted the clothes. <laughs> somebody, somebody had puked on the floor oh, and yeah. put my clothes <laughs> over yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> somebody puked on the floor and put your clothes in. That's why we, at first we were confused. You picked it up like, wait, why is my clothes I pukey? Pe I like, <laughs> it was not me. I did not black out at any hey. point. I remember everything 100%. So it was either Niall or uh, Chris. It I don't know who it was. You, it was not you me. You did puke. Uh, uh, but you did hey, puke though. Chris, wait. Did you? You did puke though. I'm getting to that. I fell asleep on his amazing electric recliner, and then I woke up, and it was puke all over at my feet, and I was like, oh, That's right, shit. and there was puke at your- Oh, yeah, I woke up the next morning, and there was just, a, like, a pizza of puke. There was right pizza there. puke <laughs> on and, my feet. And, and, and I, I just- <coughs> Yeah. <laughs> we kept trying to isolate the puke by putting it in bags and tying it, but then, like, every new now and then we'd, we'd be smelling new fucking, like, draft of it, and we're like, where's that coming from? <laughs> there was puke all over Did the apartment. Did you see Snake Eyes? Oh, I forget exactly what you happened. This is you what know, happened. No, right? no, 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 I woke up the next morning, and I went into my bathroom, which no, is No, 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 let us tell it from the beginning. I went in, you and Nicole were about to go to sleep. Sleeping. We, we, we don't have to include that, but whatever. So I, I don't I, give I, a fuck, whatever. It's, it's, okay, yeah. I'm just saying, but I was like, we I went to you and I was like, someone's in the bathroom, can I use your bathroom? And you were like, uh, Yeah, yeah, okay. somebody was in the upstairs.
upstairs bathroom. So my room is, it has an open, like, my room, my, my house is like a duplex. So the bottom floor is open to the top. And yeah. the, somebody was using the bathroom. He comes down the stairs to use the bottom floor bathroom because somebody was in it. He goes in there. Yeah. And then I think you went to sleep. Yeah, I and went in and I, I laughed and I was like, good night. Yeah. <laughs> I went upstairs. Oh, yeah, I guess you didn't even, you fucking weasel. <laughs> you think I would have find out? Yeah, the so next... the next morning I come upstairs and I'm like, who fucking puked in my bathroom? It was when? His bathroom is like two feet by two feet, so the entire floor was covered in puke. Yeah, he puked. And, 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 and so, no, but so, wait, no, it gets better. Yeah, it, gets no, it, better. Gets better, it gets better. It gets better. I don't remember how this happened. You might remember. Mm -hmm. But you, f you were trying to clean the puke. <laughs> but instead... <laughs> You flooded the toilet yes. so the water came out, filled the entire bathroom, I... and sloshed your puke around it with puke water. <laughs> it was, the, the bathroom, the bathroom was. I, 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 John, when you when you get really anxious, you do this thing where your whole body just shuts down and you stare and you say nothing, and you, you do, you're like, dude, my fucking bathroom is just filling up with water right yeah, now. Yeah, it was <laughs> stopping. It was, it, was, it, was, it was literally filling what, up. What, you, you're like, what do I do? You just get like quiet and you shut down. Like, dude, my fucking bathroom is just filling up with water. <laughs> and it was his, his bathroom was filling up with the crystal. Puke. And Chris and I were like red face stop. laughing. We were crying laughing. Well, Joe was like, I was fucking laughing. I was fucking. That was the most. I was in fucking me. tears, dude. I, I was, was so stressed. I was really stressed. I was, I was, I was the really worst sad. part. It was the worst hangover ever. And now I had to fucking defuse this one situation. No. And the thing is, I wasn't trying to be a dick and make you clean it, but I was like, Chris, I can't all yeah. puke into it. I, I, I didn't <laughs> so want you to. You, no, like, like honestly, had it been anything else, I'd be like, I take care of it, dude. Don't worry. I about didn't it. want you to. But I, I wasn't like being like clean it up. But I was like, I can't. I literally. Can't because I'm, like, I'm squeamish. I I'm squeamish to puke. I'm really squeamish to so puke too. I, but it was your own puke no, so bad. I, no, did you realize yeah. that the mental image? What? No, this you, entire evening here's the worst mental it's image. It's just like this haunted house. It was. I'm just puke. It was this. It's hey. under the couch. It's on the floor. It's under the clothes. Mickey was real, dude. dude. It's, it's real, in the dude. bathroom. It's leaking you, on the floor. This, this, down the this stairs. is not. That's it's not the, the worst mental image. It's Mick, in the cab. Mick. It's on the sidewalk. Mick, listen. <laughs> you think the mental image of a toilet spewing puke or shit onto puke and mopping it up is bad, right? I had to chisel dry puke out of the cracks of the floor with a plastic spoon. Oh, you did. Yes! Oh, that's gross. It was fucking, fucking disgusting. It was the worst. <laughs> I have. So, I'm really squeamish to puke. I don't really. I hate it. I vomit. That's yeah. why I was like. That's why I looked like I saw a fucking ghost because really? puking is one of the things that terrifies. Oh, okay. Me. I, I didn't not get. Like, I how do you puking. not get sympathetically sick to your stomach just looking at these guys? What do you mean? Based on your fucking experience with say, all of them in your house, your whole house smelling like a fucking vomit train John, for a John, week. I remember that like, you would just we cleaned up. We fucking like you know we we uh, we we were everything. cleaning up for like three or four like days. Like a murder still, scene. Even like you still, chopped all the body parts bad. together. It was a full on even, bender. Even yeah, still. It's kind of like it's kind of like puke near me. Shame on you, Pu puke near. What are you me talking about? What? what is this? Is this a stroke? Yeah. Wh <laughs> what's that? What's that saying? Like, uh, fool me once, shame on you. Yes. Fool me twice, shame on me. It's like that. Yeah. Fool me once, I'm mad. Fool me twice, how could you? Fool me three times, you're officially that guy. Okay, you know, you know the one. You go to the bar, he's like. This suit is uh, officially is a Giorgio Armani. Ask my dad knows him. Fuck you. I ain't having that shit! Corey, tell me the story of Rocky Six. I heard you have an interesting summary of this. I mean, we... I've never seen it. Me and Chris discussed it. We were okay. saying if you were telling it to somebody who never saw it. I have not seen it. Okay, well, it's about a wrestler who has an MMA match against a robot android who blows, <laughs> smashes Adrian, his wife's head, in front of him. Oh, yeah. And each movie is about him bench pressing thousands of pounds and growing Hulk strength to fight the android in, in the, the Coliseum. <laughs> The Great Coliseum. Rocky Six is already a movie, though. He punches That's down. No, I'm talking Adrian. about Rocky. He We're punches talking, all the Rockies. He punches up to down them. on Adrian's head, so Rocky, smushes it into Rocky a pancake. One. Yeah, the android laughs. He's like, "I kill girl to the to Rocky." <laughs> And Rocky's like, and, uh, is this Rocky Four? No, this, this is Rocky. Russian? This is I kill girl. <laughs> he, okay, so the robot smashes Adrian's head into a pancake. Rocky and then he expresses explains, thousands he of explains pounds. He explains his enjoyment of killing. Her. How does he laugh? Does he laugh? He's like ha ha ha. <laughs> he sounds like Arnold Schwarzenegger. Not Ivan Rocky, Drago. the android. This is Ivan Drago. You're talking about. Yes. I crush you. Yeah, that's him. Yes, that's what he did. Rocky's like, you turn her head to a pancake. <laughs> I am a pancake girl! <laughs> Adrian! <laughs>
<laughs> and so what ends up happening, this is explaining it to a blind person. What ends up happening is Rocky ends up winning the wrestler tournament. He gets his Wesley. belt. He gets a new girl. <laughs> And then he gets a new girl <laughs> right. from wrestling. He gets a new yes. girl, and then his son leaves on the legacy for Rocky Six. He's like, "I'll do it for you, Dad." Uh, is this Rocky Five? Oh, this is about? Rocky One through Five, and then Rocky Six is okay. the new generation. There's already been six Rocky movies. Okay, uh. Rocky Seven. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Whatever. I'm, I'm explaining to a blind person, not someone who actually fucking. Why are you lying? To, why are you being mean and lying to a blind person? <laughs> Like a blind person's like, can you explain what what is Corey? What is Spaz Kid Corey? I'm like, he's an alien. Why would a blind person care? He's an alien. I from heard Rocky's Andromeda a good movie. Galaxy. Can you explain it? Why to would me? a blind person come up to you, Corey Spaz Kid, instead of listening to the fucking DVD Harry for he, hearing comment? Because he hired me for a quick synopsis of Rocky. <laughs> Hey, Corey, Corey, yeah, if, I I to to synopsis, <laughs> if I had to hire you for a synopsis, if I had to hire you for a synopsis of E.T., what, what would be your synopsis? E.T.? Yeah, give it to me. Okay, so a kid enters a science fair, and yeah. his <laughs> science fair project ends up touching one of the aliens, like, it, like, gets the alien's attention. The yeah. alien comes, Yeah. it, like, gets horribly burned by the air, <laughs> so he has to hide in a closet. <laughs> the little girl tries to feed it by tossing Skittles at it and other candy shit. It ends up burning the girl by <laughs> spitting acid eventually the like toxic people the people who like <laughs> do toxic and stuff the they time. detoxic him <laughs> take out the baby inside et's stomach give it to the boy <laughs> and the boy takes the ship that's voiced by Pee Wee herman <laughs> that's a navigator <laughs> <laughs> the fight of the navigator <laughs> uh, that's et i want to live in your head You're for one day Corey. fucking psycho one day. <laughs> How did you think of the tummy acid shit? <laughs> Where did that come from? I thought it'd be funny. That was <laughs> Aliens. That was from Alien. Oh, they, they fucking spit. You mixed all the Alien movies. <laughs> That's the same. It's you e. mixed e. all the fucking you Alien e. movies with Aliens together. with the Flight of the Navigator. <laughs> <laughs> the fucking kid goes to the oh. Alien. <laughs> Corey, give, give me a synopsis of the Shawshank Redemption. The Shawshank yeah. Redemption. Yeah. yeah. There's a professional group of people who. <laughs> They, what? It, it's 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 like a it's like a group of people who have mastered the ability to shank. And shank one master. of them, one, they're professional keep going, keep shankers. Going, keep going. They meet up occasionally from shanking professional New York. shankers. They have their stories. Okay. okay. Are they retired? They get caught because like one of them was an undercover shanker. They get, they get taken to a bunker. The other people, they're, they're, they have a police officer, the, and they're all shankers. There's shanker blue, shanker black, shanker red. It's like Reservoir Dogs, it's shankers. And no, they're like Power so Rangers. stupid. <laughs> oh, okay, they're like Power, Power Rangers. Power right, right. Rangers. What am I thinking? They all have like shanks, like one's made of a toothbrush, one's made out of like a rock. What's yeah. his name? What's uh, the, he played uh, Jesus and Bruce Almighty. Morgan Freeman. God, he played God. Morgan Freeman. Yeah. Um, he is in Shawshank Redemption, yes. And he gets caught. They go to the jail. He gives him a shank? He gives him... No, he takes away a shank, puts it away, and he's like, you don't need a shank anymore. And then they let him go. Because he learned his lesson. Oh, yeah. That did happen in Shawshank <laughs> what about, Redemption. What about the old man and the bird in his coat that he feeds worms to? Yeah. Where'd he come into it? He shanked him to death. <laughs> 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 Give us a bird too. <laughs> Give us a synopsis of a million ways to die in the West. <laughs> a million ways. Okay, a million ways to die in the West. Seth MacFarlane hangs out with a teddy bear, voiced by Marky Mark. Uh, what the fuck does that mean? They both take turns riding in Optimus Prime, and they fucking. They sport. get into they, a time machine. No, and let me finish. Go to nineteen eighty nine. They crash into Budweiser vehicles and have commercial breaks throughout the movie, and then they wind up in fucking Japan. And they find the Dinobots. <laughs> Corey. In China. Seth MacFarlane finds a Dinobot and <laughs> fights him for, for the... And rides it. so much jokes at that point. I want rides the, it into the sunset. I want this synopsis for Jurassic Park. <laughs> 30,000 foot brontosaurus. Yeah, Jurassic dude. Park is told by Corey. Okay. So this old dude, he's got an egg. <laughs> he puts it in a, in a machine and Newman from Seinfeld breaks the egg and a dinosaur comes out <laughs> and it goes into the cloning bay and creates more dinosaurs. <laughs> and the then, dinosaur, like, then the island catches on fire and they all die and then they create the world after with the one dude from Guardians of the Galaxy <laughs> who's a dinosaur whisperer. <laughs> 
So wait, the dinosaur went into the lab and cloned more dinosaurs? Yeah. He's smart. Well, it was like a big open door. He <laughs> <laughs> left the door open. This is easy, dude. This is like this is like cakewalk. You need any other movies? I got you. <laughs> Robocop. Robocop. Man, I can't I can't do these. <laughs> you just said give me any movie. Oh, fuck. Do the Simpsons movie. The Simpsons movie? Uh, Peter Griffin gets a pig that's a spider and wins fucking Charlotte Webb and I don't know All fucking right. Babe in the Big Blue City I don't All fucking right. know man right. wow we capped you out hard All right, next topic next topic I'm done man Corey's tapped Babe in the Big Blue City <laughs> It's like ramblings of a madman, dude. (laughs) It's you, Corey. It's my brain. I don't know. I do feel like certain movies, like, if you did do the synopsis, they wouldn't be that ridiculous. Like, fucking Mad Max, Fury Road, gross guys get their babes stolen. Cool. They drive into the desert and then drive back. I feel like boring girl shit. I feel like Corey's brain was, like, dipped in Fanta Orange for, like, (laughs) 10 minutes. (laughs) And it just like sizzled around his brain and they put it back in. I got <laughs> stories for years. You ever see that video of the monkey fucking the frog? It's a video oh, of man. a monkey just fucking. It's can what I, can what I say said. that what happened that time? Yeah. Oh man. Okay. So there was one day we were in our old house. <laughs> I was like, look at this video of a monkey raping a frog. And then you like right into YouTube, you go uh, monkey rapes frogs. And Corey walked downstairs and he's like, what is this? I go, look, it's a monkey raping a frog. And he screamed at me and got really mad and, and stormed up the stairs. <laughs> Because I was watching a video of a monkey raping a frog. It's true. He calls like an asshole. Yeah. In his, def- in his defense, you were watching a monkey rape a frog. You can't, you That's can't, hilarious. You can't. It was pretty a funny. A monkey rapes a frog. Like he's like the he was using the frog as like a flashlight. I, like, I think. The, yeah. No. I think the funniest thing with the video is the fucking frog's mouth is just open. It's just it, it's really, like humping his fucking. It's head. exactly. It's it's as funny as what you imagine. What a monkey rapes a frog. It's exactly how we describe. Look up a monkey rapes frog. Type monkey rapes frog. And, you, and you'll see it. And uh, just imagine Corey getting just. Fucking and furious with that video, or with me for even suggesting to put on that video. Speaking of hilarious videos that upset people, Zach recently showed me a video of Bill Cosby. Yes. Now look. By the way, can I just say one of the funniest things ever? So, <laughs> there was a video rapist kind of slipped out in, over the years. Yeah. yeah. But so there was a girl like in 2003, the early 2000s. She like was like, "I'm gonna come forward and say you're a rapist." He's like, "Don't do that. I'll pay you money, but you can't tell anybody I raped you." And he gave her a bunch of money, and then she ran out for raping, and he wanted the fucking money back it's not, a, it's not a business transaction bill you can't ask somebody for money back after you pay them to say they didn't you didn't rape them maybe he paid her in I, just, I, I wish i could have fucking seen the phone call he'd be like i want the money back that to me is one of the funniest things ever yeah, you wronged me like uh, you raped you how raped dare me. you yeah it's not like a fucking bad loaf of bread you take back to the store you raped her dude weren't people like milking michael jackson not that not in the way that i said for... Look, can i just say let's let's talk about celebrity pitfalls for just one second we'll go back to the bill cosby thing what, what are you guys honestly Thoughts about Michael Jackson? Did he, did he, like, I, I thought I never thought he did it until I read the list of books in his library. Uh, there was a lot of lot of little boy little boy buttholes. I don't think he molested children in the way that people people he didn't fuck them in the butt. I don't think so, but yeah. I do think that there was a part of him that either it was either interested in that or there was just a part of him that wanted to connect and remain a child. I do think there was some kind of like PTSD I mean, from his growing yeah, up. Yeah, definitely. His no, I think they were just at taking the advantage. same time. At the same time. Best case scenario, didn't fuck any kids. All kids are unfucked. In yes. the Michael Jackson household. He still fucking slept in beds with kids. He yes. was an adult pop star. Whole, whole beds. The whole beds. It was like a bed of kittens, but they that were all children. That should still be frowned upon. But I think he was a little bit retarded, though, wasn't he? he was That's like, what I'm trying to say <laughs> a little bit. He was like, who does that? Like, I think he was innocent. He was like, I'm a kid. Like, That's you know, what I'm, I'm saying. Like, I think there was some mental thing going on. Isn't the definition on. of autism like you think Tuck you're kids? No, you think you're a kid. Or not think you're a kid, but. Childlike. You're, you're kind of childlike. Little, yeah. that, that Woody I mean, Allen. He was autistic. Woody, Woody Allen. Like, I, I, feel like, I feel like there's a celebrity spectrum, right? A celebrity spectrum of like, okay, definitely. Definitely did it. Right. Didn't do it. Woody Allen. I really don't think Woody Allen did it. Um. If you, let me say this. What do you, what do you, what do you I know? thought that was pretty. I thought that was common knowledge. I what, people believe it. I talk to people like, oh yeah, well, no, Woody Allen's a fucking pedophile. Yeah. Right. That, that's what. That makes sense. But like, I look, believe me. I'm not a fan of touching kids. You know. But that's once once you're accused of a pedo- being a pedophile, your career is over. Point. That's my point. If Woody, if there's video footage of Woody Allen fucking his, uh, you know, a child, yeah. I'll be the first to say. Didn't so. Morgan Freeman finger his niece? <laughs> Well, that's something you just said. I don't know, man. I, look it up. But no, Woody so Allen. So Woody Allen. So like, Bill Cosby has like. I fingered little Susie. 
<laughs> that was pretty good. No, but uh, I was going to say uh, it's very big. It's Roman Polanski once I'm done. definitely was. Yeah, and I love. I, I like his movies a lot. What's the guy really name? Brian Singer from X Men. He fucked kids or something. Oh, right? But he's a he's a, he's gay too, right? Is he a gay pedophile? I think so. Oh, Ooh. but I think they were just younger. I, I don't know if they were. No, like I think I think he got legal trouble. I think he oh, got in trouble. I think so. Well, then even Billy Joel though, he like ended up. I don't know if it was pedophilia, but. It was, they adopted that, like, 17 or 16 or 15-year-old Asian girl, and then he ended well, up like, that's what happened with Woody boinking Allen, her and marrying her or whatever. I think that's what happened with Woody Allen in some sense. And like, who, who else uh, recently? It's Jared. Jared. Yeah, Jared Fogel was fucking 16 years. Did you see what child phone he had? No. Yeah, seven terabytes Yeah, he had, like... Oh, yeah, 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 the size I, of it. No, no, I, had... I, no I didn't mean, did you literally see it? No, that? I did not see any of the images. No, but it was like, it was like, what, two laptops, eight something? It was like a ridiculous yeah, amount of child yeah. like, porn. if he had more information, or he had more child porn on his computer like then it took to take man on the moon yeah that's true like, you know more power like honestly I'm like, sure that's what Neil Armstrong was thinking about when he was looking at the window on the moon <laughs> no honestly if like I wonder if the spokesman for subway is gonna have as much they did not have like because remember at one gigabyte 9090 was like the size of a room well it's bizarre because there is like this whole chain of people associated with Jared and subway yeah. that were all caught like his manager or something like that and then his assistant yeah even though I don't way, know if that can, was just a, a fall guy did you can, hear can I ask how do you find somebody who has who's also likes child porn yeah, is there what's a, the conversation? It's like yeah. a football. Hey, uh, you like the Seahawks? I think yeah. Jared was like open about it. Like, what's the actual way? That, no, but you can't be. Well, open how about old it. were his kids? His kids are like six. Jared has kids. Yeah, yeah. He has kids. He has He's two, not allowed to see him. Two kids. Oy I think they're like six or something like that. And so I, it's like maybe he goes to the park and someone's like, "Oh yeah, you got some nice looking kids there." And it's like, "Yeah, I like kids." And it's like, "Oh hey, I like." I don't know. Like you gotta like somehow warm up into it, or you just come straight you can't, out. You can't. You can't jump into the pool. Or maybe pool. you do. Maybe you do, but you do it as a joke. Like. Man, I'd really love to fuck some kids today. <laughs> well, okay, wait, wait. You know what I mean? I mean, come on, I just get. I, I always, and then if they're like, you gauge, like you give them the eyes, like, yeah. just get in. <laughs> you know, the, you know the dad from Seventh Heaven, the pastor guy. Yeah, he was also. You know, he got trouble for that too. His like wife like recorded him in a therapy session. Oh yeah. He was like, yeah, like 1975, wait. like masturbated for some kid, yeah. and he was he was he, trying to get and help. Then there, she clearly. released it too. Yeah, she released it. And it's like he what he did was really messed up. Yeah. But I feel like if you're a pedophile, you're trying to get help. You're still. You, you're still I agree with you on that. Did you see that uh, uh, article recently on Salon.com? Uh, yeah, it was like it was written by a pedophile where it was basically like shaming people who frowned upon wanting to fuck kids. Yeah. yeah. And the, the whole slant of the article was like, I'm real sick. And I, yeah, I think about fucking kids and yeah, it gets me off. But I never done it before. And you're the real monster for the, yeah, thinking I Yeah, you're I'm a real done. monster for, for thinking I want to fuck kids. I would, do, I would actually fuck a kid. And this to me is like, like somebody going, yeah, you know, I think about fucking cutting my, my, my child's head off and like, you know, fucking. There's some things you should keep to yourself. Like, not, not even that. Look, if you think about fucking kids for period and that gets you off for real, yeah. you should not be accepted to society. No. Look, that, that, that should be frowned. Look, the, the, the basic rule is there's no gray area. Sexual, sexuality is gray. But not if you're a pedophile. If you're gay, you want to fuck a consenting adult. But if, yeah. the, if the if the thing you want to fuck has no consent and it's alive, yeah. there, should, there should be no circumstance where that's where that's smiled yeah. upon. But that's my issue. Is like when people when people make their sexuality the defining feature of their like personality. I can't stand that. Like you know, there's people who are just way too open about it. Like you know, furries wearing like their asses cut out. Look, I don't get being a furry, but I I'm okay with that because no, not, the, not, most not, of them are fine. They're not thinking. They're not fantasizing about picking up a cut up the playground. Fuck you. Right. Yeah. Really? No, but, no, but see, I'm thinking, I'm talking about like, you know, people just say like a pedophile is like, I'm a pedophile. I'm open about it. I'm a proud pedophile. It's like, why do that? I don't like, just say if I had a fetish where it was, um, just, babies. Just fingering baby or fucking a girl on her period or something, I don't go around being like, yep, that's me. I'm all about this. Then like, you know, it's like, keep it to yourself. I think, <laughs> I, I think that I think the general rule is if the first thing you open up with is your sexuality or yeah. sure. you're a boring fuck. Shh. This is a sleepy secret. The three Muska queers. Buckle your motherfucking seat belt. Beep. Welcome to Sleepy Cat Special Episode. Uh, I'm Stamper TV, and I'm with Corey Spazkid. What's up, Corey? Hey, what's up? We're the only people here. Uh, let's let's have a topic, Corey. All right. Well. I guess, like, I wanted to talk about this kind of a, a topic. I don't know if we can, like, dive into it now, but, like... The guys uh, are going to be back soon. we got to talk fast. All right, well... They don't know we're doing this. Well, there's a topic I kind of, like, a, our first gay experience. Mm. Like, the first time you ever saw something gay. The first time I ever saw something gay was... We can't smoke in here, right? Yeah, you can smoke. Oh, Mix, here ruined everything. Oh, you got your recording? We're, all right, Mix. Oh, shit. We're going to do a loss real quick. Okay. I guess real fast. Like a special thing you can put up. So yeah, my first gay experience- Hey, I was talking! Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, that's alright. Sorry, Corey. <laughs> I love you. Alright, so my first gay experience, I was probably 
five or six years old, and all I remember was a dick hole coming at my mouth. <laughs> I tried to dodge it, but the visualization of a pee hole coming towards me. <laughs> it just kept getting bigger and bigger. Are you sure? Like, uh, is there any sort of story that like, kind of like moved up to this, or just just you woke up one day with a pee hole coming towards your eyes? You're talking about this morning <laughs> when I was straddling his face. <laughs> okay. Are you talking about serious? The first time you ever saw any? Yeah, legitimately gay. Well, experience. define gay. Like the, the first time you. you the first time you ever were kind of confused of what to think. Okay. Like, you saw this, you were like... I got one. Uh, what is this? So, there was... Well, it wasn't what I saw. Um, I remember I was playing... We were, you know, I was playing with some friends. I think I was, like, 11 at the time. Mm -hmm. And this guy, I don't need to name him, was 13. Anyways, uh, we're playing around, wrestling around, and at some point he actually got on the back of me. And, uh, you know, we're, we're wrestling around, whatever. And he was older and he was bigger. He's trying but to... then I remember he started rubbing his dick up against my butt. Oh my god, dude. Yep. Oh, I thought we were being serious. Is this in Chinatown? <laughs> That's like the standard for Chinatown? No. No, no so it's not kid, what I meant. I, at the time, I was kind of like, I mean, I wasn't even like all that upset. I was just more confused. Mm. You know what I mean? I was just like, what? He was giving you a hot dog from behind. Yeah, no. And there was certainly something going on there. Um, wrestling outfits. I, I didn't really say anything. We did hang out for a little bit after that, but I think... <laughs> I think as kind of time went by, I kind of realized how fucking weird that was, and I looked back on that, and then uh, dude, the same man, this, I, the same, it. the same, tell it. dude. I don't know if I could tell this because just this tell is it. weird and it might fucking. Skew I just, just fucking tell it said it. Mix names up. Oh no, yeah, I, but, just, I just put mine out. Dude, there. my no, gay experience is like something that mine's you, way worse. Okay, no, yours is probably worse than mine. Nah, okay. nah, Your dad's nah, already in not. jail, so you can say whatever. It's you want. not actual. <laughs> it's not an experience. Shut up, Corey. I didn't finish with Mick. Go ahead. Hey, did the guy that do that to you was he a family member that rhymed with rad? High five. Yeah. Your dad. <laughs> oh, oh, a family member. I was gonna say. Cause... We're gonna ruin the fucking show. <laughs> no, because his name. All right. Yeah. <laughs> the first gay experience I ever had. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get destroyed for this one. But uh, I'm not gonna it say. Freaked the... me out when you said that. I'm not gonna say the guy's name Just because jumbled. I fucking know his name. I think he's in prison now. I don't know. Maybe he is. Maybe he's not. Anyways, I remember there's this guy that used to hang out with. <clears throat> they used to hang out with me when I... he was a. I had kind of like a loose family member, you know, hey, hey Uncle Joey, whatever. That sure. wasn't his name, by the way. Or I thought you meant like your aunt, because she was fucking slut. But we, yeah, go on. Yeah, he was like, he was like the the dude that like played with us all the time, and like we'd shoot like Nerf guns at each other and shit. And he like, but I found out later he was just kind of conditioning my friendship. Oh my god. And then this one time, he was like, hey, let's go do something really fun. And then he took me down to my aunt's pond, my aunt's pond, and um. He was like, hey, pull your pee-pee out. He <laughs> <laughs> yes, that I, escalated, dude. And then I did. And then he sucked my wiener. <laughs> All right, so this this dude is like, he's like fucking 18 or 19. Oh, my God. And I'm teeny tiny. I'm like seven, I guess, maybe-ish. And like Mick said, it was just fucking weird. I didn't understand what was happening. Wow. The whole time. So my first blowjob was from a guy. Damn, you're a pimp, dude. <laughs> and no, but then I remember he was Rice, like, dude. Dude. seven. No, but then I remember he was like, hey, now you do me now. And I was like, no, you're going to pee in my mouth. And he was like, no, I'm, I'm not going to pee in your mouth. And I was like, no. And then I ran away. <laughs> <laughs> You're like mommy, mommy. That was the first, and then I thought back, like twenty years later. I thought not, not fucking twenty, but like ten, whatever. Many yeah. years later, I thought mm -hmm. back to, it and I was like, that guy's fucking weird. <laughs> <laughs> like it didn't, like it didn't ruin my. I was like, oh, I was. Yeah, molested. I mean, what do you do at that point? <laughs> technically, I was molested when you I was. You were a fine kid. with yeah. it though, so some dude fucking blew me when I was a kid, <laughs> and I just remember looking at his giant man head <laughs> sucking my dick. <laughs> I, and I had no idea what the fuck was going on. I guess my first stuff. Um, and it wasn't hard. It was, no, yeah, yeah. He put my little tiny Tic Tac wiener in his mouth. Yeah, and he was soft just, little mm -hmm. you, guys, you guys all had like, uh, like prominent gay experiences. My first gay experience actually wasn't through contact. It was from visualization. Um, there used to be this show, uh, Six Feet Under. Have okay. you heard of it? Yeah. There was a specific episode I remember walking downstairs on. I was young, and my parents were watching it. On, they were kind of, you know, like, cuddling up and watching it. And it was an episode... I, I kind of, like, peered across this thing and kind of looked at it. I don't know if they saw me. And uh, there was, like, a guy who was kind of leaning against a, a window. And he's like, are we going to do it? And the guy's kind of, like, looking around. He's like, sure. And then an immediate cut to this guy. He was just... 
He was fucking hard fucking him against the car. Hard fucking. Like you could hear the car moving. Yeah. And he was railing him and yeah. it was very discreet. Yeah. It was very like like explicit. Explicit as fuck. Like yeah. I mean you couldn't see anything, but yeah. you could kind of visualize it through the dark shadows. Oh, broke back and shit. Yeah, very broke back. Okay, wait, stop. You're talking about a TV show. Yeah. I'm talking about you. I just ruined myself with a true story. You're talking about a TV show. This is fact. This is the first time I ever saw something that was truly gay. To a point where it actually, I question you brought my Wait, sexuality. so it's just coincidental that the first time I saw something that was truly gay it's when not, I was looking I'm, down at a guy just, blowing me? You just, bl right. you got blown. Like, you were blown and you weren't, like, conscious of I being know blown. you fucked around with one of your friends or something weird happened I can't before remember Six that. Feet Under because Six Feet Under isn't that old of a I shit. Yeah, dude, you never heard. Never, but, but we're talking about straight up gay because I was gonna... no, I don't remember. Okay, I'm actually like the the most vivid memory I remember is actual like I guess a physical porn experience of me visualizing porn. Because there are porn. there are experiences that I think kind of border on it, but aren't like they're just kids. Like I remember when I was a kid, you know, there were times we have like you know slap our wieners together and like sword. Fight, I can't remember you know, that. Like I actually can't remember that. My, I do. My friendship um, more <laughs> pertains to like uh, this is my favorite memories. It it, it goes to more like. Uh, pretending to be Dragon Ball Z characters and shooting fake powers at each other. That's Out of more your a, wiener. No, no. <laughs> like, I guess, like... Everybody did that, though. Like, I used to shower with my brother, and we used to, like, I'd be like, nice wiener, queer, and I'd hit his wiener. Well, I had a sister. <laughs> <laughs> like, I never considered and it to be gay. Like, I, <laughs> yeah, and then he'd, he'd <laughs> blow me, and then I'd blow him, and then we'd fuck each other. I didn't get... I didn't understand that that was gay at the right, time. Right, exactly. You kids. Experiment. I had a sister, so I never had a brother. So my gay experiences isn't, isn't relative to, like, my family members. And my official gay experience was that. That's the first time I ever remember gay porn. Boom! Yeah, I'm yeah. sorry, man. I didn't, I didn't fucking so when, go up to what, guys and dry hump them. When was and the, I didn't go to random people and be like, experience blowjobs. Like, I didn't you, do did that. Did you ever, ever... What, you brought up the, the topic like you had a really good Good singer. one, yeah, that was... No, I didn't! Point. I said I don't have anything! I said mine was visual! Okay. You guys were fucking, like, experiences. <laughs> okay, listen, have, did you ever jack off to gay porn? Yeah, numerous times. Oh, you have? Oh, numerous times. I've jerked off to gay porn. I haven't. Dude, there's, a lot, there's a lot of hot gay porn. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Hey, whatever, dude. I'm not jerking off to the fact that it's two men fucking. I'm jerking off to the sexual energy I feel. I'm also jerking off to if they have a really hot butt. Oh god, yeah, there's a lot of hot butts. <laughs> I'm just. Like, I don't dude, care if there's, there's a package dangling below, dude. I'm just right. like, there's that kind of adds. There's to it. people fucking right now, and I'm horny, and I don't give a shit. <laughs> I'll jerk off to a dude fucking a coffee table if I'm in the right <laughs> yeah. mood. I don't give a shit. Yeah, good talk. Good talk. Good. Yeah, thanks, man. <laughs> <laughs> This has been Sleepy Secrets. Sayonara, my nigga. Shh. This podcast is brought to you by Funny.com. We got a lot of great stuff here. If you go, if you click the sub forums, you'll see a lot of uh, gifs. We got one where it's like Rob Schneider saying, "You can do it." And go ahead, and you know something? You can like and share that. And people, I'm sweating a little bit. It's a little bit warm in here, but you know something? You ever just sit there with a girl on a bed and you just, you don't know how to get to her panties? Just show her that you can't do it. And we, yeah, I know I've used so that one twice, but we got a lot of stuff in there. Please show your friends, show your grandparents, show your ugly mother, show your grandparents. But I'm gonna tell you something. Please, I'm seriously advised. We get a lot of complaints daily. You need to. Advise you need to guide them when you use this website. There's a lot of viruses. We get complaints about malware. We get complaints about people stealing credit card information. But it's a funny website, so please go to funny.com. Thank you so much. It doesn't have the HTTP at the top. It, it, Google will reject the website if you try to go into it. <laughs> so please do not go to the website. Please put your PayPal information in the website. There's a little yellow tape. There's a little green tape. There's, there's a big red X. <laughs> this site is not it's like, safe. It's like four red X's in a there's store. X. <laughs> but if you go there, you will laugh. It'll be worth it. Just put your PayPal information right there, and you'll get so many laughs. It'll be so worth it. It's just like a compressed gif of Rob Schneider. It's just, <laughs> <laughs> guys, if you put your PayPal mission in, you will, you will be revealed a, a gif of Rob Schneider with audio it's quality. Really it's like on a phone, up to a fucking thing. It's like, Okay, no, yeah, scratchy and shit. Yes, the, the gift it's is like being recorded from my cell phone. It's like a, no, it's fucking pitch black like background websites with the white yeah. and red text. You can hear like really a TV in the background. Yeah. 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 It's a good recording. It's a site called like YTMD. I don't know if that's what it's called. I remember that. Yeah, it was just like a site that oh. had pictures and audio. Yeah, yeah people would that. always send that on like forum sites. Was it like a McDonald's? Is that the one where they did that scary face like the the fucking saw mask thing and it had just a scream and it was black? It was like gifts would sound. I thought. Yeah, you could add a gift, you could tile it, and you could put music to it. Yeah, it was there really was some, 
like the popular. There was some big Ronald McDonald one or something. Yeah, I thought they just did a bunch of like scare, jump scare games. Like Ronald McDonald, like fucking. Yeah, 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 yeah. The Benny Hill thing. It was like really stupid shit that nobody cared about. It was just anything with the Benny Hill thing. Yeah, exactly. That and fucking Caramel Dancing was like ninety percent of the shit. Do you remember Caramel Dancing? I don't remember that. What was that one? Like the one with like the fucking gay like the shit that. Oh whoa, oh no. Were the hipster dance chord? Yeah, it was like that too. This is the golden age of the fucking. That was the hipster dip was the golden age. I never saw that. Listen, it was. You saw the hipster dance. No. The, this is around the you know, like God made the had, world and then sent Jesus to us. The fucking internet was made and then they sent the fucking hamster. I thought you were gonna say Jesus yeah, between the hamster. Yeah, yeah, Jesus, Jesus did, did the hamster. Jesus crucified. Right? Before before the Hank Hill YouTube poops, there was yeah, uh, there was the legendary city I was, and then now we have like really well done YouTube poops. Like but before it was more simpler. It was all, it was like. Just like obnoxiously bright colors that would just flash and yeah. hurt your ears. Everybody, everybody thought it was funny to just blast like static noise. It's kind of funny, but it's not funny like, for the rain. Oh no, no! <laughs> it's like rainbow colors. Over yeah, the footage. They and just like really static funny. noise of like fucking pingus every other. Just remember all these fucking old websites? <laughs> those shitty, horrible old websites. But like. There was like the Final Fantasy forums where it's just like black backgrounds and white text and yeah. all those shitty oh, yeah. old websites had those. And it was always creepy to go on a black website with white text for some oh, reason. Yeah. It, feels like, like, it feels like you're on like the fucking dark web or yeah. something. You're like in the deep, yeah. the deep web. Yeah, it feels like, like that. Yeah. Skeletons and stuff. Like, I'm like, I'm like, Chad showed me some real fucking deep web videos. Oh yeah. And I'm like doing research so I'm looking up characters from old animes and like shows in general. Mm. And then you, yeah, you get like these like dark websites with bright green text saying yeah. like yeah. two, four characters and then like it's the red text underneath is like the level. I don't know why like, that's really slow. Like, Really creepy. I don't know why. It just feels like you're looking through a graveyard because like nobody's used their accounts since like 2001. <laughs> it's that, but it's also the fact that it's like it feels kind of lonely just going onto that kind of a yeah. website. Because no one's watching. No one's watching. It's like, especially <laughs> if they have like a counter of people online. Yeah, that says one. That's what I was like, about oh. to say. It's just like like 37 unique visitors. And there's yeah. like Digimon gifts dancing at the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> there was like this. I remember I used to go on this website that was just called Final Fantasy VII Rumors. And it was like, <laughs> what? <laughs> Why did you go to Final Fantasy? VII? The game's already out. How many rumors could there be? What <laughs> rumors can you know? About? All these like fucking bullshit rumors that I was like, wow, I was like, get the wooden chocobo. Find Yuffie's dad's under. Was this had a resurrect Aerith as well? Yeah, it had resurrect Aerith and yeah. like like get Sephiroth in your party. It's like, why the fuck would he join your party? The whole point of the game is to kill him. <laughs> it's like it's like Mario 64, they had like a hundred different ways to unlock Luigi and all these different websites. It's like find the hidden yeah. room in the castle. You could you could play as Toad in Smash Bros. It's like if really Toad is the character to the fucking game. <laughs> yeah. yeah. like really the one, the worst character of Mario. Yeah. Of yeah. Like, oh yeah. 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 It's all it's skewed. Just, it's before all you knew about Photoshop, they always used all these like shady fucking pictures of like <laughs> clearly drawn in different things. You're just like, wow, it looks real. Corey, there was the fucking rainbow chocobo, the white chocobo. You could ride the black chocobo. Oh, I know there was black. Did they have pictures back then, like screenshots, or was it just no, no, words? There's no. rumors that, like, as a kid, you're like, holy fuck, this yeah. is so cool. Yeah, this is what you grow up and you're like, I was a, an actual <laughs> autistic child. <laughs> or, like, my cheats, I used to go to, like, a website called, like, Game Winners. I didn't know about, like, cheat sites. So I'd go to Game yeah. Winners and they would say, like, it was, like, 90% of the cheats didn't work and, like, 10% of them did. God, there was fucking cheat books yeah. with cheats that didn't work. Yeah, yeah I forgot about that. They would just that. fill yeah. the pages with these fucking cheats where it's, like, Mario. And it's, like, so, like, Mario 64 cheat. It would be, like, play as, like, Bowser by doing all this other stuff. It was fucking Grand Theft Auto Vice City cheat books with cheats that just did not work. Yeah, the worst thing about that. this is you feel like a retard when you're like Teddy, so you put the code in for like 30 minutes and yeah. so you're just like, my game is broken then. Yeah, yeah. I completely forgot. I, how did they get away with that? You're selling a book that doesn't I, work. I know. You and they were putting like fake versions? cheats. No, it was just fake because like, for Grand Theft Auto, they never did it to this cheats. day. Like, they were just fake. You know, like things like, you couldn't do it now, but like playing as Mario and they would show pictures of it yeah. and you couldn't do it. Obviously, it was like, <laughs> you know, like these assholes from China who ripped the game and put fucking Mario in it yeah. and like sell it with Dragon Ball Z pictures all over the front of it. Every now and then, something that was completely ridiculous would actually actually work. Real, yeah. Like the Master Hand thing in Super Smash That was insane. Yeah. When I discovered that, I was like, you can't play Master No, I did not Man. believe it. Even as a kid, I was like, this is bullshit. But it's, that, from, it's from, like, manipulating data. Yeah, no, yeah, I was, was going to say, that was one of the rumors. It was like, you play as Toad. There's a sheet for the <laughs> picture of, like, Toad. Toad and Master Hand on both sides. <laughs> I was like, whoa. Do you ever see that one picture of Smash Bros? It was, like, it was like 2005. It was, like, literally, there's 80 characters on the sheet. And like, there, a lot of them were, like, just 2D, like, drawings. Like, like, shitty looking. <laughs> it looked, it, it would be the worst game ever. It looks completely unbalanced and terrible, but I was like, still like, whoa. <laughs> Yeah, it's really weird. Plays George Bush and Smash Bros. Wow, amazing. <laughs> well, it's because, like, back then, remember how, like, when you unlock stuff, 
the melee, it always felt like you were satisfying. Yeah. Stuff. Like when I found when I finally found out how to unlock Mewtwo and I did it because I left yeah. the game on overnight. Yeah. It's like you would think that there's so many other ways to unlock characters. Wait, that's how you unlock? Yeah. No. Was the melee was the most cryptic shit, but that's what made it cool. Yeah. It, it was, was word of mouth shit, yeah. and that's like that's always the coolest shit to me in games. But then there was like bullshit where you had to collect like there, there was somewhere like to unlock characters you had to collect every single trophy. Yeah. That's bullshit. Yeah. <laughs> the Mewtwo thing, you didn't literally have to leave it on overnight. It's just that you have to play a certain amount of time. But if yeah, you knew that, you could just it. leave it on. Yeah, exactly. Because you had to play a two-player match. Yeah, yeah it was a two-player match for like 24 hours or something. Yeah, it was a long fucking You know, there's like a game, I've probably talked about this before, I think in one of the versions of Civilization, when you're playing it, if you enter your name as a user profile, yeah. there's a set amount of like names where the game has audio files on the computer oh, that I installs. Saw that. I saw oh, I remember if, that, yeah. If you yeah. call yourself Chris, you can be playing it and it'll just go like, <laughs> I saw that. that would be the actual scariest scare yeah. in the game. That was, I saw that in like the top 30 most creepiest Easter eggs in games. That's fucking cool. It looks that so is a good. really cool Easter egg, the idea of that. Welcome to the Sleepycast Game Design Spectacular. I'm Jeff. Hey, Corey, what's your name? Corey, what's your name, Jeff? <laughs> we have Chris. Hey, I'm just sitting here. I, I'm not a game designer. Tom Fulp. Hey, game guys. Game designer and new grand founder extraordinaire. And brand know. new to the podcast, Michael... Big Ugly Swain. 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 It's the Swain. The Swain. Yes, the hello. creator of Blockhead 2. <laughs> Blockhead 2. <laughs> <laughs> I, have a, I have a question. Did you do Blockhead's voice? Yes, I did. Can you still do Blockhead's voice? Kind of, yeah. I cheated. I pitch bent it like one step up. Oh, you were a fag. You one cheated? Step, one step. You sick Yeah, bastard. but you could... It's it's not hard. You're you not pure? Pure. No, I'm not a, I'm not a purist. <laughs> can we hear I'm, it? I'm a can vocal we hear manipulator. Hi! Hello! Wow. Hey! Whoa! So yeah, I don't it's need like the it, real Blockhead is right here. Uh, originally, when I did that, I, I always envisioned him having the voice of a child, not like this weird, messed up, like, adult trying to do a high-pitched voice thing. But I think it added kind of to the creepy factor, so I was okay with that. <laughs> I always thought, like, he was on the verge of schizophrenia, because his, like, Oh, yeah, he is. That's, that's 100% correct, yeah. Really? The idea is his house is really an asylum, his, the conscience is his medication. Oh, really? And, yeah, it's one of those behind-the-scenes... I think I, I when we were working on, working on the, the Ching game, whose name won't be mentioned on the podcast, I think I explained the, <laughs> I, some of that to him once. Should we, should we cover yeah, our that side, briefly? Our yeah, side scroller called it. CCB. Talk about it. I don't even know how we hooked up to make that game in the first place now. I just finished the Mastermind World Conqueror game, which did okay. I was, I, you know, it's, I was really had a taste for game design. I wanted to jump back into it. Like, it was based on the board game Mastermind, where you get six different colored pegs, and you have to, like, create combinations of four, mm. and guess what the other guy's combo was by clues he gives you. And that was a game owned by Pressman Toys, and they didn't like that I'd made that. But they couldn't do much with it, because you can't copyright game rules. You oh, can't yeah. do it. I learned this in the process of getting a cease and desist, but you, you're, know, you're trolling, you haven't made it on Newgrounds until you've been sent a cease and desist. But I like the game, but you can't, you can't copyright game rules, and we designed the, our own board. Uh, it didn't look in any way. The interface was nothing like their board game, so they had no case. Even though they didn't have a case, they still fuck with you. Yeah, yeah, they can. Fucking company. Yeah, yeah, you can. You can freely send cease and desist letters, like, and you never know how willing they are to like go through with it. Uh, we were talking about uh, your first game, CCB. Yeah, yeah. Like, eventually, we're getting to CCB. It's a. Uh, it was supposed to be a satirical. Not racist, but poking fun at American racism well, towards Japanese game let, shows. Let, let's start from here. I like think type we, of game. we wanted to make a game. I think we but we're both infatuated with the show Ninja Warrior. Yeah, Ninja time. Warrior with um, most extreme challenge. Look, really? Also, I think right. MXC is like. Trump's Ninja Warrior. In my opinion, Ninja it's, Warrior was well, so Well, there's like, more laugh factor. Like, it's hilarious. Right. Ninja Warrior is where you, you go for that, like, feel-good, like, yeah, like, the every man did it, or that, like, that small girl that did it for the American I one about like, that long they ago. they get to the wall, and they just, they just, just like, fall on their face, and that'd be it. Yeah. Ninja Warrior yeah, had this, like, like build-up to, like, these what, losers. Like, Takeshi's <laughs> Castle? We wanted to make yeah, a game with, yeah. like, a clumsy, dumb American yeah, we wanted to mash it really hard off the course. It's a really good idea. So so why did you decide to call this? Let's just cut to the... We called it Ching Chong Beautiful. <laughs> All right. I'm so, I'm so sorry, Tom. Hear that correctly. We should have listened. Yeah, Tom. Tom. I, older me is embarrassed. Tom. But... Tom yeah, it, it, to, to Tom's like uh, credit, he's like, you know what, guys? <laughs> I think I think we're so, I think we I think we just sabotage ourselves like somehow. Little subtle things now, that, that are outright, which fine, that's fine. Like subtle. We had dialogue. There were uh -huh. lines about zipper heads. I, then, that's where I then got I, then I Then I made a stage. I think we cut that one. I made it? a crater stage where Nagasaki that's was. Oh, that's, that was on me. Uh -oh. Yeah, there's a crater stage. Uh, th there's a big like desert based out of a nuclear crater. Yeah. Which, if you look on the map of Japan where the stage is, it's, it's in Hiroshima. Oh yeah. Yeah. So that's I mean that's tasteless. That's I, not no, evil. I it's remember, just tasteless. 
I remember getting super invested in Ching Chong. I wanted to fucking beat it. Yeah, that was I, so I got, hard at first. I got, yeah, it was, yeah. You, it like, was master terrible. the controls eventually, and then you actually, like, oh, wait, I'm not actually playing the game. And then you realize you have to collect, like, the fucking, like, fish books or something, and then you're just, like... Yeah, once you once you get through easy mode, awesome. yeah, <laughs> and, the, and the game just cuts off, it's like, sorry, you want... Was, <laughs> it blows my mind. This game is not for babies. It blows my mind, Tom. You're like, it just makes you go back to the beginning. These, these games, the games you release and stuff, like, when Alien Hominide came out, Hominid, Hom Homicide, mm -hmm. Alien Hominide. <laughs> <laughs> but it's like that game came out it just kicked my fucking ass I didn't uh -huh. know what to do I was like it reminded me the, of Contra maybe yeah the mad. first time I played it I was just like I can, this is this will be fun I just yeah. got mulled down by yeah, like, it's a, the game is a death security time, and I was yeah. just like oh fuck like even that fucking robot game cathode robots or Wait, okay. the robot, robot. You get, you get, yeah you get people coming in and they just make like the hardest shit ever and you're just like oh my god I want to rip my wait, fucking these hair off these are all games that you all made this. here right yeah so far yeah Robot was Ching Chong Beautiful was like your second coding um that it? yeah i think okay so right it's i had swapped african <laughs> mastermind world conqueror that was my first time making a game i never programmed in flash before outside of like uh preloaders that so was it. yeah so when uh, you made uh <clears throat> and menus when you made world conqueror and you released it how many like bugs were there in there oh plenty all the time like uh one of the uh, big game breaking ones was that sometimes enemies would just run off the map <laughs> and just keep going forever. Nowadays, I could fix this in a second, but it was hard to test because you're working in Flash. That's just that's the nature of the beast. Yeah. And uh, like it, the game breaking bug was like they would just run off, and so you're always under attack, is what your thing says. Yeah. You can continue to play, but your game never auto saves. So you're basically stuck there until you buy another base and like evacuate this one, but yeah. then you lose the base forever. You know what you said? Uh, bad. They ran off the screen. Uh -huh. Did you ever see uh, the Lord of the Rings two uh, DVD commentary for the movies? Yeah, yeah, I watched all those on a, a the, lonely day in college. Do you remember the part where uh, they're like, we, "We we made these like army simulators, and then oh, we yeah. and then we noticed that some of the orcs were deserting their battlefield and they were running into the forest." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, right. Like when you uh, when you see the battle of uh, of Mordor, yeah. like when they're like doing the flashbacks to. But they, the they, Thought they had created and, like artificial intelligent fear. Right. What they what, what they had done was badly programmed yeah. uh, a, a really crappy uh, AI simulation. And the DVD commenter they're saying that though, like uh, like they created like real life like little orcs. Because to be fair, fear. you can't animate like hundreds of thousands of guys all fighting at the same time. Yeah. It's an amazing feat that they did this. Yeah. But then they're marveling at the the birth of their new creation, <laughs> which is not a, a movie about a guy that you're pulling over in his grave right now. Yeah, I just forgot. Uh, about and it. his and his book creation, but, but no, instead they've created they've given birth to, to new life. Yeah. No, those you guys know, are idiots. To back up a second, I think that there was a lot of great stuff in that game. The, the thing that Which sucked one? the most Ching was... Yeah, yeah, the thing yeah. that sucked the most was we made it on, like, fairly, you know, average, good speed running computers, and then yeah. it just ran slow for a lot of people. I remember I couldn't even export the game at the end. I could test it, but every time I went to go export it, the game would break for me. Like, it would fail exporting. So, yeah. so we had you doing it on your Mac. My PC was just failing at this. Yeah, yeah, And yeah. running the game in general also was I just remember was, exporting was files in Flash was a fucking nightmare. Yeah. So here's one half of the story, and then Stamper is the second half of the story. We're moving shit out. We drop off a bunch of stuff at Chris and oh, Zach's back place. In the yeah, and Stamper, me, and Niall, we uh, we just dropped off stuff, and we're driving back, oh, and there's a cop following us. Yeah, dude, East. First of all, fuck Easton Road. If you're a policeman on Easton Road, listen, I know you're doing your job, but really, fuck you. Get a fucking life. That whole road is littered with cops who have nothing you better know, to do Easton than fucking pull people Abbott's over. In Pennsylvania. Absolutely. Absolutely. And you know, I'm sure they're decent people at home with their families and whatever, but on the road, they are all fucking I just dick want to sucks. This. What? I'm not going to tell the story. I'm just going to say this. I've been driving that road for God knows how many years. I got pulled over once, and the cop politely pulled up next to me, and he like, did a little roll your window down motion, and I rolled my, and he's like, oh, I'm sorry, sir. I, I punched in the wrong numbers on your license plate. Good day. And, you know, and I'm like, oh. And they what, handed you a fiver. What a gentleman. Sucked your dick and then walked off. See, I did not have that situation. No, you guys. Yeah, go. Please. Continue. So, apparently, look, it's not my fault. This moving van, the whole dash lights up as soon as you turn on the car. Now, normally, the dash doesn't light up unless you have the lights on. But it was night. You're and driving I driving at night with no idea. Yes, in a moving van. So that I get it. That, okay, fine. Fine. I did say that. Fine. <laughs> so they pull they pull us over. However, and, I don't blame No, him. Stamper initially thought we got pulled over because there were cops tailing us.
us and Stamper was in the back of the van, so not in a seat. Not, well, we were know, driving expecting. all day, and but the road is so well and prominently lit yes. that you don't need your headlights. It so never we, occurs to you. We're going back and forth. On like what? Less than, it was like a quarter of a mile. Yeah. I mean, if that. We could see everything just fine. Yeah. So anyways, these cops pull us over. Apparently, I had been pulled over previously because I had a headlight out in my car. When I was in the car? <laughs> yeah. That's yeah. when you were in the car, yeah. when I got pulled over. I remember that. Yeah. But then they wanted ID from everybody in the car. Niall didn't have a license and he didn't have his All right, so you were driving. Yeah. I was in the cargo area in yeah. the back. Yeah. Which, as far as I knew, was illegal. So and I then, thought we were... But fun. no, but then when they were like, oh, what about the guy in the back? Can we get his ID? It never, like, that was never a problem. You just handed and then your you ID just like... you chatted with us. Yeah, you like handed the ID through like a slot or something. <laughs> There's a dude cop and this female cop. And Niall would not stop hitting on her the whole fucking well, time. Well, because like, he was like, oh yeah, yeah. He's, he's, he's oh, his Irish charm. And then Absolutely. she's like, oh, yeah, my parents are from Ireland. And oh, so yeah. You, <laughs> so they're having that conversation on that oh side of the car. God. And he's, he doesn't have an ID. And she thinks he's adorable, like a lost puppy. Yeah, that's one of those situations where the second he says, oh, yeah, I'm from Ireland. And she's like, oh, yeah. And it's just ding. You yeah. know, they're never going to have a problem if yeah. we're out of the situation completely. Yeah. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm hanging out with this guy who's, they asked me, he was like, uh, I just got to ask, have you been drinking tonight? And I was like, yes, uh, I had a beer about an hour ago. And he's like, all right, you need to step out. So I stepped yeah, he, out. The answer is no. No, I was, and when I stepped out, he said he could smell something. And I'm like, well, then probably not, but whatever. He probably smelled you from the fucking cargo area or Nile, because both those guys were drinking all night. <laughs> Anyways, when a cop says I can smell something. You say, "Yeah, I've been working all day." I had I had nothing to fear. I was totally I was totally confident that it would work out, and it kind of did. Except that it just drew out the whole night longer. So I had to go out. It was the first time I was ever breathalyzed. That was cute. This actually yeah. made me sick. It was bullshit. So they hand us the IDs. A bored cop for thirty minutes. That's well, your no, problem. and then event. Well, no, no. Then Niall brought up that we did like a podcast together, and then she was like, "Oh yeah, do some podcasty stuff for me or something." Like, okay, we just need to go now. Like, I'm okay. glad you're entertained. And I'm in a fucking car. Yeah, and he was in the back on a the whole road time, cone like a medieval torture device the whole time, <laughs> pissed off. While you guys are charming police officers. I was look. I no was trying reason. to do damage control. Niall was straight up hitting on her. There was no damage to control at all. all right. Begin with. So that was the night, and we got back. There was still a few more moves we had to do. But while I was doing the mailing, I got a text from you, Stamper. This yeah. is the interesting part. Here. So that story was annoying and unnecessary. Your story is fucking bizarre. Okay, so do I start my story now? Yes, please. I don't remember it as well as I probably should. If you don't, I'll try to fill in the blanks. Okay, good. Uh, so from what I remember is... Uh, as I was coming back home, I got pulled over in the same spot on the same fucking road by the same bored fucking cops. Dude comes up to my window and I forget the conversation we had beforehand, but I'm looking at him. I say, you just you just pulled us over, you know, not a couple of hours ago. And he said, uh, no, sir, I've never seen you before. I was like, no, yeah, I, I was in the U-Haul van. I was in the back. And he was like, uh, no, you didn't say U-Haul van. Yeah, that's, that's, that's what the thing was. <laughs> yes. He was like, uh, that was where you. Oh, yeah, 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 okay, okay, start off. Start okay. off, sorry. Okay, so, the, okay, <laughs> fuck you. All right, well, to be fair, I understand why you don't remember. Uh, he here's what happened, okay? You were super fucking trashed, that, right? Uh, you that, were driving... Then, then now. You were driving 70 miles an hour in a 35 zone. Yeah, I was trying to get home. So you got pulled over. This is what I remember, and I will never forget. You said that you were pulled over. The headlights of the cop's car in your rear view mirror blinded you. So you could not see the two cops as they both flanked your car coming up to the driver's side area. Flanked is a little call of duty. Well, one yeah. is on one side, one's on the other. That's flanking. <laughs> as the officer gets to your window, they knock on the window and you look in the man's face and realize that you've seen him before. That it was the exact same fucking cop that pulled us over just a couple hours before. Now, he didn't recognize you. This this you didn't mention, but it, that you were in the back of the van, so he never saw your face. Right. But you saw his face from the back of the van because you were looking out the windows and filming everything. It, the way you were describing it, though, he was asking, he was like, Jay, do you know how fast you were going? And you're like, oh, yeah, I was probably going real fast. And he's like, yeah. Yeah, uh, that was what started But it. then he asked you if you had been drinking. Yeah. And you said I you were sweating fucking bullets. Dude, I was 
wasted, yeah, because, dude. Because if it, I mean, that would have been your license. You would have talked about the limit. I was yeah. above and beyond. Yeah, the you would have been done. You wouldn't have had a fucking license. I was Denzel Washington you flight s- limit. You said you admitted to them, you're like, yeah, I'm drinking while you arrest me or something like yeah. that. Yeah, no, you said something to them <laughs> that you told There was total affirmation about the drinking, but they, no, yeah, so you said that you had been drinking and then they asked you to step out of the vehicle. <laughs> and, in, or, and in that All moment. Right, so in my mind, it's like, look, if a cop says, have you been drinking? You don't say no. You say, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Even though, like, five minutes ago, you just told me I should have never admitted that I was drinking. That's not global advice. You don't, you can't give that to everybody, but people no, know what I'm talking no, about. No, I do, I do. But you what said, happened was, yeah. is they asked you to step out of the vehicle, and you said that you were, ra- your mind was racing. You were trying to find any way not to get out of the fucking car. And the only thing you could say, and you were so happy that it occurred to you, you saw the guy's face, and you're like, hey, don't I know you? Like, total distraction from what was actually happening. Happening. You're right. just trying to like change the subject, and the guy's like, "What? No, what? I, I don't know you." And you're like, "No, no, I'm not. I'm pretty sure I know you." And like, you wouldn't drop it, and he started getting really frustrated. And finally, you said something like, "No, I, I, I know." Yeah, I, he wanted a fucking breath of life. No, he wanted to get yes, but then you were like, "I was the guy. I was the guy in the back of the van. You just pulled us over a couple hours ago." And the guy said, "The cop said to you, I don't know what you're talking about. I haven't pulled over any U-Hauls today." Yeah, and that, then that was it. and then you were like. I never said I was in a U-Haul. Yeah. And you said that in that moment, his eyes just got really big. And he walked away like Yeah, he got really silent and just fucking turned around and walked away. He was like, uh-uh, uh-uh. <laughs> and then the other cop came back up with his ID, handed it back. It was just like, okay, you can go. I don't understand. It's just like... I what don't, I, I, I don't, un- I don't you, understand why he did that. He had like, you dead to rights. He did. He. Oh God! If he and just then shut caught, his mouth, you would have been done. But then I caught him in a lie. You yeah. should have been and in then, jail that night. Yeah, dude. There were so many reasons why you should have been in so much trouble. And I just remember you texting like, <laughs> "I don't know how I got out of this." Like, he is, was, is there like a jurisdiction <laughs> that I don't know about? Like, is there like some sort of law that he was? Oh, I have no idea. Because he walked away like I, I was in power now. I didn't understand anything. I just. Happened. I mean, that was weird enough, but then the other cop coming up, like, he couldn't even do it himself. The, like, he was so embarrassed, he like couldn't come back up. Back yeah, like, he had to, like, talk to his friend and be like, yo, listen, um, just let these guys go. Can yeah, you, they had this weird, you hand him like, back? Yeah, I, I can't, I can't look him in the face or something. Like, I'm going to see him again or something, yeah. but I don't know if it was, like, shame or, like, a law. I, I had no idea what let happened step, Let me step back a second, Roman. I'm going to tell a story. Speaking of vehicular stories, uh, I was driving with Chris to the airport, I was driving Chris to the airport because... Of course, his train gets canceled. We're following this car. We're going about 35, 40 miles an hour. Plenty of room to pull over. It's not this hectic highway. This car in front of us. The passenger side door is not is not closed. It is swinging loosely. Open. This is while you're driving. Yeah, Chris. I'm like Chris. What are you? What's going on up there? The door is just swinging wildly. Like, you guys are on the freeway. Not. A, it wasn't quite a freeway. Okay. It was, there was a place to pull off. Okay. So then it opens up further, and his head sticks out, and this person starts projectile vomiting <laughs> out the door while the car is driving. <laughs> It's like cartoon vomit. It's like fire hose, tour vomit. So I'm like Larry. I'm like a. This is a fucking curbing enthusiasm episode where I'm Larry David making Larry David faces, trying to avoid my tire driving through vomit on the road. Thirty seconds later, the door opens again, and they start vomiting again out the door. The car is not stopping. Not- and I am swerving, trying to not hit the car in the lane to the left of me, trying to avoid vomit on the road. It's splattering, <laughs> dude. It's splattering everywhere. It's all. It's it's like yeah, we talked about that. It's side. hitting the ground. It's at hitting, sixty miles an yeah, hour or whatever. The car hitting the. It's down to the side of the. Oh car. yeah. We talked about what kind of critical situation it was for him not to pull over. Like, yeah. Could you imagine? What was the what was the conversation where, in the car? Yeah, like dude's <laughs> driving. He's like, dude, I need to puke. He's like, we we can't stop. We need to keep going, dude. <laughs> You're kind of half expecting this person to just fall out of the car. This person vomited four separate times. The car would not stop. (laughs) The end. People. I don't know. I don't understand this planet.